Okay, and welcome back here to the Hawks Bay BMX Club for the 2024 BMX New Zealand National Championships. Firstly, welcome to the crowd here in the Hawks Bay. Absolutely stunning, massive crowd behind us here as we get ready for riding. A big welcome to you on the live stream as we cross to you, hopefully from around the world, as we tune in for two days of epic racing. It's going to be a stunner. The sun's coming out. Bit of a cold wind in the air, but that's okay. These riders are going to be warming up real fast as we look to make our way to start racing at 11 o'clock, which is very soon. It's going to be a great two days. So for those of you that aren't aware, the format that we're going to be covering over the next two days will be four motos today. And then once we get through four motos today, we'll be back for tomorrow where there'll be two more motos into your quarters, semis and finals racing where all the action is going to be taking place tomorrow. So jump in on the live stream for both days. Support your riders. Uh, get up, join the YouTube channel for even those of you around the, the grounds. Jump on the YouTube channel, make some comments, let us know where you're watching from, and we'll do our very best to jump back in and engage with you and keep you posted. Been watching the riders warm up, been talking to some of the riders, and the track is starting to really pack down after a bit of rain here, so it's going to be doing everything that it needs to be doing. The sections are going to be starting to get fast. The corners are going to be interesting. That's where it's going to be made or lost over the weekend here as we race in for the 2024 BMX New Zealand National Championships. I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. The other thing I'm going to be excited about is coming along tomorrow while we've got our challenge class riders uh, over the two days. We've got our championship class riders uh, competing tomorrow. So they'll be hitting the pro straight. These are New Zealand's best riders coming down here to the Hawks Bay uh, to battle it out for the New Zealand plates and take it away. So it's going to be a great couple of days racing. Really hope you're all looking forward to it. If you're at home, go make yourself a cup of tea. Get yourself some popcorn. It's going to start soon. If you're at the crowd, head over to the local suppliers, get some coffee, get some food, and it's going to be a cracker. But that's enough from me as we head back up to the commentary tower over there to Greg and JD as they prepare to get us for the first gate drop of the day. All right, cheers, Brenton. Thank you so much. And we are incredibly excited here to be in the mighty Hawks Bay, ready to go. And uh, we are looking up to the gate, ready to go with racing. We got uh, JD here with me as well. And uh, we are pumped to get underway here at the 2024 BMX New Zealand Nationals. Well, it sure is. It's a fantastic day out here. A little bit of a cool wind, so uh, the riders will have to take that into uh, consideration as we come through here. It looks like it's a southeasterly, and it's uh, pretty chilly at the moment as we uh, get ready to roll. And uh, I'm sure once we get these riders out there, that'll get the blood flowing and the adrenaline pumping, and we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll. Uh, we've got some serious corner um, happening here. Definitely corner number one is going to be quite interesting. Now we're uh, getting ready to rock and roll here, so we're closing in at 11 o'clock, and we're up for race number one with sprockets of five and under. And the gate drops, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we got four of the gate. It's Hudson Hislop at the moment. It looks like he's getting himself a nice whole shot position. He's coming in real hot and heavy. He's riding a supercross as he's representing East City. It's 311. In behind him, it looks like another East City at 419. That's none other than the Haros Shimada. And we have Savage Lawrence coming in there from Hawks Bay. And it also looks like Cohen Finnett from Tauron. t Arc looking real good. But it's Hudson Hislop doing some beautiful apex lines as he comes through with that roller section down that third straight. And he's rolling hard. Hard, but he's getting chased down real mean with Haru Shimada in there behind. The Samurai Warrior all the way out of Japan. And it looks like on that three position, it's the 805 position followed in by the four. Looking real good with Colin Phillips and Savage Lawrence coming in there strong. But it's Hudson Hislop taking it in on the number one spot. Haru Shimada in that number two. All right, we're into race number two. Sprockers five and under. we got Jakey Anderson, Fletcher Stevens, Hugan Houlihan. Ready stands for the Perry Robertson, and it's going to be the little ripper from the mighty Mountain Raiders out there in the top spot. Jakey Anderson doing the business as they head into that second corner here at Hawks Bay BMX, but he has left the door open. What is going to happen? Can we see that rider go all the way out? Jakey holds on to it for now as they head back towards us. It's the 301 in the two spot, followed by the 100 as they come back down into this third and final corner. We've got Jake Anderson, the mighty Mountain Raider, just in front by a nose. But look out, here they come. It's a finals run. Who's going to get that first up win? It is going to be the 301. Freddie Stanfield, Waitakere, takes it out.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, race number three. Wow, we got ourselves some serious racing action at the moment, and we're coming in through there. But that looks like that's the East City Rider at that so Soda Shimada coming out there in that number one spot, and it is on that 420. Followed in close. Oh, he's lost himself a pedal, but he's able to manage to get himself back in the game. He's got Cooper Rushbrook in there from Cromwell, and it's Ryan Enswell in there from Alexander with Oak Oakley Mitchell coming in from TA. Teatamu 2, and it's Carter Lynch from Hamilton. Ryan McBride coming in there from Teatamu 2 as well, representing, and he's getting rocking and rolling as they come through this rhythm section. And it's the 866 in that Ryan Enswell in that first place, followed in closely by Sota Shimada, and he's looking for a place to run through it. And he's going to try and make it all the way to the finish line. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going hard right off the bat. All right, Sprocket 6, boys, sponsored by being New Zealand race number four. We've got uh, Odie Weird, Liam Wang, Riley Smith, Jack Green, Luke Richardson and the Dota Fix, Brusenberg. And it is going to be Wang, the harbour rider, out in the top spot. Got a couple of bike legs on the rest of the pack as they head down into that second corner. We'll pick up what is happening as they come back towards us. Harbour rider's got a couple of legs as they come into this rhythm section. Look out, though, the Whangarei rider's charging hard on the outside. He's got a point to prove. I think they're going to want to go all the way into this fourth third and final corner here what do we got it is Wang in one for now the Whangarei rider charging hard in the two and we'll have to check to see how that one shakes out all right ladies and gentlemen we have race number five it's Sprocket six boys coming in and they're out of the gate Ladies and gentlemen, they're ripping and roaring as they come through here. We got a nice start in there. It looks like that Finn Hudson's ripping out of New Plymouth. We got Grace and Penrill from Hawks Bay. On Arlo Peters coming in there real strong. And it's 809 at the moment in the lead. And that's Finn Hudson looking strong as he's coming through with Harry Sinclair from Taupo. Finn Watson from Hamilton looking real good. And it's Finn Duckin from Rotorua. They're lining themselves up for that second corner. But it's none other than that Finn Watson looking real good. And Finn Hudson looking strong as he's rolling in there. Nice little, oh, he's lost himself a little bit of a pedal. But he's able to manage to get back on there. But he's lost himself a couple of sections on that one and he comes through there it's 193 in that second place harry sinclair but he's getting chased down hard by the 534 finn watson and he's looking for a little bit of a gap he's opening it up and it looks like that finn watson's going to be able to pass him on this final straight can he hold him back all the way to the finish line he's pumping hard all right sprocket seven boys max gardner carter phillips william hetherington vincent chait archer griffin and hudson ryan in this one looks like the go fast rider that is going to be uh, one of the riders out of Kapiti, I think, out in the one as they come back towards us. It's the white tack rider of oh, Vincent Chate in on the two spot. They're locked low and hard as they head down the third straight. The 547 holding on to the one for now. The 682 slamming it down in the two. The 993 of Hudson Ryan. He's holding in the third spot as they turn and burn for home. Boom, and the gate drops, ladies and gentlemen. It's race number seven. It's Brock at six and seven girls. It looks like that's Pippa Walker coming out of the Hamilton. It's the 880, and she's looking real lean, and she's looking real mean, and she corners on that corner real nicely. It's Evelyn, and then behind, it's the 354. That's Evelyn Zhu from Mountain Raiders. And then we've got ourselves a race within a race in that midsection as they're rolling through there. Miller Crawley from the White Tackeries with Winnie Murphy from Christchurch. Tovine Luke from Capital, and it looks like Tessa Massey from Cambridge looking real good. But it's none other than that Pippa Walker, and she's screaming down there with the Excel acceleration burning as she's coming into that third corner looking like she's ripping it up and Evelyn's looking for a little bit of a gap but it's Pippa that's holding on to it tight over top of that tabletop Evelyn's looking strong in the Mountain Raiders but it's Pippa taking it home with Evelyn in the number two all right first of our eight boys we've got Bertram Lamb, Kelly Lister, Archie West, Matua Nui Hill, Henry Hogg, Jihu Hong, Hugo Bassett and Kingston Hislop oh someone's been it in the first oh no another one Kingston's down Matsui Nui gets tied up with his mate from East City. It is banging bars as they go down the second straight. We'll see what's happening back out in the front. It looks like we've got another harbour rider holding it down as they go on this third straight here at Hawks Bay BMX, the 800 bike. Going hard, the 956 though, looking for a way around. What can they cook up in this third and final corner? These shallow corners are going to be one to watch all weekend as they adjust. But it's going to be the harbour rider... One and two. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, on the gate, it's the eight boys, race number nine. We got them stacked and racked on this one. Up 
boom in there at the gate. It looks like that's Thorpe is on the lane number one, taking some serious airtime, racking up the air points. Man, give this guy some freaking flyer miles, and he's streaming into that first corner. It's 351, it's Thorpe Pistol on that first, and he's looking lean and he's looking mean. It's Cooper Lawrence from Hawks Bay in there, and Liam Flynn from New Plymouth. But it's McKinley for him that's giving him a run as well, and Zane Pickford from Taupo. Jack Newpaw Anderson from Gizzy, and it's Lee Carlton from New Plymouth, and Brock Wellington all the way from New Plymouth. But it's out front, and he's stretching his lead at Thor. In the number two spot, it's a 4-3-4, four, four. and that's none other than Jack Nepal Anderson coming in there in the third place. It's a McKinley Forum out of the New Plymouth. Ladies and gentlemen, they're racing hard today. All right, hey, boys. We've got Frank Woodis, Bo Goff, Nico Risenberg, Jaden Barrett, Tommy Frederick, Nico Simeon, Pinvit, and Cameron Dennison. And it is the pocket rocket, Jaden Barrett, out of the body bound Redis. Going hard in that Cycle Express jersey out the front. It looks like it's going to be the 808 of Cameron Dennison. Grosha City Rider, though, right on his tail as they hit onto this third straight. They are going to bang bars. Who can get the pump on who? Looks like little Jaden's got a nose in front for now. The Christian City Rider holding on. We'll see who is there in the third spot. It's going to be the TA Rider. 6.47. Both off. Oh, sorry. Dunedin, my, my apologies. Great racing from our eight boys. It's another eight boys, and they're heavy on this one. And it looks like it's TA Narawangi Wheeler from Hawks Bay with Caleb Selfie in there. But a nice little undercut there from the North Harbour. That's Daniel Chen coming in there on he's in that one position and he's riding it hard at the moment. And ladies and gentlemen, that number one, that in the first corner is something to talk about because I'll tell you, it's opening up the doors for these kids as they come rolling down through here on that rhythm section. They're pumping for dough and jumping for show as they come rolling down here. But that's Daniel Chen on the 115 out of the North Harbour. And they're riding hard as they go through there. And it's a real battle with the 6-6 coming in there with Blake Lynch looking for that third spot. But he's not having it all his way. He's getting chased down hot and heavy in behind him. All right, eight girls. We've got Stella Torrens, Asher Proven, Matilda Burley, Gritish D, Dita Hulda, and Isla Reid in this one. And it's going to be the Cromwell Rider Isla Reid out to a whole shot. Black Grid is D coming through on that inside. She's managing to hold on to the two. We'll pick up the rest as they come back towards us on the third straight. But it looks like the Cromwell Rider, Isla Reid, doing the business out there by a couple of bike links as they head down this third straight. Looks like we got the Cromwell in one. Mountain Raiders for two. The 822 bike, though, coming up hard. The Southlander, Dita Holder. In there on the three, they're going to turn and burn for home. Grid is going to have to watch her back as they come charging down that last straight. And it's the nine boys out the gate, and they're riding themselves hard as they go into that first corner. Out in the front, we have ourselves 964, followed in by the 836. That's 964, that's Archer Brown out of the Taupo, followed in there by... Flynn Sutherland at the 836, and it's a 1-2 for those boys as they're coming through there. But it's a battle as they go bar to bar into that second corner, and it's three across at the moment, and they're jockeying for position. They're rolling through this rolling section, and they're pumping it down hard and heavy as they come through there. But it's in that Flynn Sutherland looking real strong as he's coming in with that Archer Brown. Aiden Jantz coming in there with Noah Perryman. Fletcher Smith looking good from Hamilton with Charlie Ryan in there from New Plymouth with Enzo Ryan coming through. All right, back to another one of the nine boys. Luca Hudson, Jacob Smith, Nico Martini, Zahn Light, Luke Buckley, Max Hayden, and Hendricks Kahukuda. And it is all on for young and old as they head down the second straight. It looks like it is going to be the 356 out in the top spot. Hendricks doing the business, but Luke's charging hard. He's gone from mid-pack up into the two spot. Hendricks in one, Luke Buckley from the Mountain Raiders in two. The 7 6 bike, the Harbour to Rider holding it down in the three, but he has got company on that inside line from the 97 bike. Great line there from the 97 bike going into that full straight. And that is going to be another one out, done and dusted for our nine boys. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am, and they're out the gate. It's that middle section looking for that whole shot position, and they're fighting hard for it. They're bar to bar action as they're going two across. Nice little manual over top of that triple step up, but it's 150 and that beautiful looking yellow bike as he's coming through there. That's Harrison Cullum from Hawks Bay looking real mean as he's going through there. Don Brycroft Junkins is giving a good run from his money, but it's Roman Thompson in there and Logan Southwell as they're ripping it over top of that second corner coming through the rollers. Nice little manual over top of there. Charlie Mitchell from Cambridge and Tate Moore from Hawks Bay, but they're going bar to bar. He's looking for a little bit of an inside corner, but not able to open up the door. Looking real nice. It's a 150. Harrison Cullen pushing it all the way to the finish line. All right, nine boys again. Otis Repair, uh, uh, Parker Gibb, Gibb, Jackson Crawford, Braxton Heiss, Tyler Hetherington, 
Olu Hauda, Hudson McConkey and Isaac Allen. And again, it is on for young and old. They are tighter than a tight thing, heading down that second straight. It is anybody's race as they come back towards us. We do have our bike out in the one spot, the 102, so the 156. The uh, old vision's letting me down already. Got a couple of bike links back on the NZ4 plate as they head into this third corner. Again, it is going to be, oh, disaster. It's only Moto 1, mate. you got plenty more racing in the weekend. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, race number 17. It's the nine boys as they come rolling here. But that Jackson Rope Putty ride in there in the North Harbor, but he's representing the East City. He's taking a nice corner, but it looks like Kayla McDonald going a little bit wide with Donovan Wallace. NZ number three in the second spot at the moment. But it's Jackson Rope Putty holding it at his own. But it's Donovan Wallace coming down this tire. Jackson, don't look behind you because they're coming for you. As they come rolling through that ripper section and they're rolling it down, they're jockeying for that position as they're trying to get over to that side corner for the third. But it's Jackson Rope Putty. Donovan Wallace and Kayla McDonald. And it's Donovan Wallace in the second spot. And a little bit of an undercut in there. But it's Jackson Rowe Putty taking it. But it's a battle for that second as they go through there. Up to the top. It looks like that could have been anybody's game. All right. We are into 10 boys. Eli Sasebi, Dylan Lee, Kian Thompson, Kobe Keys, Michael Trout, Max Olsen, Kayla Potter, Justin McLean. And it's the 940 bike. Max Olsen out in the top spot. The 204. That is going to be not on my list, but that is all right. A little bit of a misleader there on the number on the back of the jersey. It looks like the Rotorua rider, right though, holding it down in the one. Who we got in the two, the NZ3, Elias Sezevi, going for that inside line. That is going to be hotly contested all weekend, I can tell you that much. He's still battling out. A little bit of a break back into the three spot. Right, the 10 boys will lock in round number one. Oh, beautiful little airtime as we're rolling through there. And he's coming hot and heavy in that one. And he looks like he's rolling down. Oh, and an inside line on that 51, and that was a beautiful one off from that Cavity from Casey Stousey. Looking real good, and he's coming through there. Nicely over that double with a double step up in that one. And he's throwing himself hard and heavy into that one, and he's pinning himself like a voodoo doll in the top of that one. And there's a real mixed bag in the back of this race. It's a race within the race because they're bunching up in this one. But it's 64 taking it on that second place at the moment with Travis Anderson. But a little bit of an undercut happening in there. And it's a beautiful line as they come ripping through there one with Luke Harrisfield, Nathan Lilly, and Benjamin Bridgestone looking real strong. All right, another one of our 10 boys heading into that first corner. That is going to be none other than the 563 of Matatu, uh, Matanui Hill, sorry. Get my mouth round at that one first thing in the morning. And it is going to be Dylan Johns in the second spot as they come back to Wizards. We'll pick up who is in that three. It is going to be the NZ4. This is going to be an age group to watch all weekend. I tell you this much, there are some absolute flyers. But it will be the Harbour Rider of Hill out in one. Dylan Johns, he's going to hold on for the two. And much needed points are going to be locked in for those ten boys. Well, when they're rolling in here, it's the 10 boys. We got ourselves a leader at the moment, and he's got his eye on the prize. Money in the lead and money in the bag. He's showing a little bit of nitro error in that one as he's coming ripping through there. It's a Hayden Ingram, and it's Eli Tan from Cambridge. And it's Tate Burden looking real strong as he's coming in with Jake Pomerade from North Harbor with Jordan Dawson looking in there. And it's North Harbor holding it with Nixon Drew coming down. But it's none other than the 782 at the moment, and it's Jordan Dawson leading the pack with a nice little apex as he rolls through there. And he's stretching out his lead as he comes rolling in there. Sam Hickey from New Plymouth looking good. All right, we are into another one of the team boys. Jet Mercer, Henry Johnson, Harley Logan, Sam Mazer, Jaden Pretorius, Liam McDonald, Archie Burke, and we'll pick up who is in. It is another Harbour Rider, the 121. That is going to be Harley Logan out in the top spot. And it looks like the exit to the second corner is going to be hotly contested all weekend as they go bar to bar trying to get that line in to the second corner sorted. But it is Logan now, Harbour Rider and one. The 306 though, trying to get a bit of a pump on, charging hard, trying to see if he can't work something out in this final corner. Gets a good run out of that last corner and it's going to be pump on towards the line. And it's the 10 girls at the moment, and they're rolling down through here. But it looks like that's the NZ number six, Allie Morgan, coming in there and looking real good as she's taking that line. And she's got a nice look as she goes over her corner towards sneaky little peek to see who's in there behind her. But these girls are bunching up for that second and third position at the moment. But it's Kate Inswell from Alexander and Kella Crocker from Taupo. But Lee Mould looking real good from Tauranga and Olivia Anderson from the Mountain Raiders. Burley Luke coming in there from Capitol with Jada Gillard from the YTAC. 
but it's the NZ6 in the moment at that number one spot. Followed in behind, behind Olivia Anderson looking real good from the Mountain Raiders. And it's looking like they're rolling in there through. But it looks like that none other than the Ellie Morgan taking it home. All right, another team girls. Pippa Spence, Lily Hansen, Mila Tate, Mia Grant, Scholar Hansen, Amelia Zafiri, and Savannah Hogg. And it is going to be the South Island Rider. That is going to be Skylar Hansen out in the one, followed by Mia Grant in the two. We'll pick up who was in the three. Looks like Lily Hansen holding on for the three spot, but the white Takati right out. Savannah Hogg charging hard, trying to be all over that back wheel, seeing if she can't get into that three spot. 7-2-3, though Skylar out with a comfortable lead as they head towards home. It's going to be Grant in on the two. Hanson for the three. The white tag rider is going to make sure that she does her best. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the 10 girls race number 25 as they come screaming down here. But it's another other than Mika Wallace out front at the moment. But she's getting raced real hard by that Ruby Buckley from the Mountain Raiders. But then Mika Wallace is able to stretch out a little bit of a lead as they turn and burn on that first corner. But it's Ruby Buckley chasing her down. And we've got Cameron Colquinn in there from the Mountain Raiders. Olivia Foss from the Mountain Raiders. And Eva Duckett from Rotorua. But it's none other than the Mika Wallace coming in there. And she's just riding real hard as she comes reaming down there. But she's getting chased by the Ruby Buckley in the 337 in behind there as well. And that's none other than Olivia Foss. And they're trying to catch up to that Mika Wallace, but she's got a clear lead. And it's Mika coming in on the wide with Ruby on the two. All right, 11 boys, Toby McCusker, Brock O'Neill, James Sinclair, Toby Ryan, Nixon Murphy, Robbie Zillwood, and Cooper Beck. And it is going to be none other than the entertainment, Brocky O'Neill. He's in the one. We'll see who's in that two. Looks like the 149 of Jameson Clear holding it down in the two spot for now, but it is getting crowded as they go through that second corner. Yeah, three wide down this rhythm section. Ends at seven, Brock O'Neill. He's got himself some clear air, but back after that, she is jam packed. The Salvo Riders got company on the outside line. They are going to work hard all the way to the finish line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And it looks like they're racing on their hard, and they're bar to bar, and they're pedal to pedal, and they're spoke to spoke at the moment. But it's none other than the Joshua Brothers from Mountain Raiders. But they're going high, and a little bit of a wobble's happening in there. But he's able to, to, to sustain the pain as he holds on to that one. But it's Lachlan Burley from Telpo and Dylan Smith in there from Haro with Sam Glover giving a good run. And Nathan Swanee in there from Sunset Coast with Brady Perryman in there from North... Hamilton and it's Ryder Wheeler from Hawks Bay, but it's a 142 followed in by the 666 in there. But it's a 66 plate from Ryder Wheeler looking, trying to give himself a little bit of an edge, but he can't quite catch him at the moment. All right, 11 boys Finn Lawrence, Charlie Shaw, Tyler Cochran, Monty Gardner, Tobias Dickinson, Jack Kelly, and Cano Goff. We'll pick up that one rider, the 118 coming through, followed by the 426. Jack Kelly out in the one spot. And it looks like it's going to be Tobias Dickinson, the Westie Express. He's locked in on the two. We'll see who's in that three spot as they come back. But it looks like our capital rider, he's got a bike link or two on the, the Waitakere rider as they head into that third corner. We've got the 1-1-2. One, one, kind of got from Dunedin. He's hanging in there, making the best of the rest. Another great race from the 11 boys. All right, here we go. This is a race you're going to want to watch. We're getting some fast riders as they roll through here. But that's none other than the Jai Martini with some nice manuals over that triple step up. Looking hard as he's getting in there, but he's getting chased down real heavy by the 905 Alex Shanks from the Hamilton Rider. But they're going bar to bar in that third and fourth position in behind. But there's a battle for that second nice little undercut in there. But it's Jai Martini from Mountain Raiders holding it strong. And it's the 300 plate in that first, second position as he's rolling in there. And that's Nielsen Ultra from the Rotorua. And it's Alex Shanks coming in there really tight. And it's Jackson Carroll looking good with Finn Barrington in there. And Levi Highwood in the mix. But it's Jai Martini taking her home. All right, Nixon Sears. Okay. Oh, big Ben first up for the 11 boys. And it's going to be the skinny digit. Nico Meyer goes through that first corner in the top spot. Mr. Bassett, Sebastian Bassett from North Harbour comes through in the two, but big Ben on for that first. We have to make sure everybody's back up on their bike, which is great to see. Back to racing. we got the skinny digit in the one, the 104 in the two. The 914 bike of Tennyson Shraven. He's going to hold on for the three for now, I think, but the rider real rider's charging hard. We'll see what happens as they head towards home. But good to see our 383. That's going to be Oliver Gallagher, white tech rider, back up on his feet. It's 
only Moto One, mate. There's plenty of racing to go. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, just had an announcement. 14 girls to staging. 14 girls, can you please make your way to staging? That's 14 girls. Get your gear and your kit ready to go. Staging, please. Big shout out to all of our friends watching on the live stream. It's always fun to see how far and wide we can get viewers from. So as per usual, if you are somewhere far and wide, give us a shout out. We'd love to acknowledge that here in the, uh, the live stream. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're into this race, and it's race number 31, and it's the 12 boys. And they're packed in this one tighter than a can of sardines. They're going through this one, but it's a real race at the moment in the middle section. Out front, he's looking real hot and heavy as he's turning on the hot sauce, and he's rolling into that second corner. And he's rolling down here real nice as he's coming back at us. But that's none other than the 157. And it's John O'Hanson coming in there. But it's a 137 looking dis like Dylan Inswell from Alexander taking the two. But it's a tight one as they go bar to bar. And it looks like they're going to be pushing it across this finish line. All right, 12 boys. Guthrie McNabb, Caleb Lilly, Colter Joyce, Dylan Sazi, Abel Burton, Connor Wilkins, Cooper Murphy, and Kate Boosin in this one. And it is the 134. Out the gate, nice and fast. There's going to be Cooper Murphy in the one. It looks like it's going to be Sazi, the harbour rider, in on the two. Colter Joyce charging hard. Our newly minted Mighty 11 rider. He's in the three spot. East City rider in the four. But it is going to be all our 134. Cooper Murphy, he's going to take it home and lock and load those points for all the 12 boys. All right, 12 boys, and you're going to want to see this one because they're getting fast. That's none other than the Rico Ryan in that orange bike. And he's racing with the Nelson boys. And he's stretching himself with a beautiful lead. But there's a Reef Hendrix has got hot on his tail from Mountain Raiders. And these boys are hot and heavy as they're rolling through here. These boys must add a little bit of nitrous oxide for their breakfast because it's Rico Ryan and he's laying it down. And he's going hard onto that one with a beautiful apex. But he's rolling through here. But it's Rico Ryan in the number one. And it's Reef Hendrix in the number two. And it's a one, two, three. And that third position is he's rolling in through that one. And he's looking real mean. But it's Kalen McDade and Jared Rainey with Rocky Branks and Dylan Gate and Charlie Burner with Nathan Dratham coming from the Y Tackeries as well. All right, we got Brest, Brexton Hook, Charlie Withington, Austin Stronach, Sol Proven, Jago Harscott, Winstrand, Angus Morgan, and Jack Duckett in this one. And the Mighty 11's captain, Charlie Withington, charging hard. The Tauranga Rider out in the one. Jonas Wire, he is going to be leading that New Zealand team as they head across to Australia. The NZ7, Angus Morgan in on the two. The 264 bike, Austin Stronach, another mighty 11 rider, charging hard. But it will be Charlie that will take the one. 13 boys, race number 35, behind the gate, and they're rolling. It looks like we've got ourselves in the middle of the pack, and they're coming through here. But it's none other than that. Nixon Banks looking real good as he's coming through there. But that's ends the number one. That's Nixon Banks in, there, in that one spot. And it's 77 with Noah Evans in there as well. And he's giving him the fuzz. He's giving him a fuzz all right. And it looks like a beautiful little airtime as he rolls in there with a nice little undercut. Looking for that second shot. And this is only Moto number one, and it's Moto Madness as they're rolling through here. But it's a 4-1-4 looking real hot and heavy as he's coming through. Timothy Cresswell from Tauranga is leaving it all on the line. Beautiful run as he's coming through there. A nice little race, and it looks like Tyler Grant coming in that fourth position. He's rolling across. All right, 13 boys. We've got Liam Clifford, Callum Lyman, Carter Lane, Fergus Gardner, Marcus Woodstrand, Reed McDonald, Aiden Heavendale, and Sherlock Drew. And it is the toad on the right of the NZ4 of Liam Clifford. He's got himself a few bike legs on the best of the rest as they head down the second straight. We'll see what the race within the race shakes out, but it is the Tauranga rider. Look, little look over the shoulder as he heads into that third straight here at Hawks Bay BMX. The 903 and the 998, they are charging hard, trying to find their way around. It looks like a little bit of a pass, and they're going to exchange bows all the way to the end. The gate drops on the 13 boys, and we got ourselves a reel. They're going bar to bar. That could be four or five across as they're going into that first corner. 
And it looks like they're going hot and heavy as they come through here. Oh, and a little bit of a stumble, but he's able to hold on to it as he comes through there. But that's a 205 holding it strong by Dylan Fox from Telronga. He's leading the position at the moment, but he's getting chased down fast. fast. It's a good thing these guys don't have any security cameras around here because these guys will be getting locked up for their speed. I'll tell you that much is for sure. It's 205 and ends at number 7 in that second position. And it's Kalen Alexander from Hawks Bay. Xavier Bell looking good with Lawson Gate coming from Christchurch and Jesse Lindrop all the way from Hamilton. Well done, boys. All right, 13 boys. Caleb Smith, Arlo Rendell, Maxi Hayhay, Jacob Lyman, Travis Marshall, Blake Glover, and Zildjian Colley. And it is going to be Mad Mad Maxi Hayhay, the Sunset Coaster, out in the one. We'll see who is in that two spot as they head back towards it. Looks like it might be Zildjian Colley in the three. But the big fella from Pookie, Max Hayhay, he is out in the one, holding it down for now. He's got company though, the 271, charging hard on his back wheel. That's Blake Glover, followed by Zildjian Colley. Turning and burning towards home. Max looks like he might have this one in the back. He'll hold it in, lock in those points. All right, in the gate drops, ladies and gentlemen, we got the 13 boys. This is race number 13 to 7. 39 and it's 777 with Kemp Haycock coming in there from New Plymouth with a 218 Emerson Ohio and he's got family representing all the way from Australia and they're watching him so a good shout out to them with Jack Buckley in the number 88 position and it's a 945 with Jacob White with a 550 from Fletcher Lawrence as they're coming back out but it's the NZ number two as he's looking real strong. That's a Ben Anderson in the East City. But they're looking like he's coming through with Kirk Cooper in there as well. Jacob Buckley holding his own with Jacob White looking real good as they come rolling through that final section. All right, we are into it again. And it is going to be the 14 girls in this one. Sophie Calhoun, Nicola Mafu, Beth Walker, Kelly Demaris, Gemma Elvis and Isabella Anderson. And it is going to be Bethy Walker out in the front. And it, oh, they are banging bars early. And it is going to be, we'll see who's in the two spot. Sophie Colhoun on the two, Nicola Mapu in the four. We'll pick up that 320 bike as they come back towards us. Catalina Morris locked and loaded in the two spot. Nicola Mapu charging hard. Gets herself up into the three. Sophie in the four, but Bethy Walker, she'll go coast to coast, locking the one. Gate drops to the 14 girls as they come strolling through here. But then it's another than the Ruby Zeller from... And it's a Holly Treble from the Christchurch in there with Lucy Lander. But out in front, it's a one, two, three plate, and that's a Holly Treble in there from Christchurch, and she's holding her own at the moment. But there's a little argy bargy in the back of the pack as they roll through there. That's Jasmine Campbell in there, and Reeve Nepa Anderson from the Gizzy Coast. It's Lucy Lander from the White Tax and Emily Lane. As they're shooting back through there, it's a one, two, three in the one position, and it's a number six at the moment, looking for that number one, but she's in two, and she's holding her own as he comes rolling through there with a little bit of a drag race coming in on that final section all right 16 boys Maxie Richardson Jackson Lawrence Lawrence sorry Isaac Thompson Kaya Timoana Louis Sanders and Flynn Harrison and it is the NZ8 uh, bad man Max Richardson he is out in the one he has got company in the form of the 108 Jackson Lawrence looking to slice and dice man cuts the nose off of our NZ6 108 charging hard Jackson Lawrence the local rider, he is going to go through. He'll take the one. Maxie Richardson's going to have to settle for the two. And now Chris Ryder, sorry, Neil, uh, Dustin Brothers Racing Rider, holds on for the three. Nice little hole shot in that position by Tom Cohen coming in there, the NZ number two. But he's getting chased down hard by that 5-5. Five five. But that's Jack Young coming in there from the Hamilton. And they're looking like they're throwing it in there, riding on a razor blade's edge as they go in. But it's none other than the NZ number two. That's the Tom Cohen as they come through there with a nice little push. But it's a 5-5-9 five, five, looking for that number two. But a little bit of argy-bargy with a bar to bar action. Nice, a nice little push up there on that corner for that third position. 16 ball. All right, gate drops again. 16 boys, Regan Smith, Corey Carpendale, Ryan Hurley, Jacob Cameron, Jack Stanley, James Wallace, and Aston Cup are five. And it is going to be Regan Smith. Cuts it down hard. He gets himself into the clear air. He has got company, though. He's going to be working hard all the way down that second straight. Keeps it low and fast as they head onto that third straight. The Mountain Raider out in one, followed by the NZ5 in on the two spot. The 747, the Jumbo Jet coming through in the three. But it looks like it's going to be Regan Smith's race for this first moto of the 16 boys. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, as they're rolling through here, we got ourselves a 17 to 24 males, and these are on the 20 inch. But look at them right as they're going into that corner. It's a 5 4 1 in that first position, and that's Zachary Arnold looking real good. But it ends at number six, is hot, heavy on his tail. It's Harry Verve all the way from Haroa with Brock Harvey in there from Telpo. It's a white hackery, Ben Lachlan from coming in there, and it also is Noah Petra coming in with Hamish Earl looking real good from Cromwell. But he's taking it hot. He's taking it heavy. It's Zachary Arnold looking good. And Harvey Verb in there as well. All right, locked and loaded. 17 to 24, male 20 inch. Gate drops, and we got Xavier Dunn, Corey Walden, Hunter Hitter, Angus Thompson, Mason. Stills and Logan Clark and keeping it low and fast at 361. That's Angus Thompson out in the top spot. There is a little bit of a battle within a battle out there for the one, two, three as they come back towards us. It is like there's a bit of pent up energy trying to get dissipated out of the uh, round one nerves, but it is all going to be the 361 for now. The Angus Thompson in on the one. Bada bar side by side all the way to the finish for a photo finish. For the 2 3. Snap, crackle, pop, ladies and gentlemen, and the gate has dropped and they're riding in there. But that's none other than Lewis Atkinson in that one position, and he's looking mean as he's coming through. But it's Kaylin Treadway from Sunset Coast, and it's Cameron Lynn from Dunedin, and Rowan McKinsey from the, and it's Brian Tain from the Hawk Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a Lewis Atkinson representing the East City in the one position, followed by the 82, Cameron Liam. But it looks like it's looking real good with Kellen Treadwell looking from Sunset Coast coming through there. But Lewis Atkinson taking it home as he's pounding the pavement. All right, 35 to 39, male 20 inch, Joel Hook, Daniel Johnny, Jake Peters, Jackson Jolly, and Rob Robertson. It is the Harwood at one, two, three. Are they going to take each other out? I'm not sure what's going to go on there. It is the blue and yellow brigade as they head down into that second corner. It is going to be a hard one to pass, I'm sure. The three of them there, not only riding for themselves, but riding for club honours as well. But the 177, Joel Hook out in the one. It is going to be the 323 of Daniel Johnny in the two. And Rob Robinson holding it down in the three spot as they head for home. All right, ladies and this one, this one stacked and racked as they come rolling in here. This is a 40 to 40 year old male. And these guys are locked and loaded as they come rolling there. That's a 117 at the moment in that one position. That's Scott Silver from Tiatamutu. Looking real good. We're chased down by the 168 with Glenn Richardson in behind with that. Hunt Valley looking like he's strolling in hard. But it's none other than the Scott Silver looking lean as he's coming through there with the 168 in behind. But Glenn Richards is also up in the mix with Adam Green looking good. Lee Holloway in there with Daniel Cullen and Brad Andrews all the way from the Fungare. Scott Silver, Grant Rennie looking good. All right, 45 to 49, male 20, it's JT Nepia, Nathan Cornelius, Phil Gill, Andrew Badman, and Gareth Lachlan out in the one. It is the NZ1. JT Nepia out in the one spot. And it is the two, three, four is looking pretty tight. JT Nipia, though, he's got himself a bike length or two on the two spot. We'll pick up who's there. It's the 142 of Nathan Cornelius. Al Presidente, the Westy Express. Gareth Lachlan, he's coming hard trying to pick up that three. But it will be JT. He'll take the one. All right, speaking of charging, because these boys should be sponsored by MasterCard because they're really charging. Reminds me of my wife with the MasterCard. But it's in none other than the end at number five and the end at number two getting chased down. That's Zane Alexander in that one position. Been Alec and Derek Georges Meyer coming in there from Dunedin as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Tony Thornley in there with Brett McKinsley in there with Mark Lewis looking real good. But it's the NZ number five at the moment, and he's holding it strong. But NZ number two is coming in real tight, and it's Derek trying to hold, give him a little bit of a run for the money as they're pushing in there. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going hard and into that final stretch. Tell you what, this next one is one that I'm certainly going to be watching with interest all weekend long. 17 to 24, female 20. We got Zoe Harwell, Casey Thompson, Delaney, Maya Watkins, Abby Hurst, Emily Sorensen, Selena Pfister, Brooke Cowan, and Ali Biddick. And it is the 356 out the front for now, but it is Mountain Raider 2 3 banging bars as they head down in to that second straight. Looks like Ali Biddick's picked up the two, but Zoe Hartwell right there on her back wheel as they head down to this third and final corner, the 356. Got some company on the outside. What can Ali cook up? Can she go low? She's going to hit the afterburners. Try and look at those first up points. 
Tell you what, these ladies are going to be absolute awesome racing all weekend. To tell you. All right, it's the 17 to 24 females as they're turning and burning to that first. We've got ourselves a little bit of a stumble as we go through there. But it's out in the front, and she's stretching her lead. She's getting back up there in that first corner. But we got ourselves a real battle for that second and third position as they're rolling back at us. Out in the front, it looks like that's none other than the ends at number 551 five, coming in there. And that's Rennie coming in on that first position, getting chased hard by the 396. And that's going to be Rene Wati from Tauranga coming in through there. But it's a battle for that third position, and it's part of our action. It could be going right through the line. Oh, it's always a tough break, spinning it first up here at Nationals. But the good thing is, is that there's plenty of time to come back. There is a whole lot more racing happening over the next couple of days. And again, we were excited about 1724 female. Tell you what, none, there couldn't be any more appropriate name for the next up class. Masters 30 plus, and they are, are absolutely stacked full of masters in this moto. And that was Tom Pelia on our, in there from Tauranga, 196. So give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Never nice to see them fall, always nice to see them get up. So well done. All right, we are into Masters 30 plus male. Uh, Tim the Tank, Fairness Ferguson, Ben Walter, Carl Thurston, Richie Stratford, Adam Coker, John Hayes, and it's going to be Timmy the Tank out in at the one. And it looks like it's Coker in on the three. We'll pick up who's in the two. Might be Stratford. I'll have to see what that number plate says as they come back towards us. Tim Ferguson, though, throwing it down in that one. 361. That is going to be John Hayes. My, my apologies. In on the two. But Adam manages to sneak through he picks up the two spot it is three bikes wide heading over that finish line all right ladies and gentlemen snap crackle pop and it gate drops on these boys as they're riding it hard 25 to 34 male they're ripping it hard as they go into oh and we got ourselves a little bit of a launch clip but it's 54 at the moment out in the lead that's softy all the way from white tack Brad McCree in there as well from the White Taxi with Alex Sewell, with Hayden Stockman coming in there from Hamilton, and with Scott Donaldson from Cambridge, with Lee Chapman looking real good as he's coming in there from Christchurch. But it's none other than the White Tax rider at the moment in the number one with Softy looking good. Hayden Stockman in the number two position, but they're giving a run for the money as he's coming all the way through to that final line. All right, 25 to 34, female 20, and Sam Van Der Veen, Amy Martin, and it is the Gigantis affair with Jody and Caden, as well as Tony in the mix. But it looks like it is Amy Martin making her triumphant return to her home track after some time over in the Big Island. And it's going to be Amy out in one, Tony in the two, as they head down towards this third and final corner. We'll pick up, and it's going to be the 92 bike of Caitlin in on the three. But Amy Martin doing the business here on her home track. Great to see. Lock All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got 40 plus females on the 20 inch. And we're going in here. It's a 151 with Donna Head looking real good as she's coming through. But it's the 88 plate at the moment in the lead. And it's Donna trying to chase her down. And that's Jeanette Davies all the way from Rotorua in the one position. But she's not having it all her way as Donna's coming in there. And she's looking for a little bit of an undercut as they go through. But it's Donna at the moment. And she's in the number two position with Jeanette looking real strong in the number one. As they roll through here on that rhythm section into that third corner. In the number three place, it's a Sonia Rennie. And they're looking like they're going good with Joe Combs and there looking nice and Nancy James and Lena Sanderson from all the white tax in there went there as well. All right, 50 plus mile 20, Aaron Hodder, Kyle Berryman, Derek ha Harrison, Matthew Allen, Darren Sue and Rolling Gillyfit. And it is going to be the 100 bike coming through in the top spot. Kyle Berryman, he's going to lock in that whole shot. And we'll have to see who was in that two, three, four as they head back towards us. Looks like they're playing it safe first up in this first round of racing here on day one at Hawks Bay BMX. But the 100 bike, plenty of bike links back to our NZ6 and on the two. But it's going to be a game on for that 3-4-5. Looks like Darren Sue's going to sneak himself into that three spot. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And at the middle of the gate, looking strong. 
And he's Lightning Lee in there from the y Cat with a nice little lip over top of that double up that step. But it looks like that's the 88 played in that number one position at the moment. And they're rolling hard. That's Mike Head coming out of Christchurch. And they're looking real good with the 99 light. Lee, that Lightning Lee Wilson all the way from the y Cat with Warren Bogus in there from Hamilton with Greg Hughes from the Rotorua. But as they're rolling down here, it's the 88 plate in that number one. And there's a real battle with the Lightning Lee and then ends at number one with Greg Hughes. They're ro- roaring and scrolling as they come through there with Trent McDonald from Harrow looking nice with the roar leaning in there. All right, and to 12 girls, Lily Rose Moy, Hugh, Quinn Lindsay, Chloe Dinsdale, Grace Lardner, Charlotte Zillwood, Maddie Newcomb, Indy McCallum, and Jasmine Kai. And it is going to be Maddie Newcomb in the top spot. The final rider of uh, Dinsdale looking to try and find a way into the two, but the polka dots sneak up on the outside. We'll pick up who that is as they come back towards us, but it looks like Maddie Newcomb's got herself plenty of clean air at the 247. That is going to be Indy McCullum in on the two. The 793 charging hard into that three spot. Chloe Dinsdale having to work hard to stay in that four. And it's going to be, again, a great first up race from our 12 girls. All right, here we go. We got the 13 girls as they're rolling through here. It's four as they're going through. But it looks like that's none other than the 111. That's a Holly in there. Everyone's trying to bunch in on that corner. But it's the NZ number three. That's Ash and Epa Anderson looking for a spot in there. But she's in number two at the moment. But it's the 702. Taylor Morton sends from Telpo looking real good. But Lucy Penny in from Teatro 2 coming strong. But it's a 111. She's leading it at the moment. She's stretching out that lead. She's got the throttle down. NZ number two has got a nice grid with Lucy Penny in that second spot. And they're rolling in there. All right, another one of our 13 girls, Beatrice Kuska, Abby Story Failing, Talia McFarlane, Sophie Finney, and Courtney Smith. And it is going to be the NZ5, Sophie Finney out in the top spot, followed by the Waitakere rider. Then back to Courtney Smith in the three. And it'll be Abby Story Failing in the four, followed by B. McCuska. But as they come back towards us, it is the NZ5 in the one. The Waitakere rider getting... A big squeeze on the inside from Courtney. She's going to go in the two. Great line up through that last corner. And it looks like it's going to be Courtney who will hold on for that two spot. And it's a 14, boys, as they come strolling down here. But out in the front, it's none other than the license plate of the 420. And he's looking real strong. But that's Lucas Martini riding out of the Mountain Raiders. Everyone's looking to find a little spot. Nice little manuals as they go through that roller with a nice little double over top of that second corner as they come strong to us. And it looks like there's going to be a serious action as they're coming into that third corner. It's NZ number four with the 822 coming in there. 822, Caleb White is looking for a little bit of a spot. But they're catching him now. And they're going to have to make sure a run for the money with Cameron Wallace in the mix with Caleb Smith coming down strong. All right, 14 boys, Case Silver, Brock Steedman, Lockie Bartram, Nick Armitage, Charlie Loza, and Morris Rennie, and it is going to be, again, none other than the 237. That is going to be Case Silver in the one. Lockie Bartram in on the two. We'll pick it up. Who It looks like it's going to be Charlie, possibly, in that crumble jersey in the three spot. Don't leave the door too far open, lads, because the breeze comes through in the form of the crumble rider. Locking in the two spot as they go into this third and final corner. But it's going to be Case Silver. Nelson Brothers Racing locks in the one for the 14 boys. All right, looking like a real nice start there from that middle of the pack. And that's Riley Smart in there. And it looks like it could be Riley out in the front at the moment. It's a 600 plate with Riley with a 313 plate chasing in behind. And that's a 313. That's cool. Cohen Ledman in looking real good with Nixon Ponto. Point in coming in from Tauranga in that third position at the moment. But it's none other than the Riley Smart. He's stretching out his lead as he's going in there. But it's a 3 1 3 looking real comfortable in that second spot. But they're rolling as they're coming through. But it's a Nixon Point in that third spot. They're going rolling all the way into that finish line. All right, nine girls Hattie Barrington, Ezra Lloyd. Georgia Poe Edwards and Andy Smith, and it is going to be Georgia Poe Edwards throwing it down out of that one spot. She'll pick up the whole shot. Andy Barrington, those looming large in the rear view mirror in the two spot. Lloyd's locked in at the three, followed by Andy Smith. Georgia Poe Edwards, though, she is slowly eking out a few bike legs back to Hattie in the two. Known for the third straight prowess, it looks like Georgia is going to go into that. Third and final corner with a bit of room to move. Hattie though in the mix in the two. And Aslan comes through. She'll take the three. 
All right, it's the nine girls in there. And as they're going into the mix, it looks like that's none other than the Mila McLean from the South Lane. I believe she's coming in there short with a 285, getting chased down hard by the Allie Campbell from Alexander. But Perry Rennie is in the mix as well with Alicia Ashton from the Cambridge. Selena Richardson all the way from Hutt Valley as well. And it looks like it's a good little rumble as they're coming in there, tossing themselves into that. But it's down through the roller section, and it looks like she's got some serious strength in her. But it's NZ number two trying to push it hard. But it's a 6-3-5 coming in on that third spot with Alicia looking real good. But it's Ellie Campbell in the second at the moment, and they're going real hot and heavy. It's Mila and the McCollum taking the number one. Can you believe we are 68 races deep here at Hawks Bay BMX? All right, we are into 11 girls. Lexi Silva, Adia Bycroft Jenkins, Devin Smith, Olivia Lawson, Boho Oda, and Neve Lloyd. And it will be Lexi Silva goes through in the one, followed by the 134 of both. And we'll pick up who is in that 3-4 as they come back towards us. But doing the silver name proud so far. Out into a comfortable lead as they head down that third straight. The 918 in the 1. The 134 in the 2. Oh no, we've had a right up in it on that third straight. Never nice to see in round number 1. Good to see though back up on their feet. Back to racing though. It is going to be silver for 1. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just have 11 to 12 girls to staging immediately? 11 and 12 boys, 11 to 12 boys, 11 to 12 boys to staging immediately. That's for cruisers. All right. Race, race number 69. Here we go. We got 11 girls. It's Peyton Carroll coming in there with Nessie Ridley. But that's Addison Harrisfield from Mountain Raiders out in the front at the moment. And we've got ourselves a good race on our hands as they're ripping and rolling in, into that second corner. But it's Ad Addison Harrisfield. She's the captain of the 11th, and she's riding her nice little Mabel as she's coming through there. But it's Addison in that first position as she's going hard. Serena Hedge is looking good with NZ number two. Nessie Rennie in there in the mix as well. Big shout out to all of our live stream viewers. There are a good number of you this morning making the most of uh, not what will be probably a slightly warmer lounge uh, than here. Trackside, the southwesterly is blowing hard. Well, not hard actually, it's blowing through and making things a bit cooler. But I tell you what, the racing is hot. And we have 15 boys Dickie Connor, Levi Banks, Connor King, Tainter the Theory, Brock Marshall, and Connor Jill Smart in the mix as they head into that second corner we'll pick up who's in the one it is going to be the skinny digit of deacon connor chucking it down 309 though that is brock marshall in on the two who's in that three spot they are gonna like the afterburners they want every last point they can get there is no waiting around all right ladies and gentlemen it's race number 71 and it's 15 boys we got ourselves a serious race in our hands as they come rolling through here. These boys are fast and smooth, like a hot night through butter. That's none other than Nico Coven coming out of Cambridge, and he's looking mean as he's coming into that second corner. A little bit of a sneaky look back, but he's got himself a little bit of a race on his hand because these guys are pumping hard in behind him. It's a 1-9-5 and the 2-2-3 two, two, coming in there, and that's a 2-3-3. Three, three, three. That's Mason Robinson in there, and the 1-9-5 didn't pick for it, and they're going to be pushing them all the way to that finish line. All right, race 72, Lucas Treadway, Riley Burley, Bryson Joyce, Rory Lawson, Liam Parks, and fifth, Maritz. Oh, no, he's pinned it. And it is going to be the 108, Bryson Joyce out in the top spot, the 2-4-2, two, two, in on the 2. And it is going to be the 3. We'll pick up who's in that. Oh, big dive into that second. Bryson Joyce in the 1, the 170 in on the 2. The 2-4-2, two, two, holding it down in the 3. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have oh, no. Sebastian Williams, Sebastian Williams to the points hut. Sebastian Williams to the points hut. Never nice to see, as we say, though, there is plenty of racing to go. Dusted, probably a little bit disgusted. But most importantly, in one piece and ready to carry on with what is going to be another. Ooh. 
lightning round coming up very, very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up on the track, it's 15 to 16 girls. Race number 73. Get yourself. She's locked and loaded in there at the gate, and you can see she's pedaling hard. That's an aggressive start in there. But that's Danica in there from Cambridge, and she's looking hard. She's getting that whole shot position. Looking real good as she's going in. But that's a 706 Madeline Hunter from Mountain Raiders looking like she's trying to find her way. But it's a beautiful race in there from Danica, and she's holding a nice line. It's Jamie Davis in there with Anna Thornley coming from... And it's Amber Bell in there from Capital, and it's Brooke Day in there. But it's a 515 looking real good with a 706 Madeline Hunter coming in. But it's a 505 Amber Bell in there from Capital looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, they're racing hard down here. All right, 15, 16 girls, Nadia Gabbiani, Hazel Gardner, Molly Enia, Nikita Clark, Aru, Aurora, Herbert, and Tate Hancock. And it is the 878, but leaves the door wide open, almost runs out of track. We'll pick it up. Who is in that top spot? I think that's Nikita Clark out in the one as they head back towards us. That is going to be the Waitakere rider in the one spot. The 878 in on the two. And we'll pick it up. Who is in the three coming back towards the finish line? Again, are these girls charging hard right out the gate in round number one, wanting to lock in as many points as they can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can we have Wayne Mertz, Wayne Mertz to staging? Please make your way to staging. That's Wayne Mertz. Back to the racing. It looks like we've had ourselves Jordan Dawson out in the front at the moment, but he's getting chased down. Enzo Torrens is in there with Della Torrens as well. And Kane Thompson from the Telpo with Harrison Cullen coming from Hawks Bay. But it's Tate Burden out of there, Teatamu too, and Jesse McLean from Hawks Bay in there with some local lads looking lean as they're coming through. But it's Jordan Dawson taking it home. And it's a nice little manual in there from the 200, Tate Burden looking good. But it's Jordan Dawson taking it all the way home in the moment, getting chased down by this mate Tate. All right, 11 to 12, Cruiser Mail, Finn Barrington, Dylan Sazi, Jared Rennie, Angus Morgan, Ryder Wheeler, and Nielsen Urata. And it is going to be Mr. Sazi, the harbour rider, out in one, but he has got company. These guys are going to go bar to bar down the second straight. What can they do? Can they keep it rubber side down through the second corner? We'll have to see what happens as they come back towards us. Dylan Sazi locking in at the one for now, but it is going to be the NZ3 plate looming large. In the rear view mirror, followed by another NZ3 plate. It is going to be, again, a drag race into that headwind. Looks like Sazi's going to hold it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got an 11 to 12 cruiser males coming through here. And it looks like that's a nice little ride from the Nelson boys rider, and that's an NZ number one. That's Rico Ryan out in the front at the moment. But he's getting chased down hard, and there's a real bunch in that for that second and third position. And it's Tyler Cochran from the Tauranga with Kalen McNabb and Jackson Carroll. But it's a Rico Ryan. Someone call the cops because this guy's stealing the race. There's a real lineup as they're rolling through here with that middle section. And it's the 9-1-2 looking real strong. But it's Tyler Cochran in on that second position at the moment. He's going to be able to hold on to it. But Rico Ryan does a nice little. All right. Mountain Raiders team manager, can you please head to the uh, points hut? Mountain Raiders team manager to the points hut. All right, 35 to 39, Cruiser Mail, Brad Tathiri, Adam Coker, Scott Murphy, Ben New, Joel Perriam. And it is going to be the man, Adam Coker, out in the one. He has got company, though. Who's got a pump on? It is going to be the 135 bike. Scott Murphy, he's going to go through in the one. Adam, looks like he shut it down. Big weekend ahead. He'll have to settle for three. And it's a 35-39, Cruiser Males is rolling through here. It's the middle of the pack at the moment, and he's stretching out a little bit of a lead with a nice little push on there. But it's a 3-9 in there as well with a 4-20, Luke Anderson from the Mountain Raiders with Sam Torns in the, in the mix. Jay Peters looking strong with Adam Lawrence from the Hawks Bay. Ben Walker, as they turn and they're coming back at us, we'll be able to see who's who in the zoo, what's what in the truck. But it's a 990 in the front, and it's none other than Adam Lawrence getting chased in hard by the Luke Anderson. But it's Adam looking real strong as he's pushing him away to that finish line. All right, 44, Chris, 40 to 44, Chris and Mayle, Daniel Johnson, Grant Rennie, Kim Fire, Tim Martin, and Lindsay Barrett. And again, another Westy Express campfire. He's got out into the hole shot. 
Finn Martin's in on the two, Verrett for the three. It'll be Grant Rennie holding it down in that four spot as they come it through that second corner. But Kim Fai, a couple of bite links on the rest of the pack. Tim Martin got company either side in the form of Mount Raider and Hamilton Raider. They're going to go three wide down this fourth straight. What is going to happen? All right, it's a 40 to 44 cruiser males, and they're going to turn and burn. Neither of the heavy hitters out here, but that's none other than the notorious number one in Z, and that's Lance Denzel, and he's holding it strong as he's coming down through there, and they're lining themselves up like a little bit of a convoy as they come through on that second corner, and they're rolling through, but it's Lance Denzel, and he's coming in there. It's hot and heavy, ladies and gentlemen, and he's rolling down, but it's a days of thunder as he's going through real with Brendan Tate from the Mountain Raiders holding on to that number two position. Pete Massey in there from Cambridge with Tony Carbondale from the Gizzy Coast and Dwayne Martinez from Hutt Valley. But it's none other than the Lance taking it. All right, 45 to 49 Cruiser Mail. Derek Jiggle Smart, Nathan, Nathan Cornelius, Wayne Shanks, Zang Alexander, and Rob Higgins. And this one, and it looks like it is going to be Wayne Shanks, I think, out in the top top. We have to pick it up as they come back towards us. It is going to be. The NZ1 plate, the skinny digit, followed by the 100 plate of Zane Alexander. The 142 going in to that third corner. And heading towards the line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here they go. It's the 45-49 Cruiser Males. They're ripping and burning as they're coming down here. They're looking like they're loose as a goose as they're burning into that first corner. But it's in the 152 in that second place. But at Mark Harefield, they call him Harry Houdini. But I just call him Magic Man because he's got Magic Mike. And it looks like he's always trying to pull a trick out. But it's Mike Harry Houdini in that second spot. But it's Andrew McFarlane looking real good. But as they come and strolling through here, it's that Steve Shukinswarski all the way from the New Plymouth looking real good. Shemansky looking nice, and it's Kevin Tanko coming in there. But Mark Hillfield's holding on to two. All right, 13 to 16, Cruiser Mail, Max Richardson, Ryland, Hurley, Liam Clifford, Maxie Hayhe, Louis Sanders, Tyler Dinsdale, Braden King, and Liam King. And my goodness, this is going to be a cruiser race to watch. I tell you, it is stacked and racked as they go through that second corner. I think it is going to be the Harbour Rider, the NZ4 and one, but. Mr. Dinsdale, he lights the afterburners. He's going to go through in that top spot. He'll lock in the much needed points for that 13 to 16 Cruiser Mayo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and the gate drops. We got the 17 to 34 Cruiser Mayo. We got boys and girls that are double classing out here today. And it's a nice little one from the Y Tax. It's the 54 out front. But that's none other than the Saki coming strong. But it's a Hunter Hyrie and the Hamish Earl giving them a good run. But Brandon McRae coming from the White Tax with Hamish McDonald as they're coming down back at us. It's a none other than the softy out front at the moment. But there's a good little run for the money in the in the second place. It's a 130 looking for a little bit of play. But it's a Hamish McDonald holding on to it strong. And he's turning and burning. But it's softy's taking a nice little run. Again, the resurgence of Cruiser Racing is being led by our 17 to 34 Cruiser Mail. And it's Corey Weldon going hard in to that first corner. Oh, they are having to find their way around that little tricky entry into the second corner. Corey Weldon, though, Sunset Coaster, he's going to be in the one spot. The 541 in on the two, the 98 plate locked in on the three. Great to see the resurgence of the cruiser racing. It is going to be one to watch all weekend, I tell you that much. All right, here we go. We got the 50 cruiser males. We got the big boys in here, and they're popping it hard as they go over that top. But it's the NZ number five holding it strong. And it's Dion Newth, it looks like. That's a world number five, ladies and gentlemen. And you want to make sure you mention that. Because it looks like, oh, a little bit of an undercut happening in there. And they're giving a good push for the money as they're going bar to bar action on this one. But it's a world number five, Dion Newth holding on to it. But he's getting pushed by Greg Hughes. But it's again a good little push for as they come through that tabletop. Dion's able to hold on to it all the way to the finish line. All right, we're into another of our 50-plus Cruiser Mail. Craig Branson, Aaron Hodder, Andrew Fellett, Warren Boggess, Darcy Pekuska, Matthew Allen, and Carl Berryman. Again, great to see these gents out there banging bars. Oh, I can hear it from up here. 
few heart in the mouth moments as they head through that second corner. But in the one spot, we have the 100 bike. That is Carl Berryman, the NZ7 of Aaron Hodder, closely following him. Back to three, we'll have to see. It looks like it's going to be Darcy McCusker, the Mount Raider, locking in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the 13 to 44 Cruiser female. And we have ourselves a nice little race in here with Selena, F Selena Pfizer coming in the, there from Mountain Raiders with Tony James from the y Tax. It looks like it's the Tony James at the moment out in the front with Kayla Newton in there from Hamilton with the Kaylin Morrison from the Southland with Tally Arnold all the way from the Tauranga. But it's the Tony James at the moment in the first position. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a little bit of battle for that second place as they're going strong in there. But it's Tony James taking it. It's hard to, hard to believe, but we are into round number two of racing already. If you haven't already done so, uh, you need to get yourself round to the pits ASAP. Uh, round number two is underway, so get yourself round to the pits ASAP, especially if you are one of our Sprocker riders. And back to the racing again. She seems to have backed it up on the big wheels. Amy Martin charging hard here at her home track of Hawke's Bay. She's going to take the one. Looks like it might be Caitlin Dugantis in the two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a 45 Cruiser female. They're ripping and burning as they're coming into that first corner. It's a none other than the 151 looking real strong down ahead from Chrysler's with O. Combs coming in there. Steph hooking from Mountain Raiders with Haley Puddle coming in from Rotorua. Selena Anderson from Gizzy representing all the way through as they're coming back at us. It's a 1-5-1 in the first place. In the 4-3-1 in that second. Selena Anderson is trying to find a gap, but she doesn't have the legs. Does she have the time to make it all the way through? All right, 45-plus cruiser female, Jeanette Davies, Nikki Bonzo, Lisa Anderson, and Nancy James. And I think that is going to be Jeanette Davies out in one. Nikki Bonzo in the two. Lisa Anderson in the three. And... Nancy James holding it down in the four, but back to the action out front. The skinny digit of Jeanette Davies. She's got herself plenty of uh, breathing room, so to speak. Lisa Anderson charging hard for that two spot. Nikki's not going to let that go without a fight. Nikki manages to stay in front for now. What can they do? This is the one to watch. It is going to be a punt race. I think Lisa might have just got that on the line. And holy hicker, I can't even believe it. We are in to round at number two of racing. It has been absolutely fast and furious. First up. And we are wanting to give a big shout out to all of those viewers from all around the world. We're already seeing uh, people in Australia giving us a shout out on the live stream. If you haven't already done so, get those social media posts out. Make sure people know that they can watch all the action here in the Mighty Hawks Bay. And uh, we are absolutely loving seeing those numbers and those comments go up. All right, again, a call out. We are into round number two. It is really important that you are paying attention to what's happening on the track. These big meetings, there's a lot of motos to get through and we rely real heavily on our riders to be onto it. And we are into mode, uh, so round number two. So haul your backsides around there, get yourself suited and booted. And we want to make sure we get this party moving real quick, real fast. Well, Greg, it's been, it's been pretty fast already. Fast and furious, just like Don Toretto. And uh, we are here, down here at Hawks Bay. It's been amazing. What great racing. Oh, mate, it has been off to a flying start. You wouldn't believe that it was only round number one. They've been throwing it down right from the beginning. Oh, it's been awesome to watch. There's been some spills, some thrills, fast riding, some, uh, some people just having an absolute blast. The smiles on the faces of the riders coming down. It's been absolutely cool. And I think that is the most important part here is that, you know, obviously we're in it to win it and we wanted to get out there and uh, get that mighty uh, coveted NZ1 plate or two plate or whatever the main case may be at the end of the racing. But uh, more importantly, we want to make sure that uh, we have enough blast doing it and it seems to be uh, that, uh, like you say, the weather's playing ball. There is uh, food in the bellies. 
people are fired up and uh, they're out there having some awesome, awesome times on the track. Yeah, I've got to be honest, like I think every one of these riders is a winner in my books. There's no way I could get out there and do that. I would have been face planted by the first jump. So um, it's nice to see that there's so much talent out there and obviously so much training that's gone into getting all of these riders here. I think that's the exciting thing is, is that uh, it's, it certainly feels, I don't know how you feel, mate, but it certainly feels like uh, New Zealand BMX is in a good spot. We're seeing you know, a bit of a resurgence of the cruiser racing, seeing... I don't know whether it's because worlds are happening or what, but uh, it seems to be people are keen to get on a few different bikes. We're seeing some of these uh, these age groups get a bit of uh, beef behind them again and uh, really putting up some great racing, meeting on meeting on meeting, which makes uh, makes us feel good about what the future holds. Well, that's true. And like a, the, the amount of uh, riders out there that are double classing as well, I mean, that's got to be really hard. You know, they've got six motos, and then you go and throw another six on top of that. That's just ridiculous. Like, I can't even do two motos. Getting, so, up, getting up and down out of this commentary hut's hard enough. Yeah, yeah, I think I did my knee coming up, I've got to be honest. <laughs> and what do you reckon about this live stream? It is so cool to see people from all around the world tuning into what is happening in little old Hawke's Bay here in uh, New Zealand. And a big shout-out if you are watching from overseas. It absolutely it does our souls the, the absolute word of good knowing that uh, our racing here in New Zealand is going far and wide and uh, our riders are getting a bit of exposure to that international audience. Yeah, and uh, did you manage to catch up on that uh, UCI racing as well? Did you see some of that? Yep, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're actually down in Rotorua. We're uh, down there for uh, the World Cups and then paying attention to what happened over in uh, Brisbane. Great to see. Oh, and how do those New Zealand riders do? They're absolutely amazing. And here we go with the uh, race 93, Moto 2. We've got Sage Lawrence, Fletcher Stevens, Hudson Hislop and Perry Robinson. And I didn't quite catch the number of the one who's out in front, but he's definitely got a, a nice lead. That's the 4-3-1-1 of Hudson Hislop. Boys, I've watched him race a little bit and he's, he's definitely got the speed to, uh, to hold on to it. It's just obviously the race isn't over until uh, the pedals stop turning. So let's see how we do. But the race is definitely off for second and third there. As they come around that second corner, absolutely flying. I tell you what, I don't even think I can keep up with these guys. And my legs are heaps longer, honestly. Well, probably not, actually. But we've got the uh, 100 of Fletcher Stevens there. And then the 885 of Sage Lawrence. And coming in with a blistering speed back there in fourth place. We've got the 173 of Perry, and he's doing a great job. All right, into Sprockers, five and under for the second time. Hugo Hulahan. Adu Shimada, Colin Phillips, Jake Anderson, and Freddie Stanfield. And they might be little tykes on little bikes, but tell you what, those legs are turning real fast as they get around at this Hawks Bay track. A little bit of a headwind for them as they head down at that second straight. But coming back towards us, we'll pick up who's in that one. Sometimes it's a bit hard to pick up those plates there. Even these guys are moving pretty quick. But it is the 301 in the one plate, the 409. That is Mr. Shimada in the two. Jakey Anderson, the Mountain Raider in the three. And it looks like pending absolute commentator's curse. That is the way it's going to shake out. And here we go with the uh, Sprocket six boys. And we've got the 420 there out in front, the Sota Shimada. Um, he's racing with Grayson Perno, Oakley Mitchell, Ryan McBride, Ludovico Rosenberg, and Riley Smith. And they're coming around there so fast. Who needs electric bikes? I'm telling you, these guys are faster than uh, anybody I've seen on an electric bike as they come down here. It's still the 420 out in front. In the second place, we've got the uh, 6... The 661 of Riley Smith. And then the 342 of Ludovico in third place. I think that's how they're going to hold it. But as we say, once those wheels stop turning, that's when we know who's going to win. All right, Sprocket 6, boys. The Whangarei rider charging hard on that inside line. He's going to go through in the one. That is going to be Jackie Green. Looking pretty fly in at those new Whangarei race shirts. We'll pick up who's in the two. I think it might be one of our... Try and make it out from here. Looks like it's going to be... We've got a shark in the water, actually, in the form of Finn Hudson. The three, uh, the 934 of Cooper Rushbrook holding it down for Cromwell as they turn and burn for home. Race 97, Sprocket 6 boys again. We've got Ryan Entwistle, Finn Watson, Luke Richardson, Liam Wang, Finn Duckett and Carter Lynch. Go Finn! It's from my uh, home track, Rotorua there. Holding on, trying to work in for third. We'll see who's in first and second as they come around that second corner. My old eyes often deceive me, though. I can't quite see that far, so we're just going to have to wait till they get down here. Everybody doing a great job, though. 
If it was all about revolutions, these guys would be high revving motor cars. I think that's the 256 out in front. But that's the way it's going to stay as they come around. Who have we got coming in here nice and fast? All right, Sprocket 7 boys with it. William Hetherington, Max Gardner, Carter Phillips, Vincent Che, Archer Griffin, and Hudson Ryan as they go through that first corner. We have to see who is in that top spot. It is going to be the Waitakere rider in on the two. Vincent Chait holding it down. He did pretty good in that first up round. You can see the bikes wobbling as that wind picks up. They're trying to keep it straight and true as they head it down to this third straight. It will be the go fast rider, the 547. And on the one, that's Max Gardner. The Waitakere rider charging hard in the two. And the 919. Archer Griffin coming through in that three spot. Well, here we go. Rice 99, Sprocket 6 and 7 girls. Miller Crawley, Luca Robinson, Pippa Walker, Wendy Murphy, Evelyn Zhu, Tessa Maisy, Toba Luke. Go, Luca. You got this. Keep pedaling. See my personal connection there. Hey, I'm not biased at all. I no, think no, no, absolutely. Not at all. Uh, as they come down here, though, I'm going to be able to spot who we've got in the, in the number one. We have the, oh, am I? 8 8. 8-8-0 of Pippa Walker out the front. She's trying to hold on. She's being pushed, though, as they come down. I think she's going to hold on to that first spot as we come down to the finish line there. Everybody doing a great job out there. All right, we are into eight boys. Caleb Southey, Matua Nui Hill, Brock Wellington, Nico Simeon, Jihu Hong, Zane Pritchard, Blake McIntosh, and Jaden Verrett. The triple one, the emergency... That is going to be Matua Nui out in the top spot. The pocket rocket in the form of Jaden Ferret. He's in the two. He's going hard trying to catch the harbour rider. But there's a couple of bike links back. As they come back towards us, we'll see who's in that three spot. Hill's in one for now, followed by Verrett. Coming up on the outside, though, the 416 bikes making a run on the 998. And we'll have to see Brock Wellington. Can he hold on to it through this last corner? Oh, it is going to be bar to bar action down that four straight. And here we go with the eight boys, race 101. We've got the 351 of Thor Piso out in front. And we also, he's also racing Nico Rusenberg, McKinley Foreman, Hugo Bassett, Flynn Robinson, Bo Goff, Blake Lynch, and Archie West. It's a full gate as we come down. They're already on the third straight. They're going faster than I can talk. <laughs> it's the 351 there, still out in front. The 100 and... Uh, of the 800, Hugo Bassett in number two, and he's pushing him. He's trying to make it down. He's not quite going to get there, but the two spots pretty good. All right, 102, eight boys for the second time. Oh, he's uh, going to ride that tight line. That is Chen. That is Daniel Chen, the North Harbour rider. I think he's got the cheat code or the unlock on that first corner dialed in as he gets that one. But the Cromwell rider says, no, thank you. I am going to come back and try and take back what I think might is is mine but the 505 can't quite find a way around Samuel Grubb looking to try and get in there but he has left the door open for Waitakere Rider on the left and we'll see who's on the right eight boys again we've got Liam Fife, Jack Snippier Anderson, Toby Friedrich Bowden Lamb, Caleb Ingram, Cameron Denson, Kingston Hislop, Leo Charlton and they're already on the second straight coming down over that nice wee Jump there into the second corner. Couldn't quite catch who was out in front because I was too busy looking at my paper. Who have we got out in front here? We've got the 808. 808 Cameron Denson. There used to be a song about that. Not quite appropriate right now, but for the 434 in third place, Jax. But though the battle's on for first and second, is he going to be able to hold on to it? Oh, that was closer than kissing cousins. Going to have to go to the video for that one. Oh, that is one for the, uh, the notebook, I think. Back to eight girls, Dita Huora, Asher Proben, Isla Reed, Gritishi, Matilda Burley, Stella Torrance. And after a lightning first race, looks like Isla Reed's got a bit of company out in at the pointy end of the pack in the form of, we'll pick up, that is going to be the 822. That is Dita from Southland, followed by Gritishi. These three have been throwing down some pretty fast lap times already. But it looks like... Dita will go through, take the one. And we've got nine boys. George Wu, Logan Southall, Hendricks, Kahukura, Carter Mould, Max Hayden, Tyler Hetherington, and Charlie Ryan. 
These guys train hard, play hard and ride hard. As you can see as they come down and it's neck and neck as they're coming out of that second corner. The battle's on for first, second, third and fourth. We're not going to be quite sure, but the 505's got it at the moment. That's George Wu. He's out in front. I'm not sure he's going to be able to hold it as the... Uh, the uh, no, I think it might be the 766 Max Hayden coming in really close behind him. And the battle on for third. Two Harwood Riders. We're not quite sure which one of them got in front. We're going to have to go back. All right, back to nine boys. We've got Luke Buckley, Luke Hudson, Archer Brown, Otis Rapira, Jackson Ropati, Ezra Reynolds, and Charlie Mitchell. And it is going to be Jackson Ropati out in the one for now, but it is the 156 in on the two spot. The 964 in the three. Coming back towards us. We'll have to see how this all shakes out. All right, we've got nine boys. Race 107. We got the, uh, might be the NZ3 out in front. I think that might be Donovan Wallace. He did great overseas when he was over in Australia. Had a great time over there with his sister as well, racing. Absolutely awesome racing family. But yeah, it's the NZ3 of uh, Donovan Wallace out in front, followed very closely by the 131 of Jacob Crawford. Followed up very closely by the 784 of Fletcher Smith. They're all doing a really good job. Oh, and now the fight's on for third. We're not going to be able to show up. Third and fourth are battling it out. Fast as they go. All right, we are into race 108. Nine boys, Harrison Cullen, Nico Martini, Taylor Cron, Archie Murray, Braxton Heiss, Aiden Jans, Flynn Sutherland, and Katie McDonald. Oh, no, he gives himself a high side. That is absolute gutting stuff. But it is Katie McDonald out in the one, the NZ4, Braxton, and on the two. Absolutely tough break for Harrison Cullen, I think that was. Give him a big hand as he comes around. He got straight back up on that bike. But here we go now with another nine boys. Lennon Hayes, who we got out in front? The uh, 172. Or oh, the 772 of Hudson McConchie is out in front. Oh, he slipped the pedal, but he managed to recover very nicely as he comes into that second corner. Very close racing here. We've got really close between first, second, third, and fourth of battling. Third, fourth, and fifth battling it out. The neck and neck, side by side. But I think the 4-3-2 has just come out in front of Isaac Allen. He's managed to hold on to it. Can he hold on to it as he come down? Now the battle's on for fourth. But I do believe that it's going to hold it in there. All right, race one, 10, 10 boys. And there's going to be none other than the 5-6-3 Matatini Hill out in the top spot. We have to see who's in that second as they come back towards us. It is going to be... If I, my eyes don't deceive me, that is the 811 JD, and then followed by the 182 of Kaden McKenzie. Again, these two, 10 boys have been throwing it down hard right from the get go. And here we go, race 111, oh, 10 boys out in front. I do not know who it is. Uh, might be the NZ4, I think, of Baden Prescott, but I'll catch that when they come back round. He's racing against Dylan Lee, Travis Anderson, Baden, uh, Bowie Williams, Kian Thompson. Ethan Lilly and Enzo Torrance. Oh, uh, who we've got? Yep, NZ4 of Baden Prescott out in front, followed closely by the 64 of Travis Anderson. But Travis is being challenged for that second place right now by a lightning fast pink bike. That thing is amazing. I love pink. Pink's my favorite color. Oh, we're into it again, 10 boys. And it's going to be the Raider of Dylan Johns out in the top spot. Jake Pomati in on the two. We'll see who's coming into that three spot. I think it's going to be Liam McDonald. Liam McDonald, sorry. And at the three, it is all Dylan Johns in that one, though, as they come back towards us. Jake holding it down in the two. The 686 six bike in the three. And that will be the way that it will be, I think. Man, here we go. Race 113. Ten boys again. We've got Eli Tyre, Harley Logan, Cole Hill, Sam Maisie, Casey Southey, Eli Sasevi. Millen Hamblin, Tate Burden. This is a tough bunch. We're, you're never sure who's going to come out in front of any of these ones. They're so close together. It's like a train coming down here, but we've got the 121 of Harley Logan out in front. The NZ3 of Eli Sasevian, number two. And I think that's the way they're going to finish it. But it was good racing. All right, we are into it, and I think that is going to be Max Olsen, the 940 bike, coming out in the top spot, Jordan Dawson. And on the two, that is going to be Sam Hickey in the three spot with the 51 rider of Felix Zhao in the four. 
Coming back towards us though, it is all going to be Max Olsen holding it down in that one. He has got company though. Go Max, Pedal, go Max. It is going to be Mr. Jordan Dawson trying to make what he can of this fourth and final straight. That is going to be a photo oh, finish. Oh, that is close. Race 115, 10 girls. Skylar Hansen, Liam Mould, Olivia Anderson. Out in front is the 723 of Skylar Hansen. Kalia Crock is in there, Evie Duckett, Lily Hansen. That's great racing. Go Evie, go Kalia. Go Lily, go Olivia, go Leah, go Skylar. Show us how it's done. The 723, Skylar Hansen's pulling away, but the 210. Olivia Anderson's in the second place, and then we've got the 68 of Lily Hansen in three. Kalia Crocker in four. Excellent racing, and here we go. All right, we are back up on the gate with the 10 girls, Kate Enswell, Matilda Powell, Savannah Hogg, Amelia DeTheri, Ruby Buckley, Pippa Spence, and Ali Morgan, and it is going to be Ruby Rocket out in the one, and she'll go through in the top spot, but she has got company in the form of Amelia DeTheri charging hard, and there is another rider there in the two spot as they go into that second corner. What is going to happen as they come back towards us? Ruby's got a nose in front for now, but there is a rider looming large. We'll pick up who that is. It's going to be the NZ6 plate coming hard up that right hand shoulder in the form of Ali Morgan turning and burning for home, what can Ruby do can she keep her nose in front and I think she's going to just keep 10 girls again, race 117, these girls are showing the boys how it's done, world 6 out there, Mika Wallace out in front on her new bike, absolutely loving it these girls are fast they make the boys look a bit slow, I've got to be honest but as Mika comes around that second corner Second and third are very, very close together. We're going to see if there's a bit of a surge coming through here. We've got the uh, 108, 109, sorry, of Mia Grant. We didn't quite catch who was in third, but I think we're going to keep it that way as they come around to that finish line. All right, 11 boys is on the track. Nixon Murphy, Tyler Cochran, Sebastian Bethard, Nathan Swain, Nielsen Urata, Finn Lawrence, and Nixon Sears. And it's going to be the Harvard Rider in the form of Finn Lawrence out in the top spot. Looks like it's going to be a Harbour Rider. And two, Sebastian Bassett throwing it down for the Shore Proud. But it is Harbour to one, North Harbour two. The 300 bike, Nielsen Urata in the three as they turn and burn for home. Go Nielsen, go Nixon. Go my boy, you're doing well. But hey, we're back to another 11 boys. Race 119, Joy Martini. Toby, Toby Ryan, Tobias Dickinson, Sam Glover, Case Gibson Group, Ryder Wheeler, Levi Hayward. These boys are starting to really show their skills as they come around this corner. We've got a nice big lead out in first, but second, third, fourth, a nose and nose, nose to tail. We've got the uh, oh, 88 of Joe Martinia out in front. I didn't quite catch who was in second because they've gone too fast for me and my poor old eyes. The second, third, fourth. Absolute great battle, in for fifth, side by side, that's a photo finish. Alright, race one, 2011 boys, it looks like Nico Meyer, the skinny digit, is out in front for now. Rocky O'Neill is all over him like a bad rash, and it is going to be more pumped than a pair of Reeboks as they come down towards this third corner. Who is going to hold out? It looks like a skinny digit for now as they turn for that line. And here we go, 11 boys. Who have we got? We've got Dylan Smith, Robbie Zillwood, Monty Gardner, Tennyson Shraven, Jackson Carroll, Alex Shanks, Josh Braithwaite. As they come down into that second corner, they really show how to pump, jump, whip. Great manuals down there. More skill than uh, skill saw. 1 4 2, we've got out front Josh Braithwaite. He's got a great lead, but second, third, and fourth. Nice wee push up the bank there. But left him open. Well, I'm not sure how we're going to call that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I don't know who's gone that one, mate. All right, 11 boys. It looks like Cooper Beck, the Harvard rider, going through in that whole shot position. We'll pick up who is in that two as they come back towards us. I think it might be the three. No, not the 305. My eyes are deceiving me. It is the 112 of Kano Goff of Dunedin. The 305 is charging hard in the three. But the Harvard rider, oh, he slips a bit of disaster on that final straight. 
Here we go. 12 boys. Scott Ristron, Angus Morgan, Dylan Galt, Abel Burden, Jared Rennie, Ryan Marshall, Jack Duckett, Braxton Gillard. Oh, this has been close racing all day. These boys are really, really quick. I reckon they could teach us a thing or two. And the battle is on for first between NZ7 and 917. NZ7 of Angus Morgan, 917 of Braxton Gillard. And then we've got the uh, third place coming in there pretty close. Jack. Go, Jack. Well done. All right, 12 boys, and it is none other than Rico Ryan out to the whole shot position. Charlie Withington in on the two as they come back towards us. We'll pick up who's there in the three. It looks like it might be Katie Peterson, the East City rider, holding it down, but he has got some company in the form of NZ8. Billy McRae manages to get a nose up into the three. Rico, though, he's got his work cut out for him as they head towards home. Can Charlie get a nose in front? Looks like Rico's going to pick that one up. All right, 12 boys. Race one, two, five. Nathan Grantham, Grantham Cooper Murphy, Levi Mortahu. Who have we got out in front there? The one, three, four of Cooper Murphy out in front. There's also Caleb Lilly, Sol Robin, Coulter Joyce, Dylan Entwistle, and Caleb McCabe. And here we go. I'm not even sure if he's managed to hold on to it as he comes around. Yeah, yeah, we've still got the one, three, four out in front. Followed very closely by the 347. He's challenging him for that place in the third spot. Didn't quite catch that number, but he's going to work for it too. Anything can happen in this last straight. But I think we're going to hold it that way. And to 12, boys, and we have the 157, followed by the best haircut in BMX, the Flying Moulet, Reef <laughs> Hendricks. He is locked in the two spot as they turn into that second corner. Who was out in front for now? I think that is Jono Hadson. He's got it for now, but he is being followed hard by that beautiful flowing locks of Reef Hendricks. I wonder who his hairdresser is, but as we come down 13 boys, race 127, Callum Dillard, Lyman, Emerson Hohoya, Jacob Lyman, Arlo Rendell, Ruben Scott, Fergus Gardner, Timothy Criswell, Oliver Donaldson. Man, whew, that's a mouthful as they come down here, especially to get out fast so that you all know where we're going and who's racing. But as we come down this third straight, we've got the 314 out in front. Oh, well, 414, sorry, Timothy Cresswell out in front. He's got a good lead, but in front of second place. And I think that's how they're going to keep it, is the third and fourth. Pretty close, but I think he's going to manage to hold on to it. All right, we are on to 13, boys. Oh, oh, no! That is a huge, huge bin from Nixon Banks. He's tough as nails, and he doesn't go down like that very often. But back to racing, we have got the Cromwell rider, Liam King, out in one. The 9.45. Oh, another crash down on uh, corner two as well. The 9.45 in the two. And the 2.75 of Cooper Halitama in the three. Go, go Noah, work, work for it. So the other rider that came down with Nixon is Noah. Uh, Evans, and I know he's hard as nails, so he's working for it, trying to get back there. Give them all a big round of applause. They got back up on their bikes and managed to finish the race. We're going to check out and make sure that uh, Nixon Banks is doing okay. All right, just a big shout out again to those on the live stream. Grab yourselves a beverage. Maybe now is a good time to go and get yourselves a biscuit. You've got 35 seconds. What an absolute start to racing we have had. Absolutely everything going on in this racing. We've had thrills, we've had spills. I've seen a few whips and a few jumps. And it has been absolutely awesome so far. The weather's playing ball for now, which is great. The best thing is that tomorrow is supposed to be even better because it is a bit chilly in that wind. It is, and I guess it's a little bit extra work in the wind too. Yeah, true. Working against that, that breeze has got to be pretty hard. Well, I think all things being equal, it is shaping up to be an absolutely outstanding day for finals racing here oh. at Hawke's Bay. It's a ripper day. And I tell you, these, um, all of these riders are definitely deserving the lollies, the donuts, and the, and the chocolate that they're managing to scoff down just to keep that energy up. 100%. And again, just a reminder, it is really important on these major meeting days that uh, if you are here with us in person, that you are keeping an eye on where racing is at.
All right, we've just had a call come through. Jason Jolly, Jason Jolly, if you can get yourself around to staging. Jason Jolly, get yourself around to staging. Yeah, uh, the other thing too, people, just to remember is uh, I know it seems a little bit overcast, but don't forget to slip, slop, slap. That sun still burns pretty hot here in New Zealand, and we definitely don't want you getting sun, sunstroke uh, or heat stroke. Make sure you definitely get plenty of water down. Keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself fed. And if you are in the region of any of our awesome vendors out the back, make sure that you frequent them as well. We want to do our bit to ensure that we are showing as much love, not only with uh, our uh, being here, but also with our wallets to those uh, vendors that have come out to support this weekend's event. Oh, have you seen those donuts out the back? Oh, mate, I'm trying not to see them, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, don't don't get me wrong, I don't need one. (laughs) Holy moly, they're amazing. Uh, And all of the food and coffees out the back smell so good, look so good. I've had a hot chocolate, it was pretty good. All things being equal, you are fueled like the athlete that you are. Oh, I definitely fueled myself up. I mean, I'm talking as fast as these guys are riding, so... And to be fair, it really does take your breath away sometimes. Oh, you take my breath away. Oh, stop it. You make me blush. (laughs) All right, back to the live stream. We're seeing all sorts of messages come through. Big shout out to the Sharks, especially Cam and Hannah from Angela Inwood. Oh, there's one. Let's go, Grayson from the Hawks Bay. Big shout out to Harrison from Bullfinch, Western Australia. That comes in from Leonard Singh. What else have we got? There's heaps in there, isn't it? Oh, my I'm not God. sure we can keep up. Get through them. Cromwell Massive coming in, love and loving it. Go Isla Reid, mum's on board. You bloody legend. That's what it's got there. All right, never nice to see, but good to see Nixon Banks getting the care that he needs. And no doubt he will be charging hard when his body lets him. And for that, I guess we need to give a massive thank you to, uh, to St. John's who come down and support us every, at every race meet. They do such a good job. They look after our athletes really, really well. Um, and in saying that, so do all of the, the people who, who help out, all of the volunteers. So massive round of applause for them when you get a chance. Absolutely. Major meetings are no mean feat, and literally it is years in the making. So, again, if you see someone wearing a Hawks Bay BMX Club uh, volunteer shirt, something of the of the sort, make sure you give them a crisp high five. Even those uh, New Zealand BMX officials, give them a bit of a high five as well. They do a great job of keeping BMX NZ alive. 100%. And we wouldn't have race meetings like we've got without them. So, again, it is a grassroots affair down under here in New Zealand. And uh, again, we couldn't do it without people's absolute love and passion for the sport that we all know and love too. Yeah, and that goes out to everybody here that's even just standing here watching. You know, they're supporting the supporting the racing, they're supporting the sport, and that just means that we can carry the sport on. Exactly, exactly. What is up? I'm thinking that uh, I don't know about you, mate, but I think Sunday afternoon the grandstand is going to be on for finals racing. I think so. It's going to be pretty chocker. I like seeing a grandstand. It just makes it feel more uh, more as a uh, official as a sport. It's a it's a real sports event. Yeah, bit of a cauldron, bit of a I don't know, a stadium kind of affair. Yeah. Where about to you from? Oh, we're coming down from uh, the Big Smoke up north. Mountain Raiders? Oh, yeah, Mountain Raiders. <laughs> oh, that's an all right track. <laughs> <laughs> we do okay. We do okay. You do You do better than okay. It's a pretty cool track. Oh, we appreciate the support and, again, looking forward to getting into our race meeting in about a month's time. Is that the Twilight one? Yep, that's the one. You'll yeah, be at that. Oh, nice. Well, I won't be racing. Don't get me wrong. You come commentate. Oh, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Here we go. Is this you or me? All right, we're back into racing, and it is 13 boys, and it's going to be none other than Benny Anderson. He has got the launch mode activated, and he is out like a shot. And it's going to be a Harwood rider in the form of Fletcher Lawrence holding it down in the two spot. We'll see who's in that three as they come back. But Ben Anderson, the NZ2 bike, he is out to an awesome lead in the second round of the 13 boys. The 288 coming in hard. Looks like it's going to be the Harwood rider though. Holds on in the two spot. 
And here we go, 13 boys, race 130, Max Short, Black Potter. Who we've got out in front, though, the 700 of Ty Mana Ehu Thompson, Black Lover in there too, Xavier Bell, Jack Buckley, Marcus Wistron. And here they come down into that second corner, and they are blistering in speed as they come down here, almost throwing up smoke as they pedal. Oh. The 391 in number two, the 88 in number three, the 391 is Xavier Bell, the 88 is Jack Buckley. I'm not sure. Whoa, we've got a battle on for third, and it's massive. Who's going to pull it? I don't think we can tell. One, three, one, 13 boys. Kemp Hancock, Liam Clifford, Caleb Smith, Dylan Fox, Max Hay Hay, Jax West, Reed McDonald. And as they come down here, who's holding on to first? I oh, think it's the 205 of Dylan Fox. He's been blistered. He's been on today. This is the second time he's coming out, out in front. Doing a great job there. He's a great role model to uh, to all the other riders too, Dylan Fox. He's been really good for riders at four or five different clubs. So he's doing a really, really good job. Awesome to see. Awesome to see. And awesome to see the results following as well out on the track as he role models that awesome leadership out on the track. Now the 14 girls, it's going to be Nicola Mapu out like a shot. She'll pick up that whole shot. The NZ6 though, that is going to be Reeves Nipia Anderson in on the two. We'll pick up who's in that three spot as they come back towards us, but it is all Nicola Mapu, the triple five bike in the one for now. Reeve holding on though, wants to be in striking distance as they come towards this third and final corner, the 406. Lucy Lardner in there as well, but Nicola Mapu turns and burns for home. And here we go, 14 girls, Holy, Holly Tribble, Jasmine Campbell, Isabel. It's the NZ1 though out in front of Beth Walker. Catalina Morris, Sophie Coldquin. Hopefully I got that name right. I'm very sorry if I didn't. But the NZ1's holding on out in front at the moment. But the two and three spot are really making it work for it. Fours right on the tail. Number one, two, three. And the one, nine, eight. Really, really making it really difficult for, uh, for the NZ1 Beth Walker to hold on to that. All right, 16 boys. Jack Young, Kai Timuana, Daria, Corey, Jacob... Jackson and Regan in this one will try and get back to the action as we see what is happening in the second corner. I think it is going to be the three five five nine. Jeez, it took me a while to get that one locked and loaded. Five five nine of Jack Young in the one, but he's just been passed on that last corner. Regan Smith in the three. And here we go, 16 boys, and they move too fast to say their last name. So we've got Ryan, Jacob, Tom, Isaac, Ashton, and Flynn out there, not quite sure who's pulled away, it may be Tom, but we'll have to wait to see as they come down here, yes, the NZ2, who's the who in NZ2, that's Tom Coleman, the 337, and in the second Isaac Thompson, but he's having to work for it, oh, and we've got touch and tickle as they come down around that third corner, oh. but no, they're going to keep it the way it was, all right, the NZ5, James Wallace leads them through, that first corner for yet another of our 16 boys. That is lightning fast over the double into the corner from Tyler Dinsdale. He's trying to make his way around that bike in front of him. The NZ8, Maxi Richardson though, he's charging hard too. But these two are going to bang bars all the way to the end. That is going to be another photo finish. All right, here we go. 17 to 24, male 20. Who have we got out in front? This is the 98 of Logan Clark. We've also on this track, we've got Cameron Lang, Brian Tane, Tane, Angus Thompson, Ben Lachlan, Harry Fever. As they come down through, it's still the uh, 98 out in front. The 3-6-1 in, in number two, Angus Thompson. Didn't quite catch number three, but they're making it work. They go so fast, it's ridiculous. All right, 17-24, male 20 inch. That looks like it is going to be Lewis Atkinson out in the top spot, the one one two. Corey Walden in on the two. We'll see who's in the three as they come back. But it is Lewis Atkinson holding it down for one. Corey Walden, though, he'll find the nitrous button, I'm sure, as they head down to this third straight. Going to make Lewis work for it all the way to the home. Lewis, though, he keeps that nose in front as they head towards the line. And they've just launched the next lot of 17 to 24, male 20 inch. We've got Hunter, Ronan, Noah, Brock, and Xavier. As they come down, manualing, wheeling, jumping, 
making it look so easy and so smooth to come around that second corner there. We've got out in front the 4-2-1 of Ronan McKenzie, then 8-2-5 of Xavier Dunn, but he's been challenged for that second spot. He's going to have to really, really work for it if he wants to hold it, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. That's going to be nose to nose. Oh, it looks like we've got the Harwood Hustle out in front with the three. Harbour to right as the uh, blue and yellow army making it pretty hard to pass. One in a dump truck. <laughs> the triple six bike of Rob Robinson out in front. The 177 locked in on the two. What is going to happen on that turn for home? It is going to be Harbour to one, two, and three. All right, here we go. 40 to 44, male 20. Brad Andrews, Daniel Cullen, Scott Silver, Adam Green, Dwayne Moritz. Glenn Richardson, Grant Reedy, Lee Holloway. I do believe that's Mr. Silver out in front. He's going to try and hold on to it all the way around here. This man's been racing for a lot of years. He even raced uh, race cars as well. Smashed his, uh, smashed his jaw once up Cambridge. Were you there for that? Yep, yep, certainly yeah. was, certainly was. Great job coming back, though. I thought you said great job on his jaw. Well, and that. And that, too. Yep. All right, 45 to 49, male 20. It looks like it's going to be Zane Alexander out in the front. The 5'11 of Phil Gill in on the two, the one, the two, four. El Presidente, Gareth Lachlan, Waitakere President in on the three. He can run a pretty good club and ride a bike too, which is absolutely fantastic. But back to the front, it's going to be Zane Alexander throwing it down in the one. It looks like he'll lock that one in. And here we go, 45 to 49, male 20 inch. And as they come around that corner, we've got the NZ1 out in front of uh, JT Nepia, Derek Jalgrisma in second, oh not in second, sorry, on the track as well. Maybe in second. Brett McCursey, Tony Thornley, Nathan Cornelius as they come around that second corner. It's going to be the NZ1 out in front, the NZ2 in second, the 1, 4, 2 and 3. And uh, 4 and 5 are really going to fight it out as they come down that last straight. All right, race 144, 70 to 24, female 20 inch. And it is going to be Selena Fister leads them through in the whole shot. But she has got company in the form of the 356 of Maya Watkins looming large in the rearview mirror. Coming back towards us on the rhythm section. What is going to happen? Selena's working hard to make that maybe nice and wide. She's got her bump on with the rearview mirror full, but it is going to be Selena. Uh, looks like she'll take it home. 17 and 24, female 20 inch. We've got Riley, Zoe, Kira, who we've got out in front. The uh, 551, I think, of Renee is out in front. Holding it down as she comes around. She's got a great lead out there in front. Second and third coming into that second corner as well. Uh, if she can hold on to this, she's going to make it all the way around. Yep, it is the 551. I was right. And then we've got the 955 of Brooke. Kion in second, but she's going to be working down here because they are challenging her hard. No, she's going to hold on to it. Absolutely awesome. Oh my goodness, it is Masters Racing, and Timmy the Tank gets the elbows out. Little nudge into the pro set, and these guys, I tell you what, if you want to watch any racing this weekend, these will be the ones to watch. Tim Ferguson out in the 1, 68. Richie Stratford in the 2. Adam Coker looming last to see if he can cook up something, but he's going to have to settle for three. And here we go. We've got the uh, 25 to 34 male 20 inch. Didn't quite catch who was coming around there, but we've got Lee Chapman, Scott Donaldson, Hayden Stockman, Alex Sewell, Brandon McRae, Softy Wee. And as, as they come down, we've got out in front the 320 of Scott Donaldson. He's going to try and hold on to it as he comes down that back straight. Second and third are really working for it, but actually making it their own. They're going to own it all the way through. All right, 25 to 34, female 20. And she did it last, Moto, and she's done it again. Amy Martin, the hometown hero, out in at two, the top spot. Tony James sitting in that two spot for now as they head into this rhythm section. Obviously a bit cooler than the, the Queensland Sun, but she is back into her work like she never left. She's going to go through, Pete. Take it, the one, Tony for the two. And here we go, 40 plus female, 20 inch. Uh, we've got Lisa Anderson, Sonia Rennie, Nancy James, Joe Coombs, Donna Head, Jeanette Davies, and Jeanette has got a commanding lead already. Uh, I know she's been training for Worlds and she's working really hard to get there. I think she's going to do a great job representing New Zealand. And in second, 
we have the 151 of Donna Hedge. She's out doing a great job in second. 424 4 in third. Sonia Rennie didn't quite catch those last two, which, which area they are. And the 91 of Nancy James doing a great job out there representing. All right, we're at the 50 plus male 20. We've looks like we've got uh, Aaron Hodder, Greg Hughes, Lee Wilson, Derek Harrison, Dan Sue, Roy leaning in this one. And coming back towards us, it is going to be the skinny digit of Greggy Hughes. He's got this one locked and loaded. Lightning Lee Wilson in on the two, the NZ6. Aaron Hodder, he'll go three, pick up the three. All right, here we go with the 50 plus male 20. Race 151, Trent McDonald, Ryan Gulliford, Warren Bogus, Mike Head, Carl Berryman, Matthew Allen. Over, we're getting a little bit of air time. Not quite into the stratosphere, but getting pretty close to the ozone as he comes down into that third straight. We've got the uh, 88 of Mike Head, but he's been challenged, and I think he's just been relegated to second. Well, I shouldn't say relegated, but no, he's taken his first spot back. All right, 12 girls, Quinn, Lindsay, Lily Rose, Moy Hughes, Jasmine, Kind, Maddie Newcomb, Chloe Tinsdale, Andy McC uh, McMullen, Charlotte Zillwood and Grace Lardner. And it looks like it is going to be Maddie Newcomb out in the one, but she has got polka dots in the rear view mirror. And what is going to happen as they head down this rhythm section? It has been some interesting racing, seeing where the passing zones are, seeing where the action happens. And this final corner here at Hawks Bay BMX Ooh. has certainly been one for the action as they go too wide down that four straight. Oh, I don't want to call that one. And here we go, 13 girls, Abby Story Freilig, Courtney Smith, Holly Nelson. Uh, the 111 of Holly Nelson out in front, 725, Bedrick McCusker. As they come down around here. So coming racing through, 13 girls. Who have we got? It's still the 111 of Holly Nelson. 303 in number two, Courtney Smith. And then third place is too close to call. It's either going to be Beatrix McCusker or Abby Story Frailing, but I can't quite tell. And we have an empty gate. Looks like we've got a bit of a break just momentarily, as uh, I'm sure a few things get sorted out. Uh, but we, again, we are ripping through it. Hard to believe we are race 154 up on the gate. And it has been an absolutely lightning fast morning of racing. Now that, what are we? We're 10 to 1, absolutely ripping through it. And again, awesome to see such strong numbers on the live stream out there in uh, YouTube land, supporting New Zealand BMX. Uh, someone, I've just had a, we've just had a message up here. Someone from Waitakere, could you please head up to staging for a mechanical? Someone from Waitakere, could you please head up? Someone's had a mechanical, or if there's anybody else out there that thinks that they can fix it, if you could please head up, give them a hand, that'd be awesome. All right, so we are just going to skip a race, swap them around. Um, we've had a mechanical on the race number 154, so we're going to swap it around and put 155, 14 boys first, and then we'll come back to race 154 when we get a chance. All right, we're into racing. 14 boys, Sebastian Williams, Cooper Harvey, Lucas Martini, Case Silver, Ben Shaw, and Nick Armitage. And it is going to be Lucas Martini. He is out like a shot. Skills to pay the bills, this kid, I tell you what. And it is Case Silver looming large in at the back. But these two, they've battled it out for a number of years. Always like to put on a bit of a show. And if you want an absolute masterclass in how to ride a bike, these two will give it to you. But it looks like Lucas will go through. He'll take the one. Case for the two. Uh, I do believe this is 14 boys again. We've got, I think, I hope. I don't want to call the wrong race. But it looks like we've got 14 boys again. Just till we sort out that uh, mechanical we have going on. Uh, but as they come down that third straight, we've got the 600 of Riley Smart, followed very closely by the NZ4 
and the 3 1 3. We're not quite sure who's going to take that. The Howard Rider at number four. All right, into 14 boys, we got Mason, Jiggle Smart, Lucky Bartram, Charlie Liza, Zane Williamson, Nixon Poynton, and Brock Steedman in this one. Coming hard on that inside line, we'll see. Leaves the door open, though. It is going to be three wide as they come down. NZ5, though. Lockie Bartram just has a nose in front, but that is short-lived. As the Cromwell wider, Charlie Lizer, he'll go through. He'll pick up the one. Um, nine girls. Indy Smith, Ellie Campbell. Two on five, Perrin, Rennie, Mila McCullum and Hattie Barrington. I do hope I'm calling the right race. I'm a little bit confused now. 100% uh, you're in the right spot. I'll tell you that much. Knocked it out of the park. Knocked it out of the park. Well, I hope not, because then we wouldn't have any races. But here we go, coming into uh, first spot. We've got 305 of Hattie Barrington. She's holding on, but the two and three really making her work for it. She's not going to get it for free, that's for sure. We've got four and five coming up. That's a bit of a battle as well. All right, we are back to racing, and it's going to be Georgia Poe Edwards comes through in the hole shot. As Lloyd in at the two. And going back in the race, it looks like we've got Sienna Richardson and Alicia Ashton in the three, four. But Georgia Poe Edwards pumping hard. She loves the third straights around the country. I tell you what, that is where she gets into her work. And she's got herself a decent bit of breathing room as she heads towards home. All right, we've got race 160, 11 girls. Seren Hedges, Olivia Lawson, who we've got out in front. We've got the NZ2 of Nessie Rennie, Peyton Carroll, Liam Lloyd, and Bo Hodua. As they come down into that second uh, second corner, NZ2, Nessie Rennie still out in front, holding on to it as she comes down there. But right on her tail, really close, is the 134 of Bo Hodua. All right, where is I think they're going to hold on to it there. All right, into 11 girls. We got Eddie Harrifield out in the one, the 919. Lexi Silva in on the two. And we'll pick up the rest as they come back towards us. But Eddie Harrifield, the girls captain of the Mighty Elevens, into her work early. Likes to get out in the clear air. Got the skinny digit for a reason. She'll go the one. Lexi Silver in on the two, and the NZ4, Kelly Mella from Crosshead City. I think she'll go through and take that three. All right, we are straight there. 15 boys, is it? We've got the 15 boys here. Connor King, Nico Kogan, Lucas Treadway, Levi Banks, Seth Moritz, Tane DeThierry. Come around that corner at blistering light speed NZ2 of Nico Kogan followed very closely by I didn't quite catch that number but he's followed very closely he's going to have to work for it if he wants to keep it Jesse McLean 8 to 10 cruiser Jesse McLean 8 to 10 cruiser get yourself around into staging ASAP otherwise I think you might be missing your race Jesse McLean 8 to 10 cruiser yep, yep. All right, we are back racing. We have to figure out where on earth we are. Uh, I think this might be back at the 13 girls, maybe. All right, we'll go back, and it is going to be the NZ5 out in front, 695, and the NZ2 charging hard on the inside. Have to work out where we're at. All right, I think we're caught up now. All right, we are back racing. Yeah, back to 15 boys. Brock Marshall, Thomas Broxop, Rory Lawson, Conan Jaguzma, Mason Robinson, Bryson Joyce. Who have we got out front? The 106. 108, sorry, Bryson Joyce. He's got a commanding lead. I think he's going to hold on to it all the way to the end. But the battle for third is on. All right, we are into it. And we have got Liam Parks, Blake Moore, Deacon Connor, Zeb Pickford. Riley Burley and Case Van Heuven. And it is going to be the skinny digit of Deacon Connor out in the one for now. The 195 in on the two. The 101 of Case Van Heuven in on the three. And they are going to lock it in and get those much needed points. What's up? Man, I mean, tell you, those kids get more airtime than old uh, Air New Zealand. 
rack up the air miles they do, I tell you. Yeah, you're not wrong there. But hey, we've got 15 to 16 girls. Aurora Herbert, Brooke Day, Madeline Hunter, Hazel Gardner, Nadia Gepiani, Jamie Davies, Nikita Clark. But it's three to three by three as they come down the seven. Oh, I couldn't even tell you. 7.06 out in front. But they're battling hard. Well, I'd hate to pull that one as well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. State Hancock, Amber Bell, Azaria Thornley, Molly Enia, Ella Hebendal, and Danica Bergeson in this one. And I think it's Danica out in the top spot. But after that, who knows what on earth is going on because it is close racing for that two, three, four. Five position, but it is the 97 throwing it down in the two as they go through that third and final corner. We can't keep up, mate. I'm running uh, out of breath. Yeah, I'm running out of uh, I'm running out of ideas. I've got to be honest. Uh, here we go, though. Eight to ten cruiser mix. Jesse McLean, Tate Burden, Harrison Cullen, Kian Thompson, Stella Torrance, Jordan Dawson, and Enzo Torrance. Man, the big wheel all the way around the corners. They work these things just as well as they work those 20 inches, and. Uh, I've got to say they do a great job, but here we go. It's three by three as they come down the 300 in the NZ4. Take, taking a little bit of things. So Jordan Dawson and oh, it's the 200. Sorry, Tate Burden. They are working out in front. All right, we are into 11 to the 12 cruiser mail. Big shout out also to Joycey tuning in. He is a name that has been around the sport for a while. He is sitting at home paying close attention. There might be rumours of. Uh, who knows what? Getting back on a bike sometime soon. Much big shout out to you, mate. Oh, the big comeback. All right, and it's going to be Dylan Sazi out in the one, and the NZ one. Nelson Urata in the two, and these two are going to bang bars all the way to the end. But it looks like it's going to be Nelson. He'll get out and take the one. Here we go, eleven to twelve. Cruiser Mail. We've got Ryder Wheeler, Angus Morgan, Finn Barrington, Jago Haig. Jackson Carroll and Rico Ryan as they come down through there. Uh, and oh, I've got to be honest, I can't quite tell who's out in front. They are just so close in racing, these guys. And it's the NZ1 followed by the NZ3. So right, whoa, Rico Ryan. I've got two NZ3s here, so I'm not quite sure <laughs> which one is which. Got to be honest. So, something happened, something happened. Yeah. All right, back to racing 35 to 39 Cruiser Mail. And it's going to be Adam Coca out in the top spot, the 990 of Adam Lawrence. What is in the name? It certainly seems to be you can ride a bike. And Mr. Lawrence comes through the middle with the 372 in tow. Adam Coca looks like he's just cruising on his cruiser. He shuts it down. Here we go, 35-39, cruiser mail. And coming in around that corner in the front spot is the uh, 120 of Ben Walter, I do believe. But I'm going to have to recheck that as they manual and jump in through to that second corner. Oh, it's a battle on now for first. Who's going to hold on to it? The 135. The 135 of Scott Murphy has just taken over from Ben Walter. Oh, have they just swapped places again? I'm not quite sure. Who knows? I can't keep up. <laughs> it is certainly like that. Kim Fire charging hard into that first corner with Brendan Tate and Toe. These two are going to go... Bar to bar, and it looks like Brendan Tate, Mr. Science Studio, he is out in the top spot. He is going to be getting into his work as they head down towards us on that third straight. Kim Fai, he's working it, as well as Lindsay Verrett and Grant Rennie. But it will be Brendan Tate. He is going to go through, and he's going to lock in a much-deserved win there. All right, 40 to 44, Cruiser Mail, Lance Dinsdale, Tim Martin, Daniel Donson. Pete Maisie, it's the NZ1 though out in front of Lance Dinsdale. We've also got Dwayne Moritz in there. But the NZ1's really running away with it at the moment. I'm not sure. He might be able to hold on to it, but as we were saying before, it's not over until the pedal stop turning. So let's see how he goes. We've got in the number two, we've got the 190, 198 of Dwayne Moritz. And he's making him work for it, but I don't think he's going to be able to catch him up as he come down. But the third place. Oh. Oh. That was closer than I would hate to call. 45 to 49, Cruiser Mail, and it is going to be Zane Alexander out in front. Wayne Shanks there in on the two. We'll work out the three, four as they come back towards us. Harry Harrifield looking for a dive on the inside, but Zane has got it locked in. Wayne Shanks in on the two, the 171. That is going to be Kevin in the three. 
What can Harry do on that last straight? All right, 45 to 49, male cruiser. We've got the 77 of... Uh, where is it? 77. Schmansky. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry. Stephen Schmansky out in front. Is he going to be able to hold it as he come down there? He's been racing for a fair while, this man. But then uh, in the two spot is the NZ1 of uh, Derek. Oh, but no, I'm not sure. He's, can he hold? Who's he? I'm not even sure he's going to hold on to number one. All right, 13 to 16, Four. Cruiser. Mr. Tyler Dinsdale, he takes it to the moon. And comes back down in the top spot of the 13 to 16 Cruiser Mail. We said it last round, these guys are putting on quite the show on the big wheels as they come back towards us. Tyler's got his work cut out from though. Maxi Richardson's coming up on that outside shoulder, excuse me. What are they going to do as they head towards home? It looks like Tyler might just keep a nose in front. 17 to 34, Cruiser Mail. Out in front, we've got, oh, too fast to call. That's what we've got. But we've got Casey Walker, Logan Clark, Hunter Hitter, Softy Wee, Corey Walden. Here we go as they come down here. Can I call it this time? NZ one out in front, Corey Walden. He's going to try and hold on to it all the way to the end. I think he's going to be able to do it as he launches, jumps. Whoops. Here we go, 17 to 34, Cruiser Mail, Brandon McRae. Hamish Earl, Brock Bomber Nelson, Zachary Arnold, Hamish McDonald. Who have we got out in front there? We've got the 541 of Zachary Arnold. All right, 50 plus Cruiser Mail, Dion Newt, Greg Hughes, Craig Barrington, Roy Leaney. Rocky Almas, Aaron Hodder, and Clifford Wilson. And again, no surprises there. The World Five of Dion Neath out in the top spot, followed by the Triple One, Greg Hughes. The BMX Emergency coming on down that third straight in the second spot. The NZ7, Aaron Hodder locking in the three with Cliff Wilson charging hard in the four, but it will be all Dion Neath. All right, and here we go. 50 plus Cruiser Mail, Matthew Allen, Lee Stevens, Darcy McCusker, Carl Berryman. Who have we got out in front? Oh, that red makes it really hard. Oh, why didn't I just look at that? I uh, can't really see that. Um, so we're going to check who we've got out in front as they come back down towards us. We've got the 100. Oh, but Carl Berryman out in front. He's got a pretty handy lead. He can pretty much cruise to the end, I reckon, which is what he's doing. But here they come. They're going to come out and challenge him for first. He still manages to hold on to it just as he goes over. 13 to 44, Cruiser female. And Amy Martin is back at her antics again, locking in the whole shot. She's got a couple of bike links back to Taylor Arnold, Kyla Newton, Sonia Rini, and Jade Elmers. And it looks like... Amy shut it down as well. She's gone into pump mode. The 424. Sonia Rini in on the two. The 418. Kylie Newton bring it home in the three. And here we go. Race 182. 13 to 44. Cruiser female. Caitlin Georgentis. Amy Duckett. Selena Feister. Tony James. And Catalina Morris. Coming down, nice wee bit of air time over that uh, jump into the corner. Always makes me a little bit nervous jumping into the corner. I turn my wheel too early, but we've got the NZ1 right out there in front. Tony James making it look easy. She's going to hold on to it all the way to the end. All right, as we've said earlier and throughout the day, it is really important that you keep an eye on where we're at in racing. We are into round number three, so if you haven't already done so, get yourself round into staging for round number three. We'd really appreciate it if you could stay on top of that. That means that the wheels, both figuratively and uh, literally, stay greased, and uh, this can be the tight ship that it is supposed to be for the duration. So round number three underway. Get yourself around there and in to your next round of racing. All right, and then the number one of that one, it was Steph Holt. She wins that one. And then the second is uh, Hayley Puddle. They've done a really good job of uh, racing around there. It's great to see so many women racing now. Uh, 45 plus cruiser female again. Donna Head, Jeanette Davies, Sherilyn Anderson, and Nancy James. And uh, once again, no surprises there. Jeanette Davies, 
coming down NZ1. And the 151 of Donna Head is really making it work for it. She's not going to give it to free. You definitely have to pay the entry fee, that's for sure. And uh, I'd just like to uh, welcome back to the desk Mr. Brenton Harrison, elbow to elbow. Bar to bar. Kia ora, Aaron. How are you today, mate? Oh, bro. Always better when I see you, that's for sure. Mate, you guys have been doing a stunning job up here. It's going to be some big shoes to fill. As we say, thank you to, for the day to Mr. Greg Buckley. Uh, appreciate your assistance, sir. Might even see him a bit later on. Oh, I tell you what, only if we're lucky, I guess. But, um, hey, welcome back to our live stream viewers. It looks like we've got the first race up on the uh, Moto 3 up on the gate, ready to rock and roll, eh? Moto 3 already, man. They're skipping through. And when you think about it, there's 90-something races per moto. And, you know, we're, what is, it's 1 o'clock, so two hours we've done two it's, motos. It's, that's insane. It's pretty mate, fast. These guys and girls are riding super fast out there, right? It's absolutely intense. So uh, we're going to flip a coin to see who's calling this one, buddy. All right. Do well, you want heads or tails? I'll take heads. <laughs> Wooden wheel. Uh, oh, I think you win. Okay, cool. I'm into it. Let's go. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's warmed up during the day, though. It was a little bit chilly this morning. I was feeling the cold, and I don't uh, usually feel the cold. Tell you what, mate, the Hawks Bay definitely is not disappointing. The weather is pulling it on. So a reminder to all those on the side of the track, slip, slop, and slap. Uh, great to see all the feet are behind the fence as we lock and load uh, in preparation for moto number three. Mate, the, uh, the YouTube's going mental, too. It's really awesome to check out all the comments coming through. Oh, look at that. Shout out to Kaitangata Riders. Race hard. Yeah, I, I'm really excited. I, I can't wait. One day I'm going to get down to Kaitangata. I, I can only imagine. I've got, I got this image in my head about, about the club, and I just really want to get down there to come I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Uh, South Island, mate. Oh, South yeah. Island. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, there's a shout out here to Noah Evans. Keep it up, right, brother. Rubber side down. Uh, i tell you what, though, also big shout-out to our camera operators uh, doing a stunning job out there. On the, If you're not on the YouTube, you should be. Even if you're trackside, mate, you can get on there and, and check it out. Sometimes you get a bit of view from the thing. You know, you can only see kind of one part of wherever you're sitting. You see the rest of the track, but it's not as good. But if you're on the YouTube, you can see it all. Hey, um, I, know, I know a lot of the kids go back and watch themselves and, and you know, do the replays, and you see it all in those top tick things and stuff putting them out. Do you go back and watch, listen to yourself at all, just on a side note? No, because, oh, I, no, definitely not. I don't uh, want to hear this. Oh, awkward, yeah, awkward. I okay, because I, I do. I, I spend hours just reliving the experience, you know, trying to train for it, trying to get better at it, you know, come up with different one-liners. It's, it's, um, That's what I was just talking about that with, um, with the people from the Rotorua Club earlier, my wife, and uh, she was saying that I should Google things to say as the, for the racing, you know, like you, the, everybody's got little sayings, you know, like... Uh, hey, I'm going to let you in a little secret, mate. Life's moved on from Google. You want to get to chat GPT. You want to chat GPT, that stuff, brother. Get on there tonight, check it out, and we're into it. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm getting a bit slow into it here, but here we go. Race number 185, Moto 3, Sprockets 5 and under. Oh, I can make out the front there. It's none other than the East City Rider on the 311. That's Hudson Hislop. He's pushing hard, but in behind him is this club. Mate there, it's Haru Shimada on the 419. He's going hard. These two are going to be throwing it down all weekend long. That's for sure as they go into the second corner. Joining them there, though, is their neighbour, Jake Anderson, on the 120 from the Mountain Raiders Club. As he comes around the corner into the rhythm, straight back down towards us. This is absolutely phenomenal stuff. We've got Fletcher Stevens there from Pangarei. He's come from up from the top of the North Island there. He's getting the most of it there on the plate 100 as they roll around the corner there. Perry Robertson on the 173 from Tauranga. He's living the dream here in the Hawks Bay, although it looks like we had one maybe not turn up, but that's okay. Hopefully they were all right. Oh, no, there we go. I'm getting blind, mate. It's just getting that commentary it's, eyes back into the thick yeah, of it. Yeah, no, it's not really that. Like, we are getting old. Just to be fair, we're getting a bit blind. But, hey, we've got race 186, Sprockets 5 and under. Freddie Stansfield, Cohen, Cohen Phillips, Sage Lawrence, Hugo Ulhan. And as they come around, who have we got? We've got the 301 out in front of Freddie, Freddie Stansfield. He's doing a great job. He's trying to run away with the race. And then we're number two and three. They're fighting it out as they come down around there. I didn't quite catch the numbers, but I'm going to catch that on the way back down. 
Hit through the second corner they come, over those whips. Nice pumping, absolutely awesome. They've obviously had some great training from the things. Uh, the 301, Freddie, he's from the Waitakere Club. We've got the 484, Cohen Phillips. And then the 385, or 885 of Sage Lawrence. See, that goes to show the old eyes. Not working too well. But I think Freddie's going to hold on to that one. Cohen's going to come in a nice second. Well, there we go, mate. That's thick and fast chair. Liam Wang into the whole shot there from the North Harbour Club here for race number 187, Moto 3, Sprocket 6 Boys. He's out there, though. He's battling on. Look at that battle there for second and third into the second corner there. Hey, they come around the corner, back down towards us. We look to make out who's who in the order there. I think I can make out a couple of eights and a two and a five. That must be none other than the 825, all the way from Whangarei. Jack Green in the mix of it as well. We've got Carter Lynch in there on the 925, and a Hamilton from somewhere in the mix there. Grayson Perno from the Hawks Bay, the local lad there on the 980. Ryan McBride on the 882 from... Tio Mutu and Finn Hudson on the 809 from New Plymouth. And here we go, race 188, Sprocket 6 boys again. And we've got the uh, 420 out in front of Sota Shimada. Also on the race, we've got Ryan Entwistle, Ludovico Rosenberg, Odin Weddy, Arlo Peterson and Finn Watson. And as they come around, it does look like the Sota Shimada is actually pulling away. He's trying to make his lead just that little bit better so he doesn't have to work so hard down that back straight. But, oh, the battle for second has just got hot. As they come around that third corner, we're not even quite sure who's going to be able to hold on to that. But the pumping and the whooping down there is pretty good. Talking about holding on to it, Cooper Rochebrook from Cromwell on the 934. He's out there at the moment in moto number three, race number 189, Sprocket Six Boys. You can tell those race jerseys, I tell you, the clubs are doing a great job there. Makes our job a little bit easier. I think in behind him I can make out, well, I can't make out who it is actually because I don't know the jumper from this angle. But he's having a bit of a sit down. That, that, that second quarter must be pretty big there. These boys, Sprocket 6, going hard. But there we go, the 934 out the front. Cooper Rushbrook from Cromwell. There we go, the 661 coming into the second spot. That's Riley Smith out of Topo. He's got Oakley Mitchell on the 96 out of Teo Mutu. Finn Duckett on the 101 out of Rotorua. Harry Sinclair on the 193 from Topo. And a Hat Valley Thunderbolt on the 987 there of Luke Richardson. And here we go, Sprocket 7 boys. Race 190, we've got Carter Phillips and Hudson Ryan, Vincent Chait. Archer Griffin, William Hetherington, and Maddox Gardner. But out in front, it's the uh, 547 of Maddox Gardner. He's making away. He's trying to pull away from the rest of the field. They're not going to let him, though. They're going to make him work for it. He's going to have to pay the piper if he really wants to hold on to that first place as they come around that corner. First, second, third. They are actually pretty tight. Tighter than a suitcase as they come down through there. Oh, 593. Oh, 993, Hudson Ryan in second. Not sure if he's going to be able to hold it on because the man behind him is going to make him work for it, make him work hard. Well, they better get a wiggle on, mate, because here comes race number 191, Sprockets, three, six to seven girls into the mix of it. We look to see who's in the whole shot there. It's a mountain raider. It must be none other than Evelyn Zhu on the 354 as she comes racing down into the second corner. we got Winnie Murphy there on the 7 on 0 from Christchurch trying to get a spot in the mix as well. Tessa Macy on the 140 from Cambridge. She's looking for a piece of the action in the thick of it there. Tova Luke on the 651 out of Capital City. Miller Crawley on the 273 from Watakari. But it's the 880 of Papa Walker from Hamilton chasing down the Mountain Raider. Luca Robinson on the 979 out of Rotorua in this mix there somewhere too. Here we go, coming through on the 273. Pretty impact. There's Miller Crawley from Waitakere rounding out race number 191. All right, and here we go with an eight boys. Race 192. Jaden Barrett, Flynn Robinson, Kingston Hislop, Brock Wellington, Te Aungarangi Wheeler, Frank Waters, Jack Snippier Anderson, and Matua Nui. Draw it. Kale Hill. And I do believe that might be uh, Mr. Matanui, Matuanui out in front. Yep, the triple one. He's the emergency rider as they come around here. He's going to hold on to that first, but the battle for second is intense. And I don't mean the camping type, I mean it's intense racing. Oh, here we go. Talk about intense. They're keeping us on our toes with race 193 into the thick of it. It looks like so. Oh, there we go. A dirty undercut there on the 115. Daniel Chen showing us the skills to pay the bills as he rounds out into the second corner. But it looks like it's another cross church rider. <gasps> that must be Cameron oh. Denson making it into it. What's going on there? Too tight to call. Those boys are so close you could throw a tea towel over them. But it looks like our cross church rider, Cameron Denson, on the 808 has got out front. Here we go, the 505 coming into the first spot, but he wants a piece of the pie. That's Samuel Grubb out of Cromwell. But there we go. Daniel Chen's not giving it up. We got Leo Charlton. Uh, 
Luke, Nico, Simeon, Liam, Fife, Nico, Rosenberg, and Keller Lister out of the mix of it too. And here we go, eight boys, race 194, McKinley Foreman, and Dom Bycroft Jenkins, Olo Hodua, Jackson Ropati, Archer Brown, Jacob Smith, George Wu, Fletcher Smith, and as they come down, there's a nice wee gap in between first and second, but second, third, fourth are on each other's tails. They're going to make it nice and easy for 3 5 1 to pull away because Thor Pizzo, he's doing a great job. They are packed tighter than a tin of sardines as they come down through there for second, third, and fourth. Here we go though, we're into it, race 195 into the mix of it as they come out to look, it looks like it's a North Harbour rider in the form of Hugo Bassett on the 800 plate. He's going in there in the 956, he's trying to get a piece of the pie. That's Jihu Hong out of Christchurch. He's pushing hard for a spot, he's still in the speaking place, it looks like it might be another North Harbour rider up in the mix of it too, but as they come around that second corner, back down towards us, we look to make it out. I think it must still be Hugo Bassett at the front. Juhu Hong and thick of it. We got the 576. He's going for it too. That's Cooper Lawrence. The Hawks Bay right of the local land. Oh, I just saw the 647 out of Dunedin. That's both off in the mix. We got Pen Pen there on the 370 from Gizzy in there somewhere too. Caleb South there from Company and Bowden Lamb in the mix too. All right, here we go. Eight girls. Greta Z, Isla Reed, Dita Hodua. But out front, we've got the 6-1-1 of Isla Reed. She's holding on. She's making a move to try and pull away as we go down that second straight and into the second corner. Matilda Burley's in there. Stella Torrance. Asher Probert. And now we're just going to have to wait to see who's there in second and third. But second's making a move for first. That's the 5-2-2 of... Or 8-2-2 of Dita Hodua. She's making a... Making a move as they come down that back straight. As we say, the race isn't over until you pass that line. Well, I'm yeah. not even sure who made it. Here we go. We're into our line, boys. I tell you, this is an action pack race. I believe it is. Yeah, race number 197 there. Sorry, got myself <laughs> a little bit uh, mixed up in the mix. We got there coming back down towards us. It looks like it could be the NZ1 there. And the North Harbour jumper, that's Jackson Ropani. That's what's confusing me there. We got George Wu on the 505. He's in the mix of it too in the second spot. Joining them though, Fletcher Smith out of Hamilton alongside Don Bycroft Jenkins. Archer Brown out of Topo and Olo Haru from Southland with the Mountain Raider, Nico Matini and Jacob Smith in there too. All right, we've got race 1989, boys. And we've got the 115 of Roman Thompson in the first spot at the moment. But he's being pushed really hard. Now, in the race, we've also got Ezra Reynolds, Lennon Hayes, Luke Buckley, Carter Mould, Braxton Hughes, and Logan Southall. I'm not... I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm not wanting to race any of these guys because there's no way I can keep up. But that was the NZ4, Braxton Hughes in second place. Third and fourth, having a battle there. Nice wee undercut, like an 80s haircut right there. As we come down into that last straight... And we're going to have to get that video guy behind us to try and see if he can help us. Right, here we go. It's your NZ3 into the whole shot there. That is none other than Donovan Wallace out of Topo. He's got company, though, in the form of Harrison Cullen from the Hawks Bay. That's the local lad who wants a piece of action. Hudson McConchie there on the 772 out of North Canterbury. Tyler Hetherington on the 267 out of Harwetta. Your white tuckery rider there on the 637. That's none other than Aiden James. Charlie Mitchell on the 51 out of Cambridge. And Gizzy Local on the 585. Zahn Light, he's in the thick, but it looks like it's going to be your Topo rider taking it out as we round out race number 199. All right, here we go. Race 200, nine boys. And as we come around that corner, we have the uh, 356 of Hendrix. Kahukura out in front. He's, it's all his race at the moment as he comes into that second corner. He's making it his own. He's owning it. And as we come down, we're going to see who can, we've got coming into second and third. And th Oh, well, I can't call third, but the th 430 is in second. And third break. Oh, my God. Now they're all going to work for it. The side by side. Oh, we've got touch and tackle right down here in the third corner. Luckily, no one came off. There was no catch in that race. And here we go, we're into it, race number 201. Oh, the 156 plate there. That is Otis Rohapa, Ropia, sorry, from Capital City. He knows how to get around that corner, that's for sure. In the mix there, though, we're looking for Caden McDonald on the 946 out of the Mountain Raiders. That could be him in the number two spot if I've got my eyes right. Jacob Crawford on the 131, he's from Tauranga, but here we go. It's the 156 first, the 946. 
It's Caden versus Otis here. They're going into the final straight. The outer fetters are going down. They're throwing the pedals. I'm not the pedals throwing them. It's going to be close to call. That's why we've got scores. All right, we've got 10 boys again. Here we go. Race 202. And out in front, we've got the NZ1 of Dallin Johns. He's pulling away from the... From the, uh, from the crew, but he's taking someone with him, and we're going to see who that is in just a minute. He's not going to be finding it too easy, but we've got in behind the 911, 811 of JD Pretorius, and the rest of the crew, we've got Enzo Torrens, Jesse McLean, Caleb Hodder, Ethan Lilly, Archie Burke, and Eli Tyre. And just really quickly, 11 boys, you need to get yourself around the stage and we're into Moto 3. We shouldn't have to be telling you this. Check on scores, find out where you're riding. 11 boys, you're needed in staging. Out there at the moment, though, they know where to go for staging. That's the race number 203. Your two North Harbour riders in the one and two spot. That's the 563 of Matatini Hill. He's in the mix of it there with Jordan Dawson behind him on the 782. But Jordan's got company in the form of the 91 coming up behind him. I think it's, no, it's the 51 plate there. What am I doing? That's Casey Southey from Company. He's pushing hard for a position, but looks like it's going to be North Harbour 1 and 2. If I got my eyes right, that's Topo there in the 4. 10 boys, Jet Mercer, Benjamin Bergstrom. Who have we got out in front? We've got the NZ4. Oh, Baden Prescott, Liam McDonald's in there, Tate Burden, Henry Johnston, Eli Sasevi, and Dylan Hicks. But it does look like... Baden Prescott still holding on to that one spot as the two and the three are working really hard to try and catch him up. And we get a little bit of air time and some style going on from the NZ6 of Tate Burden. But Tate Burden's now being challenged for his second spot. He's going to have to work really hard as he comes down that last one because it seems like number three's got it. Oh, and he's going to take him. Here we go. It's race number 205 into the mix of it there. The 600 plate getting into the bottom there. That's Sam Hickey from New Plymouth, but he's got company. I think it's the 182. That's Caden McKean's out of Christchurch. He's pushing hard for a spot. Looks like he's got his nose out front. The battle's on, though, for three and four as they come back down to the rhythm straight. It looks like it's none other than Caden McKenzie at the front, though, but he's got company. It's the 600 plate coming up beside him. This is Sam Hickey as they go around that corner. Oh, there we go. The battle's on. Can Caden keep the two spot now as he's got company up his right hand shoulder? And an North Harbour rider looking like he's going to take the four. And here we go again, 10 boys. Nixon Drew, Hayden Ingram. We've got the uh, 900 out, uh, 940 out in front of Max Olsen. He's been working pretty hard today. He's had the whole shot pretty much all morning, but they're going to make him work for this. He's not getting away as fast as he did in the first two races. As we come down second, third, are working really hard to try and take it over. Come on, Max, you can do it. Triple Eight Cole Hills, he's making it work really, really hard. But it's... Oh, he's just been bold. Look at that. It's nice to tail all the way down. It's a fight to the end. Mate, you would think this was finals racing the way these kids are throwing it down there. Talk about throwing it down. We're into the girls, I tell you. And here we go. Race number 207, motor three, 10 girls. Into the corner first. It's a 723. That's the whole shot to Skylar Hanson from North Canterbury. She's pushing hard, getting out front by the looks into some space there. She's got company, though, not only out there by herself. You've got Ali Morgan from North Haven, Canterbury. You've got Amelia the Theory out of Hamilton on your NZ2. Cameron Cahoon on the 251 out of Mountain Radius. Olivia Foss is in the thick there, too, on the 337. In fact, looks like she's in the two spot. Kate Enswell on the 808 from Alex. And the 757 of Lee Mole there out of Te'araha. All right, we've got the 10 girls skiing. Race 208. Olivia Anson, Ruby Buckley, Kalia Crocker, Mila Tate, Matilda Powell, Mia Grant, Mika Wallace. Mika Wallace out in front again. The Tama rider, she's a strong rider. Also a reminder, if you're 11 boys and you're not up in stage and you're going to miss out on your race, that's points that you're not going to get and you're not going to make the final. Back to the racing, though. We've got Mika well out in front. Then who we've got the uh, 78 of Ruby Buckley, the 210, and the 109. Absolutely working it. They make it look really, really easy. Oh, they sure do. We're making it easy here as race 209. As they come into the front, I can make out the Watakri rider. It's the 205. She's managed to keep her nose out front. That's Savannah Hogg there on the right tackery, 205. She's got a North Harbour rider, though. I'm going to say that's Lily Hanson in behind her. Here we go. Who's going high? Who's going low? I told you earlier today this was going to be one of the corners as they come back down towards us on the rhythm straight. we got Lily versus Savannah as they come, but Lily's got a nose out front. Sitting in the three spot, it's the 915. That's Jada Gillard from Watakari. 
So right now, North Harbour 1, Waitakere 2 and 3. As they're around the finish line there, racing home to take out race number 209. Go Evie. Anyway, we're about to race 210. 11 boys as they come down into their first corner. We've got Nielsen Nui and Arthur out in front, but at 161, challenging him. Monty Gardner making him work really, really hard. And, oh, we've got bar to bar, elbow to elbow as they come down through into that second corner. Monty Gardner, I think he might have held on to it as they come down through there. This is a tight pack race, they're keeping it real as they come down through the 589. Lachlan Burley, he's not letting uh, Monty Gardner have it easy. But Mo, uh, Nielsen Uirata looks like he's going to hold on to that first spot. And here we go, Howard Rider into the whole shot there for race number 211. That's your rider, Finn Lawrence, he's pushing hard. As it comes rounding out, there we go. We've got the 104 or another North Harbour rider there. It's the best the ambassador. I tell you what, these North Harbour riders have come out in force today. There we got there, Josh Braithwaite from the Mountain Raiders in the mix there on the 142. He's currently sitting in the third. The 271s in the fourth at the moment. That's Levi Hayworth from Cup of Tea. Oliver Gallagher on the 303 from Watakari is alongside Adam Stevens there somewhere on the 115 out of New Plymouth. And the Howard Rider 800 on the All right, go. here we go. Race 2, race 212 of the 11 boys, Brock O'Neill, Finn Barrington, Jack Kelly. And it's the uh, 88 of John Martini out in front. They're holding on to it. It's a tough race. Go Nixon. That's my son out there. Do it hard, do it hard, do it fast, bro. You're all good. Anyway, we've got Joy Martini, Dylan Smith, Dennison Schraven, Jack Kelly, Finn Barrington, Brock O'Neill. They're working really hard as they come down there, but it's still the 88 of Joy Martini out in front. As they come down that last straight, working hard. Into their work, the internet sensation, Tobias Dickinson on the 213. He looks like he's got it at the moment. I don't know where he's gone. As they come round the corner, I seem to have missed the plates, but that doesn't matter. We've got Jackson Carroll from the Sunset Coast. He's sitting out there on the 247. I can make it another member of the Sunset Coast team. Nathan Swain there on the 717. Charlie Shaw at Dunedin on the 847 now coming back down towards us. But it is the 426. That is Tobias Dickinson out the front. The 247 trying to get in the number two spot. That's Jackson Carroll. Jackson Carroll's throwing the burners down. Will he get it? I don't know. It's going to be Tobias pushing hard all the way to the end as they round out race number 213. All right, and here we go. Race 214, 11 boys. And as we come into that first corner, it's the NZ1 of Nico Meyer out in front. But they're going to make him work really, really hard. They're going to make it difficult for him to hold on to that. They're not going to let him have it easy, which is the way we like it. We don't want racing to be boring. We want it to be exciting and fun. And hopefully these guys are having fun as they come back down here. We've got the 305 and the 666 working really hard side by side. Let's see who's going to take that through. I'm not even sure. They are still side by side all the way through that corner, all the way down the back straight. I don't even know who won that. I think that might have been even Stevens. Oh, here we go. Kate Pedersen, the East City rider down the bottom of the hill first. Currently standing at third on that corner. You're in Z8. He's got it out front. That's Billy McRae from New Plymouth. He's in the mix though there alongside Dylan Sazi somewhere from North Harbour. Austin Stronach on the 264 and a Christchurch is in there alongside Caleb McCann out of North Harbour again. Jared Rooney from Hamilton on the 531. As they come back down towards us, we look at the NZ8 in the front, the 264 in the number two spot. That 264 is none other than Austin Stronach out of Christchurch. And Dylan Sazi looks like he's currently in the three spot. But I don't know what's going on there. We're going to have to go to schools to check that out. All right, 12 boys. Charlie Willington, Braxton Gillard. And as we come in, who's got it out in front there? The 157. The 157 of John O'Hanson out in front. Oh, he's going to try and hold on to that as a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are all going to work for that first spot. They're not going to let him have it. They want to take it away from him. And he's going to have to work really hard if he wants to hold on to that plate. Now the NZ5 is right beside him as we come through. That's Charlie Willington. Charlie's going to make him make a run for that play. I think they're going to hold on to a little bit of energy because I think they want some more left over for the finals. Sure do, but into it is race number 217. As we come into another group of 12 boys, it's the 156 getting in low and harding it on. That's your Rotorua rider, Jack Duckett in the mix, but it looks like it's three side. I can make out all rest the attack there on Jago Haag. He's on the triple three plate. He's gone low. What's going on? Oh, I'll tell you, that was intense. As we've got another Go rider down on the second straight, but it is your 660, your Teo Muda rider. That is Levi Morahu. He's in the front. Oh, 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 no. This is they're changing places more than I change underwear, I tell you. As they race across to the finish line. Here we go. That was great racing right there. Oh, and I, just, I think I just realised I told everyone how often I change my underwear. That's awkward. <laughs> what, daily? I'm hoping you're saying daily. <laughs> 
There we at go. At least daily. What racing. This is, uh, I'll tell you what, this is only day one, mate, not at three. There's still all day tomorrow to come. I'm not sure we can have voices left tomorrow. I've got to be honest. No, no, I, I, I got some, uh, I had to get some, some throat lozenges, mate, you know, just to keep us going. I have to flick <laughs> you one later on. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Well, the racing is just going to get more and more exciting all day, so. Yeah, and if anyone can tell, we're getting excited about it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the real reason they call me horse, by the way, is because of my voice. <laughs> And here we go, coming down 12 boys, 218, Daniel Lucas, Sol Proman, Rico Ryan, Cooper Murphy, Caleb Lilly, Angus Morgan. But as they come into that corner, I'm going to call you out that that's the NZ1 of Rico Ryan out in front. He's trying to hold on to that spot as he comes in through the air. He's keeping it nice and low, pumping, manualing all the way through. He knows how to do it fast. He always has. As we come down, all oh, the spot for second that's nice and close. It's the 860 and the 134. That'll have, oh, I don't even know about an 860. I'm not even sure who that was, to be honest. Looks like Reef Hendricks there in the number three spot at the moment. He's just got to lost the, lost the two. Oh, no. Here we go, though. It's race number 219. Our first group of 13 boys. Look at the skills of that rider there. It's the 414. He's into it. That's none other than Timothy Cresswell. He's pushing hard. He wants the NZ1 plate this weekend. We've got Caleb Smith from Hardware there on the 630. I'm not quite sure where he's sitting. Back out the East City rider, currently sitting in third spot. That must be none other than Callum Lyman coming down towards us. In the two, it's a 298 though, that's Lawson Gold. He's out of Christchurch and on the 146 from Cornwall. He's hanging in there, that's your Liam King. Uh, Mar Marcus Wistrand's in the mix there too, somewhere alongside Ruben Scott if you run out race number. Another lot of 13 boys, and these guys are real fast. The NZ2 out front, that's uh, NZ2, it, well, there it is, Ben Anderson's out front. And I did get 205. I think there's Dylan Fox in second. And Dylan Fox has been working really hard all day. Same with Ben Anderson. They're away. Away, not even with the fairies. They're just off. 589 of Zildjian Collie in the third spot. And fighting over fourth. Not even, didn't catch the plates. But, oh, now they're coming in for third. Not even sure if he's going to be able to hold on to that, to be honest. And we're into the work again here for race number 221. Noah Evans hitting from the Rotoro on the side. Oh, my, get it out. This boy's clocking up some air miles. And he manages to hang on to it. That's Noah Evans, the 77 plate from the Rotoro. He got Max Hay in the mix there, too, from the sunset. Close to the 456. As they go into that second corner, looks like it's a total on a rider. That might be Liam Clifford there on the MZ4 in the number two spot. It sure is. It's the 456 there of Max AA in the three. It's the 88 plate there in the four spot. That's Jack Buckley out of the Mountain Raiders. What's Jack going to do with the hardware to ride right up and behind him? Is that Fletcher Lawrence? As they come pushing hard in the round out race number 221. So true. Noah Evans knows how to keep it in the air. But 13 boys, triple two. Nixon Banks is he out in front. No, it's the 391 of Xavier Bell out in front. Coming down that second straight, pumping, making sure that he's working that bike hard, making the bike do the work for him, putting in the air pedals here and there, but he pushes, using his legs and his arms to get that going. And then we've got the 271 of Blake Glover and the 125, oh, 275 maybe? I don't know. 126, right? Arlo Rendell. Yeah, unfortunately, Nixon Banks not starting that one out. Hopefully, he's okay after that crash in the last round. But into the mix we go. It's the NZ7. He's out front. That's Cahill Alexander from the Hawks Bay. This kid will know this track. He's got company, though. Ty Manu Thompson on the 700 from the Hawks Bay. Oh, these kids are just flicking it, I'll tell you. They're licking it like the Mr. Whoopi ice creams out there. Here we go. Coming back down towards us. It is your NZ7, followed by the 700. Your two local lads. And we've got the 120 plate there. He's coming in the third. That's Sherlock Drew from Capital City as he rounds the corner. And it looks like a Watakri rider there. I'm going to say that's Aiden Handel. He's in the mix two on the fourth as they change it out onto the final straight. All right, here we go. 14 girls coming down into that first corner. We've got the one, two, three out in front of Holly Tribble. She's holding it, but she's being chased down very quickly by that really cool looking pink bike. Whoa, and it's really close. They were side by side coming around there. You can't do that without getting in each other's faces. That's the 320 of Catalina Morris. And then we've got the 166 in the third spot, Isabella Anderson. Followed with Rob, Ruby Ziegler, Emily, Amelia Lane, and Catalina Morris. Here we go, and it looks like it's your best walker. You're an NZ1 out the front from Cambridge. Oh, no, she's got it in the mix. That's a triple five plate. That's Nicola Mopo out of Hamilton pushing her out to the side. But it's not that. It looks like it's Sophie Cahoon in the front there on the Mountain Raider there. The 198 plate as she comes back down towards us. 
Beth Walker's looking to get it back. She doesn't know what second looks like. She wants first. Here we go. It's the NZ6 though and fourth. That's the re- uh, Nipia Anderson, the NZ6 Atticus, but here we go. Look at it. Nick and Nick. Sophie versus Beth as they wrap up race number 225. Oh, yeah. 16 boys, race 2 to 6, Tyler Dinsdale, Ashton, Cahill, Fox, Jackson Lawrence, Will Stewart, Jacob Cameron, Corey Carpendale. These guys really know how to make their bikes move. Looks like poetry in motion as they come over some of these jumps and, and whips. But it's the 106 and the 185, the 185 and the 108, sorry, Jackson Lawrence, Tyler Dinsdale, absolutely fighting for first place. And here we go, Sig. Third is going to be a massive battle as well as they come down, as well as fifth. And here we go, two 16 boys, race 227. Dario Piskulic, Max Richardson, Ryan Hurley, Lewis Anderson, Flynn Harrison, Jacob Shaw, Tom Coleman. Go, Flynn. There you go, Brent. Brent and I said it for you. But we've got the NZ2. Who's the do? And the NZ2, Tom Coleman out there, right out there in front. Didn't quite catch who was in second and third. Too busy cheering on Flynn. Oh, right off the track there. Tell you what, these big boys and their toys were back into it though. Race number 228. Thanks, Aaron, for keeping it up there for me while I got the photos out. James Wallace though from Hamilton. He's leading this group around. Regan Smith, the 303. He's in the hunt for something there. He comes in low. That seems to be his signature move, but let's look to see who's in the second spot. It's the 559 plate there. That's in the number two spot. That's Jack Young. He's not familiar with that spot either. Regan Smith coming on the inside. It's a drag race down the sprint finish. It's going to be Orko. Who got the pedals in? I don't know. I'll tell you, that was too close to call. 17 to 24, male 20 inch. And as we come around that corner, we've got the 361 out front. Angus Thompson, he's making it his own. Or oh, maybe he's just been passed, I think. We've also got the 82 of Cameron Lang, Hunter Hida, Brock Harvey, Callahan Treadway. And Zachary Arnold, who have we got out in front? The 82 out in front at the moment. Cameron Lang, he's going to hold on to that as he comes around that first corner. But the battle for second is absolutely heating up. We're looking at lava temperatures. Watch out, the floor is lava. Here we go, I tell you, race number 230. We're into the thick of it here, into the number one spot, though. The whole shot, that's the Sunset Coast runner, Corey Walden. He's pushing hard in behind him, though. That's none other than Harry Firth. He's from Hardware on the NZ6. Ben Lachlan in the mix there, looks like he's the Watakri rider in the three spot. As they come back down towards us, we look to see who's who in the zoo. But I can make out the 025. That's the Mountain Raider, Xavier Dunn with no one for him. He's on the 64 from Kamsi, he's pushing hard. Here we go as we round out race number 230. And race 231, this is the 17 to 24 male 20 inch. And we've got the uh, 88 out. The 98, low. oh man, there's too many eights. 88 to 88. As they come around, I remember when my mum used to go to Housie, it was two lovely ladies, 88. Uh, we've got the 98 out in front. That's uh, Logan Clark. Here we go, though. Where it's oh, this is a hard where it club mark one, two, and three. As they come into their first corner, it's Rob Robinson, Daniel Johnny, Joel Hook in the thick. I tell you what, Jade Peters and Jason Jolly be feeling a little bit uncomfortable now. They can only see the yellow and blue and white out in front as we look to see who's in the front. As they come down the rhythm straight, it's hardware to one, two, and three. That's on who. It's the triple six plate. That's Rob Robinson and the 177 behind him. That's Joel Hook, which must have Daniel Jolly there in the three, but he's got company up his right hand shoulder. As we're rounding out race number 232. And we go for 233. We've got the male 40 to 44. We've got the 117 out of front, Scott Silver. He's been calling these races his own all day long. Uh, just like his son, though, he loves to have a bit of ear time. He loves showing those skills. As he comes down, he's in, still in first place. In second, we have the uh, triple two of Brad Andrews and then the 168 of Glenn Richardson. But now the battle's on there. As you say, there's a drag race down the end there for third and fourth, fourth and fifth. Not sure who took that. Here we go. We're out to the thick of it. It's race number 234. It's your NZ1. He's out the front. That's Gizzy Local. JT Nepia. He's pushing hard, but he's got company in the form there. I can make out Gareth Lock on there in the 124. He's currently sitting in third. 
I don't know who that must be. Jared Galtmaza on the NZ2 and number two spot it is. So it's NZ1, NZ2 and the 124. That's how it's sitting. That battle's on though for four and five. It's the 246 with the nose out front. That's your the Tony Thornley from North Canterbury. But he's got Mark Lewis from North Haven Canterbury up his side. And tell you what, those South Islanders are pushing hard. Oh, here we go. The Golden Oldies coming through with the 45 to 49 male 20. They probably don't like me calling them that. But 142 is just taken over from Zane Alexander. He's making Zane really work for it. Zane's been trying to keep out in front all day long. But the uh, 142. Oh, well, the 142 of Nathan Cornelius is out there making him own is making him work it really hard and the fight for third is absolutely heating up down through they are going to drag race all the way to the end and you're going to have to drag try. race we're back into it mate that's a 70 to 24 female there it's your fight oh my giddy up that was close i want to check that out that's renee coleman savage she was just kept it in front there by the skinny nose of the teeth. It's Mia Watkins on the 356. She's in the thick of it somewhere too. A mountain rain of Ellie Bennett on the 71. But here we go. It is your 551. That's Renee Coleman Savage the 356 and the 2. That's your high wearer right rider there. Maya Watkins. Ellie Bennett in the thick there too. As they come around the corner, she's in fourth at the moment. Missed to see who was in third. But as they round it out, here we go. As it is. Race number 236. Uh, 17 to 24 female. The 396 of Kira Wade is out. In front and I'm not quite sure who's coming in second but this is race 237 as they come into that second corner they make it down there so fast that I just can't keep up with anything maybe it's just I'm a bit slow with my old age but oh 581 is that's a uh, Selena Fister just taken over oh she had a bit of a wobble can she still hold on to it as they come down through there the drag race for second is on those V8 turbos are going hard. Here we go, at the front like a rocket. That's your Cambridge rider on the 122. That must be none other than Tim Ferguson himself. I'll tell you what, he's treated this. Oh, my, look at that number two and three spot. Here we go, that's where the action's at. Tim's getting himself a lead. But it's your NZ1, that's Adam Coker. I can tell that rider a mile away. He's pushing hard, he's going to get on the inside, but it looks like it's got Richard Strapman on his outside. This is where the action's at. I'll tell you, this is exciting stuff, Aaron. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing you because this is the 25 to 34 male 20 inch and these guys are so fast I don't think 320 out in front that's Scott Donaldson in the race we've got Alex Sewell, Softy Wee, Lee Chapman, Brandon McRae, Hayden Stockman well, we're going to have to call who's coming down they were so fast coming down through there I wasn't even able to call who's who and where's where they've got the 54 out at, at second place of Softy Wee He's going to be able to hold on to it as they come down through that last one over the hurdles. It's all about who can put in those last pedals. Here we go. This is the 25 to 34 female 20 inch. This is race number 240. It's your 67 plate. That's Amy Martin at the front. I tell you what, Tony James be looking around going, what's going on here? As she's in the number two spot pushing hard. These women are jumping to that corner thick and fast as they come back down towards us. I think it might be Caitlin Gorgantis in the number two spot, but here we go. The world number six, Tony James is making a move on Amy Martin. It is your number 92 plate there. Caitlin Gorgantis in the three. Jody Gorgantis there in the 351 from somewhere in the mix with Sam Van Der Veen on the 354 flowing through as well. 40 plus female, 20 inch. Jeanette Davies, Nancy James, Lisa Anderson. Jeanette Davies out in front. Donna Head, Joe Combs, Sonia Rennie. I do believe that's Donna Head who is uh, trying to challenge uh, Jeanette Davies. Jeanette Davies trying to hold on to it though as they come into that second corner. She takes it nice and high, comes in low. Gives Donna Head a chance to catch up. In the uh, third spot, we've got the 424. That's Sonia Rennie. Then we have the 96. That's Lisa Anderson. Then Joe Coombs. And Nancy James, or Nancy James, Joe Coombs. Oh, here we go. I tell you what, this is another head out there at the moment because that's Mike Head out the front and he's been chased down though. But none other than Lee Lightning Wilson. Out of White Tucker, I tell you, he's pushing hard. He's got company though. Warren Golden Wills Boggis is in the thick of it too. Ryan Gillifoot out of Rotorua on the 167. Darren Sue from the Mountain Raiders on the 998. Derek Harrison, not my family, on the 149 from Hunt Valley Thunderbolts. But it is none other than Mike Head. It looks like he's got eyes in the back of his head as he rolls around the finish line, taking it out there on the 88 plate, all the way from Christchurch. 50 plus male 20 inch. Actually, these guys are probably the golden oldies as they come down around this corner. First corner, we've got the NZ1 coming in here. Greg Hughes uh, out of the, Rot the Rotorua Club. Always good to see him down at the club. He helps out lots and lots as 
with all of the young riders coming through. Great advice. Oh, he got a bit wobbly there. I thought he was going to lose it. But the 100 is chasing him down of Carl Berryman. And then we've got the NZ6, Aaron Hodder. And we've got the 413, the 479. And the 266 of Matthew Allen. Oh, here we go. Looks like it's none other than Maddie Newcomb into the whole shot. She's got company, though. It's the 247 of Vinnie McCullen. From Southland pushing hard in the polka dots. And she's got company, though. The 223, I think I made it out on the back of the shirt. Maybe, no, I'm making that number up, too, by the sounds of it. But into the corner they go. Maddie Newcomb in the one. Andy McCullen in the two as they come back down towards us. McMullen, sorry. I've got to get these names right. I do apologise. But there we go. Maddie Newcomb in the... And it's the RNZ2 in the number two spot. That's Chloe Dinsdale. From the mighty north, oh, Maddie. Cromwell oh, Maddie. Right behind her. That yeah. must be Quinn Lindsay pushing hard as they round out race number two, four, four. All right, here we go. 13 girls Courtney Smith, Taylor Mortensen, Talia McFarlane, and Abby. And we've got the uh, 695 of Talia McFarlane out in front. She's holding on as she comes down that second straight. These girls have been racing pretty hard all day, though. Nice and quick, lightning, making it look nice and smooth and nice and easy. And in the two spot, we have the 303 of Courtney Smith, the 398 of Abby Story, Frayling, and then Taylor Mortensen. Here we go, second gate of 13 girls, race number 246. Into the work early is your triple one plate of Holly Nelson. She's into the first in the corner there, followed by your NZ2. That is your none other than Luca Penny with, I believe it's Asha Nepia Anderson from Gisborne on the NZ3 and behind her, which must put Sophie Penny, your NZ5 there, and Beatrix McCuskey on the mountain raider there. She's trying to find a way around, but it's your triple one plate of Holly Nelson from Cambridge in the front of the one spot. Here we go, NZ2, NZ3 is battling it into the first corner. What's going to happen? Oh, it looks like it's the... NZ2, Luca Penny hanging on. Here we go. Her sister's coming up the outside. Is it going to be Penny's one and two and three? I don't know. We're going to have to go upstairs. All right, 14 boys. Riley Smart, Brock Stevens, Zane Williamson, Sebastian Williams, Case Silver, Cohen Ludlam into that second. It looks like who have we got in the front there. Someone really, really fast. Faster than me, that's for sure. And we've got the 600 out in front. That's Riley Smart, followed by the 237 of Case Silver. Absolutely hauling. Yeah, something happened there to our rider, Sebastian Williams, out of the Mountain Raiders on the 450. But he's back up and riding, taking himself around to the finish line. I'll tell you what, we're into it. It's race number 248 and the gate of 14 boys in motor number three. We're into the work early though. Lucas Martini, the mountain raider, pushing hard. It's him at the front at the moment. It's the 196 plate though. That's him behind him. The Dunedin rider there of Ben Shaw. As we're coming up, we look to see who's coming into the corner there too. I'm going to say it's got to be either Morris Reedy, Mason Jogos, Caleb White, Ben Shaw, Lucky Bartram. But it is your 420 of Lucas Martini, the mountain rider at the front. Your NZ5, he's in the number two spot. That is none other than Lucky Bartram with your Harwera rider in the three at the moment. That's going to happen. Oh, it looks like oh, the Harwera rider pushing hard. I don't know how that went. We're going to have to look up at this. Here we go. Race 249. And they're coming in side by side. The NZ4 trying to hold on. Cameron Wallace. He may have held on to it as he comes through. I'm not quite sure. he's but still in front. That was nice height. Took the lane really, really nicely. As we come down, it's now the NZ3 coming out in front. That's Charlie Liza. We've got a, man, a bit of a man now. Oh, two men down. Number 79 and number 289 of uh, Nixon Pointed and Cooper Harvey. I think they want to touch bars as they came around down that third straight. Here we go. We're into the thick of it. This must be none other than our nine girls. I'm going to say race number 250 if I've got it right. I think out the front though, it's none other than Georgia Poe Edwards. I'm not sure, mum and dad, where the polka dots go. Here she comes back down towards me, coming in as we look to make it as. It is at the 301. It is Georgia Poe Edwards from the Mountain Raiders. And behind her though, is the NZ2 rider of Ali Campbell from Alex. And behind there though, the 908, that's Aislinn Lloyd from the Mountain Raiders. I'll tell you what, the battle on though, to that last corner there. One, two and three look pretty secure, but the battle's on for four and five. And here we go with the nine girls coming down. Mila McCullen, Alicia Ashton, but we've got the 305 of Hattie Barrington out in front. She's trying to make it look like it's easy, but I know that the other girls in the race are making it really hard for her to hold on to that first spot. She really needs to work hard as she comes around that second corner. Absolutely pushing hard. 
And now we've got the 285 of Mila McMillan. 635 and the 215. They are working really. Oh, it's a drag race. They are side by side. Elbow to elbow. You've just died. Need to I want to put the mic back on, Aaron. I'm so excited. There we go. Addison Harrifield. She's out in the front by a long shot into the second corner. She's got company, though. She's not out there on her own. We've got Missy and Rene out of Hamilton on your NZ2. Kelly Mello from Christchurch on NZ4. Nia Lloyd on the Mountain Raider on 80. Ira Bycroft Jenkins on the 5 or 6 out of Hamilton. And Olivia Lawson on the 400 from Waitakere. But there we go. Addison Harrifield, your mighty 11th captain, rounding out race number 252. And here we go, race 253, 11 girls. As they come down to their first corner, we have the 919 of Lexi Silver. It's a family affair for the Silvers today as they come in here. They are making it look like they own this race meeting. Lexi Silver's out in front. We're just going to catch up who's on number two. As they come around that corner, down through the third straight, we've got the two of the 134. Four of uh, Bo Hodum and then the 7 11. Devin Smith, we're going shopping for gas and snacks. Oh no, Aaron, not how we wanted to start the race. Looks like Connor King on the 77 out of Rotorua might have got a false start off the gate here. Here we go as we're into uh, working early. It's race number 254, 15 boys. Moto number three into the corner first, coming back down towards us. I think I can make out Nico Kogan in the number two spot, but who's in the number one? And there's your NZ one. That is Deacon Connor. He's pushing hard on the three spot. Though. It's the 101 from Cambridge. Case Van Hoven. There we go. The 338. Coming past us there. Thomas Bosch dropped him to Araha. And here we go. Your 77 plate there from Rotorua. Connor King. After a bit of a bad start, he's back up and running uh, to take out race number 254. And race 255, 15 boys. And these boys are absolutely moving. If they pedaled any faster, then make the world go back. We've got Bryson Joyce, Blake Moore, Connor. Jogusma, Jogusma, Riley Burley, Seth Moritz, Tame De Theory. So now we're just going to look down here for the races and see which one we've got out in front. The 109, 108, Bryson Joyce. But the races are really, really hot as they come through. It's not even the sun warming it up. It's the way these guys move. Here we go, pedaling fast and a windmill and a hurricane out the front of the moment. Oh, the 195, he got in low below. That's it, picked it out of Cambridge. He was pushing hard. He's got Brock Marshall, though, from North Haven, Canterbury on the 309, and there's somebody with them. Uh, the other one there, the 522 out of Hamilton. Levi Banks, he's in the mix of it, too. But at the number one spot at the moment, it's the 195, but the 309. That is your rider, Brock Marshall. He's pushing up hard. I couldn't see who went around there, but there comes Levi. We can see the name on the back of his shirt. Pushing hard to round out race number 256, 15 boys. All right, and here we go. 15 to 16 girls, and as they come down through this corner, we've got the 706. He's just taken over the from Matt, Madeline Hunter. And in the race, we've got Ella Heimendahl, Aurora Herbert, Tate Hancock, Jamie Davies, Molly Inaya, and Nadia Gabbiani. These girls are always impressed me at how fast they are. Six, seven, eight, and this eight, seven, eight, Nadia Gabbiani in second place. Is she going to challenge for first as they come down there? Awesome riding from all of them. Here we go. It's second down oh. of 15 to 16 girls. As they come flying out, that didn't look too good at all. We've got oh, a helmet off. We've got a helmet off. Hopefully they're okay, but out the front, it's just 68 plate. I believe she's riding undercover. That's Nakita Clark. She's pushing hard as they go into the second corner. We hope our riders down are okay. Here they go, Nikita Clark coming back down towards us on the 68 plate. She's got company up her side on the 135. That is Zara Thornley from North Canterbury. And it's your NZ7 there. She's currently in third. That's Hazel Gardner out of Cambridge. So that's how your one, two, three is going to look. Hopefully our riders are okay. As we look to see, we've got the 211 coming down towards us at the moment. That's Brooke Day out of Cup of Tea. As she pushes and gets herself around the track to the finish line. And they're just checking out that helmet there to make sure that it's okay because it's very uh, unusual for a helmet to come off while you're racing. Even in a crash, it doesn't happen very often. So I think they'll just check it to make sure it's all right and check the riders to make sure they're all okay. 45 to 49, Cruiser, male, you should be running staging. Come on, boys, you should know better than this at your young age. 45 to 49, Cruiser, male, you should be in staging, please. Big round of applause for our 505. That is Amber.
his up and just walk in, that's fantastic, yeah. right? I think they'll just be checking their helmet out, make sure that it's safe. Remember, check your safety gear, folks. We know that it's really, really important. Done a really great job of, uh, of the track. It's looking really good. It's running really fast. I, I like what they've done. And here we go. Uh, race 259, 8 to 10, Cruiser mixed. Enzo Torrance, Kian Thompson, Jordan Dawson, Jesse McLean. But as they come in through, we've got the. Oh, I didn't catch that. Pink and white's really hard to read. Uh, Jesse McLean, Tate Burden, Stella Torrance, Harrison Cullen. I'm not sure if it's hard to read because of the colour or it's just my eyes. Uh, yeah, what have we got? The NZ4 coming through. Jordan Dawson out in front. And then the... Didn't quite catch who was in the second spot. Tell you what, no, they better hurry because I've got Rico Ryan in there in the whole shot at the moment. It's a race number 260, chasing hard here on race number 11 to 12. Who's a male? There we go into the mix. They're working hard. He's got company though, I can see in the fourth spot though. It is none other than Caleb McCabe on the North Harbour Rider there on the 210. But Rico Ryan's coming back down towards us on the NZ1 out of Tauranga. He wants to maintain that plate. The battle's on there for two and three, but during NZ3, he's got his nose out front. That's Angus Morgan from North Haven, Canterbury. Will he keep it? I don't know. He's going to throw the pedals down. The battle's on though. There we go. I can see Caleb McCabe, the 210 rider, hanging on for his spot as we round out race number two. And race 261, 11 to 12, Cruiser Mail, they're coming down into that first corner. And it looks like we've got Nielsen Uirata out in front. That doesn't look right. Yes, it does. Nielsen Uirata out in front from the Rotorua Club. And he's actually making a bit of a lead for himself, giving himself some space to breathe as he comes down into that third, third straight. But second and third aren't, aren't letting him get away. They're not giving him space to run off. And take it easy, but then because the NZ3 of Ryder Wheeler is right behind him and he's going to make him work really hard. And I do believe that might be the NZ4. They're working real hard side by side. I'm not even sure who got second. Into his work early, none other than Adam Coker there in the NZ1 out of Hamilton, pushing hard. He's got company though, Luke Anderson on the 420 out of the mountain, Raiders in the mix there too somewhere. Capital City Rider there, Ben Walter on the 120 with Sam Torrens out of Araha on the 298. Joel Graham on the 474, but oh no, we got the 120 plate there. That is your rider, Ben Water. He's pushing Adam Coker to the max. Here we go, he's coming up Adam's right hand side. Adam doesn't seem to be wanting to push hard. I don't know, Adam, you've got a pedal to get the win, buddy. And here we go, 35 to 39, Cruiser Mail, Adam Lawrence, Jade Peters, Scott Murphy, Ben New, and Brad DeThierry as they come in through that first second corner and they're coming down packing heat. We've got the. Oh, I couldn't catch it. I think it's the 990 of Adam Lawrence out in front. It's going to own it all the way through to the end. Oh, here we go, out the gate, faster than a rocket though, it's your mountain right up, Brendan Tate on the, here we go, race number 264, into the work he goes, but has he kept it, it is, it's the 558 plate there, the mountain right up, Brendan Tate, he's pushing out in the three spot though, I can make it another mountain right up, that's the 589 there of Lindsay Barrett, here they come into the mix, and we look to see who's in the number two spot, I can make it a 198, that must be your rider from Hutt Valley Thunderbolts, it is, it's Dwayne Moritz, he's pushing hard. Coming past us now is the 467, the Gizzy local of Tony Carpendale. As they round out the race, the Daniel Donaldson of the mix there too, from New Plymouth. All right, here we go, 40 to 44, Cruiser Mayo coming into the corner. We have the NZ1 of Lance Dinsdale. And in behind him, we've got Tim Martin, Grant Rennie, Kim Foy, Pete Maisie. I'm just not sure which order they're running in. But Lance Dinsdale, he seems to be running away with it. We're going to see if they're going to make him work for it down that last straight. We've got the 986, I think, of Kim Fight or the 298. I'm not quite sure. Pete Maisie, I can't catch those numbers. I think we need to put bigger plates on these people. Talk about catching numbers, mate. Here come the next lot, so you better get a move on. I'll tell you what, the 717, or the 171 out of Toe but he's gone high. The 142's coming low. What's going on? Oh, get it out. They almost hit the pro straight. These guys are so close. Oh, it's getting bumper to bumper action here into the second corner. We couldn't make out who's who in the zoo, but they're coming back down towards us now. As we look to see who's going to be at the front, 
At the moment, it looks like it's the 152. Mark Harrenfield making a run for it. He's got the 199 beside him. That's Rob Higgins out of Hamilton. But as they push harder, it looks like Mr. Harrenfield may have got out the front. Uh, no, maybe not. Kevin Tampio uh, out there. No, Mark Harrenfield. Yeah, what a race. All right, and here we go. Race 267. Out in front, we've got NZ1 Derek. Jalgurzma, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I think you are, mate. I think you did cool. a pretty good run. Uh, Zane Alexander, very close second, and he's making him work for it. They are going to be side by side almost as they come into the race. And then the number 77 of Steve Shemansky, he's been having a really good session today too. But he looks like he's just going to let the others have a little bit of a turn coming into the first and second there today. Yeah, Aaron, mate, listen, um, I, I know I'm just, it's quite sad. I'm about to lose you up here in the commentary hub, but that would indicate that rider should be heading around to the pits for motto number four. i tell you what, the day's flying. And talk about flying. There we go. Tyler Dinsdale from Whangarei pushing hard. But he's got company. He's got Max Richardson, your NZ4 from North Harbour up beside him. But Tyler's like just going to give it away. Coming in behind you, 649, your Cromwell rider. 646, sorry. That's Braden King pushing hard. Toad on a rider in the thick of it too there. One of them either Louis Sanders or Liam Clifford. I can't make it out for now. But there they go, rounding out race number 268. Woo, and these big wheels are moving fast in the 70 to 34 Cruiser Mail. There are three with three abreast coming through there. Just like total recall as they come down through to the second corner. Wheelies, oh. wheelies, oh. whips and jumps all coming out. But they're still side by side. We've got... NZ1 and 2, is it NZ1, I do believe? Yep, at the front there, Corey Walden and yep. NZ1. And maybe Softy Wee right behind him. And now I'm not sure who got to wear. Oh, I'll tell you what, it looks like Zachary Arnold might have had a nose in front there too for a bit. So it's race number 270, your rock top rider right there. This is the 17 of 34 Cruiser Mail. Race number 270, Brock Bomber Nelson, he's into the thick of it. The birthday boy is giving it a go. Make sure you wish him a big one as he comes past. But he's got the whole wheel rider of Hamish McDonald up and behind him. Here we go, the 316 plate. That's Casey Walker sitting there, the Hutt Valley Thunderbolt. Oh my giddy up, Brock Bomber Nelson's getting pushed. Is he going to get it down? Throw the pedals down as he manuals across that finish line. All right, here we go, 50 plus Cruiser Mail. These guys are really quick as they come down through here. And we've got the uh, triple one of Greg Hughes. Hear those sirens as he comes ripping past. Usually it's the other way around. The criminals are being chased by the police, but today they're chasing him down, trying to catch him. As we come in through for second place, I'm going to catch you up with the 56 of Darcy McCusker. Is he going to hold on to that as he comes down through? And that bright orange bike that stands out so well, but he's going to come with the bright orange bike, going to come in third. I reckon we should put colours of bikes on these uh, entry fees as well. Mate, uh, unfortunately, we've got a rider down on the first straight. It looks like it might be Rocky, Al Rocky Elmer's. Uh, I think I think what we just got to remind folks here is um, the more mature our riders are, the more commitment they have outside of BMX racing. Yes, so, and, and let's be honest, the, the more mature riders are, the longer it takes them to recover. Uh, sure does. There we go. Big round of applause for Rocky Elmer's. He's back up. Looks like he might be heading over to one of our two uh, shop suppliers for a new helmet, potentially. Hopefully hopefully he's okay, though. Well, as long as he's not heading in for a new hip as well, I think he'll be doing okay. I'm not sure I should be that cheeky. They might come find me a little bit later. No, uh, Aaron Sears uh, from <laughs> Rotorua. Um, I can hold him down here, Rocky, if you need me to, mate. But uh, all the best. Hope you're okay, buddy. Good to see you walk in. Okay, I tell you what, actions are plenty, mate. We're, we're back up to the gate. It's going to be race number 272. Like I said earlier, uh, Moto 4 will be starting real soon. So all riders should be heading back around to the pits for Moto number 4. It's always good to see that everybody, you know, gives a massive round of applause to anybody that has had to come off the track. Tell you what, Maddox Gardner, your Aunt Kerry, she is super proud of you, mate. Super proud. Keep it going. Here we go, we're into the work early with Carl Berryman, Roy leaning, Warren Boggess, Craig Barrington, Liam Drew, Roy leaning off. <laughs> They're all changing spots, but here we go, it is none other than your world number five. That's Dion Youth out the front with the 100 plate, the local lad of Carl Berryman in the number two spot. All the actions though in the middle of the pack though as we come out of that second corner. 
Theon Youth is getting up front. This is why he is the world number five. And he wants to be NZ1 again. The number 100 plate there. Carl Berriman wants a spot though too. It's your NZ2 though. Currently in the three spot though. That is Andrew Fahert out of cup of tea. Here we go. The battle's on as they push hard. I think I can see where I'm looking for golden wheels. There he is. Look at those wheels shining bright in the sun. <laughs> and they've just dropped the gate on race 273. And as they come around the corner, I can see that I do believe it might be Amy Martin out in front. She's been doing really well. She's been holding her own all day long, uh, making everybody else work hard behind her. But the toe spot is being fought over like Battle Royale. Uh, we've got the uh, 92 of uh, Caitlin Gugentis. I didn't quite catch the number of the other. Selena Feister, Mountain Raider there on the 5 one, mate. And then the five. 459 of Jade Elmer's coming around as well, doing a great job. No doubt, probably related to Rocky, unfortunately, so no doubt a bit nervous after that. But there we go, the 274 there. race there, motor number three, 13 to 44, cruiser female, none other than your NZ1. Tony James out the front working for her money today, though. Look at that little flick in the air. She's got company, though. Catalina Morris on the 320 out of Southlands in there, too, somewhere. Amy Duckett, the Rotorua rider on the 140. It is your 330, 320 rider, Catalina Morris. In the number two spot, Sonia Rini there on the 424. I can make oh, her out in the number three spot. There we go, throwing it down. Kyla Newton from Hamilton on the 418, getting into the business as well. All right, 45 plus cruiser female. And coming into this first corner, there were three abreast as they came around that corner. I do believe out in front, though, we've got Donna Head. Then we've got Hayley Puddle from the Rotorua Club, Nikki Bonzel and Lisa Anderson. Lisa Anderson looking like she's sitting on the three at the moment. Yep, yep. Doing, doing a great job, but they are working really hard to try and take it over from each other. It is definitely the uh, 96 of Lisa Anderson in the, the third spot, but Hayley Puddle doing a great job today. Here we go, we're into it, the last race of motor number three, race number 276. I'll tell you what, it's BMX Royalty with your NZ1, Jeanette Davies out of Rotorua in the front. She's got company though with Steph Hook. Hawken there on the one to eight, the Mountain Raider on the two spot, but she's got company. Couldn't quite make it out. I'm going to put it on Cheryl and Anderson on the 4 3 1 out of Kisbin, keeping Steph company as they come back down towards us. But it is your NZ1 out front. It is your 1 2 8 in the, in the number two spot by her nose at the moment. What's going to happen is Steph going to hang on to it. She's throwing it down into the last straight there. She's got company up her outside. Steph, you've got to get a pedal down, mate. Hey, she pushes hard. He's going to want to go upstairs to check that one out. Well, I'm going to catch up with you later, Mr. Harrison. I, uh, I better go and catch up with my boy and make sure that he's doing all right. Mate, um, awesome. Big shout out. Big thank you, Aaron, for coming up today, mate. Spending nope. your time with us. Look nope. forward to catching you tomorrow, mate. Oh, I'm back up here a little bit later on, so I might see you then. Yeah, will do. Okay, we're into it as uh, JD gets himself back into the mix. Oh no, he slipped the pedal, the Mountain Raider. That must be Jake Anderson, buddy. Keep it going, mate. Get back into it. That left the, the wide open for Fletcher Stevens from Whangarei on the 100 with the Hawera Rider sitting in the number two spot. That's Hugo Hollihan. He's pushing half at the Mountain Raider there. That's Jake Anderson. He's got back into the business. Cohen Phillips there from Te Araha on the 484. He's pushing half for the spot. But here we come back down towards us. Uh, as he kind of starts racing back down towards us, it is. It's your 100 plate there. That is Fletcher Stevens from Whangarei. The 120 plate, though, no, Jake Anderson, the Mountain Raider. He's clawing back the spots one pedal at a time as they go into the corner. Your Hawera rider there on the 208. Hugo Hollihan on the three. And Cohen Phillips here from Te Araha for the 483. All right, all right, all right. We got Hudson Hislop out front. It's the 311 for out from East City. It looks like that's Freddie Scantron from White Tackery chasing in behind. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a race on our hands. It's Haro Shimada from East City, and he's looking strong in that third position. But it looks like it's Hudson Hislop as he's rolling through these rollers, and he's looking for a little bit of dough as he's coming through here. But it's that Freddie that's chasing him down. But it's Haro Shimada that looks like he's got his eyes on the prize. Coming in there, it's Savage Lawrence from Hawks Bay, and he's looking strong as he's coming all the way through there. Go, Savage, go. As Hudson Hislop's going to have to hold on to this one. Freddie's giving him a run for his money. Welcome back, JD. Good to have you with me this afternoon, mate. Into the race number, though, 279. No pleasantries here, mate. 
Pocket six boys into the work we go nice and early as we look to see who's going to get the whole shot as they come around the corner. It's the 866 plate. That is your rider from Alex. That's Ryan Entwell. I'll tell you what, I'm looking at heading to the South Island titles and Alex later, in the, well, early in the new year, I should say, already kind of getting excited. But he's got company in the form of Luke Richardson from the Hutt Valley Thunderbolts on the 987. Ludovico Rosenberg and a Tewa Mutu on the 342s in there too. Grayson Perno though. He's in the play at the moment. But here we go. It's a Cromwell right in there. That's Cooper Rushbrook on the 934 making a way up. Arlo Peters on the 673. Out on your Plymouth in the mix there too. As we round out race number 279. Sprocket 6 4 all right, here we go. Let's rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. It's two, race number 280. It's Brockett Six Boys. It's Riley Smith. It's Finn Hudson coming out of New Plymouth. And it's Odin Witch from Capital. It's Finn Duncan looking real strong, but that's none other than the Soto Shimada, the Japanese Samurai Royal coming out of East City. He's rocking and rolling and over top of that quad and into that double, up onto that double. Step up. Beautiful cornering as they come in there, but it's bar to bar action as they're going into that second corner. Nicely done. Carter Lynch looking real strong and Odin Wedge in the mix. But it's Finn Hudson and Riley Smith that are battling it out as they come through here. And it could be three across. It's a 6 6 1 looking good. And that's the Riley Smith all the way from Telpo. And it's bar to bar action as they look for that second place. And that third place is going to have to go up to the top. But it's that Soda Shimada from East City taking it home. And here we go. Liam Wang on the 2 5 6 out of North Harbour into this work early, giving the whole shot. The 0 2 5 plate there. That's Jack Green from Bangaday. He wants a piece of the pie. Tiaraha, Tiaramuru Rider, though, in the number three spot. There's two of them out there, so it's either Oakley Mitchell or Ron McBride, as we look to see who it is when they cut back down towards us. But here we go. They come racing back down. It is your North Harbour Rider, Liam Wang, on the 2 5 6 out front. With them behind him, though, the 825, that is none other than Jack Reed. Here we go, it's the 534 getting into the three. That's Finn Watson from Hamilton with the golden helmet on. I tell you what, gold and Hamilton must have something in common there with Golden Wheels Boggers, as well as now our other man from Hamilton, Finn Watson, the gold. And here we go, our ride right of the 193 play, uh, Harry Sinclair, out of top four, coming past us. And the gate drops on the seven boys, race number two, eight, two. And they're taking a nice little lead here as he's rolling into this first corner. He's not having it all his way. Oh, a little bit of a stumble on that one. But it's five, seven, four in the moment in the front. And that's the Maddox Gardener out of Havelock. And he's looking real strong. That's Hutt Valley coming in there, the Thunderbolt. I mean, he's got lightning in a bottle. If I could bottle it, I'd probably only sell one. But he's out in the front of the moment. It's Maddox Gardner looking real strong. And it looks like they're lining up in behind him and they're looking to take his place. He does a little sneaky look back at the moment, but it looks like he's holding on to it at, at 682, giving him a good run for his money. And it's Vincent Chad all the way from the y Tax. Out west, they call it the best. And he's looking like he's going to try and stroll into that second nice. Here we go. We're into the guy. And those tell you what, the commas here are not letting us have a break. It's race number 283. And I can tell you it's a mountain right around the front. It's the 354, that is Evelyn Zhu. She's pushing up, throwing the pedals down. Mum and Dad, she's going to need an ice cream, I think, after this. Here they come into the second corner, pushing hard. As we look to make it out, I can see the one tucker in right of there, Miller Crawley on the 273. She's out there having a great time with Toba Luke on the 651 from Capital City. Tessa Macy on the 140 from Cambridge. And it's the 880, that's Pickle Walker from Hamilton. She's chasing down Evelyn. We got the crushes right on the 790 of Woody Murphy and Luca Robinson, the 979 from Rotorua going past us now. But here comes the 651, Toba Luke pushing past into the final corner down the middle straight to the end. All right, here we go, boys and girls. It's eight boys and they're racing hard into this corner. It's a 662 of Kingston Hislop at the moment and it looks like he's in first place and he's pulling it out strong. But ladies and gentlemen, they've got ourselves a real contingency and they roll into this one. He's all up in his grill and he's trying to make it work. It looks like that could have been the Christchurch rider up there with Ji Hu Hong in the number two position. Formerly the East City trained hard and heavy. It's a Kingston Hislop holding the number one. It's a Ji Hu Hong in the number two out of the Christchurch. Beautiful riding as they come strolling in here, but Kingston Hislop takes that one home. Mate, some exciting stuff here. This is the first year for these kids uh, racing for NZ Blades uh, as in the challenge class. It's quite exciting. And that's why the racing's hot on the race number 285. Here we go into the work early. It's the 351. That's not only going to Hamilton right Oh no, something happened in that corner. Thor Piso managing to get back up on the bike, which is good. Here we go, they're pushing hard, we do have a ride it down unfortunately, but it looks like it's Matu and Louis Hill on the triple one plate from North Harbour out the front. He's going hard as it comes down towards us, sitting in the number two spot though, it's the 589, 
That is your rider, Jaden Barrett from the North uh, Mountain Raiders Club. He's pushing hard. I just saw the 647 plate. That's Folk off at it. And he's got a battle on with the Cromwell rider. South Island versus South Island. As we round out race number 285. Hopefully our fallen rider there, the 416 plate. That's Nico Simeon out of Tauranga. Hopefully he's okay. Back up walking. So watch out here, this race is coming at us looking fast today, mate. It's been a great day. Well, it sure is. And I have to tell you, I've got to give a, a hats off to uh, all the volunteers that are out there. They're doing a great job. Thank you to the uh, St. John's and thanks. And if the 416 rider comes through, make sure you give him a round of applause. As we commence our riding, we've got the eight boys out here. And it looks like that's Henry Hogg out there in first place. He's doing a nice line as he's coming through there. But he's definitely getting challenged by the Christchurch riders and also from Daniel Chen there out of the North Harbour rider. It looks like they're doing a battle to battle. Hesitation, devastation. But it's definitely Henry out at the moment. He's holding strong on that. But he's just been passed on an undercut. And Daniel Chen taking it North Harbour. And he's pushing hard on that pump section. And Daniel Chen taking it through. But it's the 808 to the Christchurch rider. And he's going to try and make sure he pushes himself in there. That's Cameron Denson from Christchurch. Daniel Chen taking it. Henry Hawk back in third. Oh, my goodness. What an upset. Oh, here we go. What am I doing? I'm sleeping on the world the job. Into the corner, the whole shot goes to you. 800 right out of North Harbour. That's Hugo Bassett. He's pushing hard. I can see a rider there from Harwater in the mix too. That must be Flynn Robinson or Kilo Lister. They're riding hard too. We've got a lot of people in their mix. Here we go. The action's coming back down towards us as they're coming to the rhythm straight. It looks like the number one spot has changed. It's the wall. Oh, got a bit funky with it. The 199. That's Neil Charlton. Out of New Plymouth hanging on there. Hugo Bassett fighting hard. Flynn Robinson as they go into the mix with Brock Wellington, Blake McIntosh, Keller Lister, Bolan, and Toby Friedrich. Back into the race and we've got the eight grills. We're going to bar to bar into that first corner. Who's coming out in that first corner? It's the Cromwell in that second, but it's the eight rider at the moment and looking like that's Dita Haru all the way from Southland. She's making sure she's coming up here and showing her face, showing the buzz how to do it. All the way in through there, it's Madeline Burley looking from Telpo, looking sharp. Isla Reed from Cromwell looking real good, but it's none other than the Dita Haru from Southland holding on to that at the moment. But it's the Cromwell rider. It's looking like she might be able to take it, but she's got to find a little bit of a gap. Is she going to hold open the door for her? No, she's shutting it down. Oh, no, there's a little bit of a gap. She's going to push it through on that tabletop. It's going to be a fight to the finish. Here we go. Talking about a fight. It's a fight to the bottom of the hill. And it happens to be Hendrix Kahukura. Nine boys race number 289. And it is the 356. Hendrix has hung on to it, but he might have gone a bit wide. We got a tote ball rider there. Donovan Wallace coming up beside him in the NZ3. With the hardware rider, right, I'm going to say Tyler Hetherington. He's sitting in the number three spot as they're around it. Coming back down towards us in the rhythm straight. We got Don Bycroft Jenkins out of Hamilton. Roman Thompson from the Hawks Bay, the local lad. Finn Sutherland of the 836 out of Alex. The 274 of Ezra Reynolds from Tauranga and Archie Murray, the local lad, the 620. As I've just got the 274 of Ezra Reynolds coming past me now. But it looks like the battle's on across that finish line for race number 289. We got ourselves a beautiful start here. Very aggressive out on that 150 plate. Harrison Cullen from Hawks Bay looking real strong. Then uh, this is his home track and he's making sure he's holding everybody back but these boys in behind are stuck between a rock and a hard place as they're throwing themselves into that corner and he's getting lined up there like a voodoo doll but it's none other than uh, Harrison Cullen holding strong it's Fletcher Smith all the way from Hamilton looking good Luke Buckley in there from Mountain Raiders Luke Buckley's in the third place at the moment and it's the 637 of Aiden Jensen from the White Tax looking strong Max Hayden in there mix as well looking good from Parker but it's none other than Harrison Cullen taking it over Oh, here we go. This is them stacking and racking with Katie McDonald's getting to the bottom of the hill first and hanging on to that into the whole shot. But he's got company in the form of Jacob Crawford from Tauranga there in the number two. As we ran out our riders there, we've got Noah Perry on the 709, Charlie Mitchell from Cambridge on the 51, Ola Harua on the 456 from South, and Nico Matini in the 67, the Mountain Raider, and the 290 from the other half, Carmel. But it is your 946 rider, Katie McDonald at the front. And it's the 67 plate there of Nico Matini. He's in the number three spot as they come around the corner. But what's going to happen there? It looks like the Battle Royale, the burners are down. As we round out race number 291. 
and the gate drops to the nine boys. And like a slow, no, he's lost his pedal. It's Jackson Ropati. He's able to regain. He's back from first. He's into fourth position. He's got some work ahead of him now. The boys are open the doors, and it looks like it's a free for all at the moment. Jackson's got some hesitation, devastation in those pedals, but he's powered down. Now into third place. We got ourselves a serious battle on our hands as he's ripping it through. He's ironed it up. He's now in second place, holding it strong. He's got to make his way through to at number four. That's none other than Braxton Hewis. He's done it. He's back into first. He's lost his pedals. Back from fourth into third, second, third. Jackson Rope Honey taking it home. Mate, I'll tell you what, the camera and I said, here we go. We're into race number 293. This is the fourth off. Oh. Third gate, I think it is, or fourth gate, or maybe of the nine boys. Into the work we go. It's the one, five, six plate out the front. Otis Roper into the whole shot first. George Wu from Hamilton in the 505 in the mix there too. We've also got Otis Roper here from Capital City on the 156. We've got Isaac Callan on the 432 to Watakri. Archer Brown on the 964 from Topol. The 151 from New Plymouth of Logan and Zahn Light from Kisman on the 585. But it's your 156 at the front but the 964 from Topol. Archer Brown giving a run for his money. He wants the toe spot. But is he going to get it? Doesn't look like he's going to be able to hang on. All right. These boys aren't afraid to start. Look at them lightening up. I mean, this boy out front, his dad must be a partner because he's got the hammer down. That's none other than the 562 out there, and he's looking real strong. That's Jake Cromery all the way from the North Harbor region. These boys are coming out in full force. There's a real battle on that second and third place at the moment. It's J.D. Pistorius as they're coming through, and Archie Burke from the y Tax. Ali Savage from Teatamoto with Jake Cromery out in the lead. But he's getting chased down in there. It's NZ number three in the 9811 coming in. J.D. Pistorius coming in all the way from Hamilton. And it looks like it's a good push as they come through there. This final stretch is a real game changer. Here we go, into his work earlier, son other than the Mountain Raider, the Dylan Jones show. He did one for a reason, but he's got company Harley Logan from North Harbour in behind him. Here we go, I think I can see Gaden McKenzie out of Christchurch on the 182. He's making his way up, currently sitting in fourth. We also got another Dylan Lee, Luke Harrifield, Henry Johnson, Gaden McKenzie, Bowie Williams, Tate Burden into the mix, but it is the NZ6 sitting in the three. That's Tate Burden. He's pushing hard, but Dylan Jones showing us the pedal manuals out of the third corner as he round out race number 295. Beautiful there, time. Oh, no, we've got ourselves a serious crash down here. I right, just, oh, boy. All right, we've got a 5-6-3 out in the front with the 600 coming in the second. That's a 5 6 three. That's Matt out there from the North Harbor. He's out in the front at the moment with the 600 in the close in behind with Sam Hickey. We've got a rider down. She just had a little bit of a tumble. We've got ourselves a little bit of battle for that second and third position, but it's the 5-3 that's that match out front for the North Harbor and the 600 coming in close and behind. But there's a battle for that third position with some nice undercut happening in there. Caleb Hotter and Sam Hickey in there. All right, I'll tell you what, there we go. Heartbreak Hotel here, then our 10 boys, race number 296. And it's at number four, that's Baden Prescott. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that takes the wind out of you coming down onto that. Great to see him back up on his bike. That's a big round of applause for Baden points. Prescott. Good work, mate. Look at that. He's come down on that visor, ripped that right off, so Thankfully, hopefully he's okay. Often that's just cosmetic, mate, so uh, that's why they wear these loads, right? Um, great helmets. Not that I'm sponsored, but I would uh, great brands. Yeah. yeah. Call the plastic surgeon, nip and tuck. <laughs> well, you're suggesting I get a nip and tuck. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Appreciate that. But I'm telling you what, Janie, it's been a great day. Um, you've had the morning in the middle of the day off. No doubt some great racing you've seen out there. Oh, we're into it. Thanks, Janie. I've got to keep myself banging in the game. We're into it, though. 297, that's the race number. If it's the 10 boys again, into his work as a 306 plate. That is your rider, Sam Macy, out of Cambridge. He's pushing hard. I can see the 125 plate there. That's Enzo Torrance from the Tiaraha Club. He was down at the bottom of the gate first, but can he hang on? He's going to want to climb his way back up. We've also got Kane Thompson, Flex, Felix Dell, Kobe Guys, Benjamin Bergstrom, Eddie Tohei, and Hayden Ingram in the mix there too. The battle's on in the middle of the pack as I make out the 725 plate. Eli Toha coming from Cambridge just past us now. He's got a throw down. He's pushing hard as we round out race number 297. 
Well, that's a beautiful start we have from the Supercross. I believe that's the 940. That's definitely Max Olsen out of Rotorua. He's showing it how to turn and burn. This guy's giving a little bit of schooling to these guys as he's stretching out a lead. But there's a definite, we've got a little bit of uh, upset here. We've got some pedals come off. Hopefully he's able to recover, get back going. Uh, we definitely have Max Olsen out in front at the moment. But Dylan Hicks is chasing in, and Ethan Lilly looking strong for Telronga. We got in second place, it's a 228. And that's none other than the Millen Hamlet from the North Harbor Rider. All right, we're going to have to get some glue out of some of these waters, I think. So we're back into it, into the race number 299. This is motor number four. It's our 10 girls. Look at the work. Here we come. It's our North Harbor Rider. The 109 plate. That's Mia Grant. She's pushing hard. Will she hang on? Here we go. We've got a mountain way to come up her outside. I'm going to have a crack and say that's Olivia Anderson on the 210. Ali Morgan on the NZ6 in the mix there too with Olivia Foss on the 337. Here they come back down towards us with Mila Tate from the Mountain Raiders in there too alongside Evie Duckett and Pippa Spence but it's your one on the front, it's the 210. She is currently the Olivia Anderson, the Mountain Raider in the number two spot. But here we go, they were throwing it down. I can see their heads shaking as the lactic acid is kicking in at the moment. All right, here they go. It's the 10 girls. Now these girls are lean and mean, and they mean business when they're out here. Look at them going. They're fighting there in that second position. We've got the 723 at the moment out in the front. That's Skylar Hansen all the way from North Canterbury. But we got a battle in on that third position. Nicely ridden in there. Skylar Hansen, Liam Old from the Tiaramutu, and Catalan Cocker from Talpo coming in. Jade Killer from the y Tax. And the 571 coming in the back end there. That's Madeline Powell. But out in the front looking real strong as they're coming through there. Savannah Hogg up from the White Tax holding on to that fourth position. But it's a 723. Skyla Hansen taking her home. Here we go. We're into it. It's Mika Wallace there from Topo into the front. She's world number six for a reason. Looking to get down nice and low. I tell you what, that looks like a pretty special fight she's on. Color coordinated. That's all it's about. In the mix there, though, I can't make up those here, the rocks behind her. That's Ruby Buckley on the 78, the Mountain Raider. So Mika Wallace, Ruby Buckley, one and two. As we look to see, I can make out the 68 plate of Lily Hansen. Here we go, the three, it's your end here, two and the four. That's Amelia De Theory out of Hamilton. She wants a spot back, but here we go. We've got a battle on at the moment, four, four and five. Here we go, the afterburners are flying. Beautiful airtime in there, being able to just pull it out. It looks like it's, oh, another nice air is coming through there. But that's the rider of the 800 holding it strong. But he's getting chased down in there. Beautiful riding as they're coming through there. Tight. It's Levi Howard and Nathan Schwann in there from Sunset Coast with Tubi McCuster from Mountain Raiders. Alex, sorry, I'm in the wrong one. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Charlie Sean with Ryder Wheeler and Cooper Beck. Out in the front, that's definitely 800. And that's Cooper Beck out front from Haro and Nixon Shears and Adam Stevens, Montley Garner and Dylan. Smith looking good, but it's none other than the Nick Cooper back taking it. Legs 11, it's our 11 boys sitting down to them. It's race number 303, bottom number 4, Jack Kelly getting to the bottom fast. But who's in the mix here? It's the 905 plate. That is Alex Shanks out of Hamilton. He got the whole shot. He's got company though, the 145, 149 plate. Maybe out of top four there. James Sinclair coming up the outside, currently at three. As they come back down towards us into the rhythm sweat, we're looking for Nathan Swain, the Sunset Coast driver. It looks like he's got his nose in front of Toby McCusker from the Mountain Raiders. It's the 118 there in the number two spot. That's Jack Kelly out of Capital City. It's going to be a drag race between Alex Shanks and Jack Kelly. Here we go, getting funky with it down the rhythm straight. It's all about the pedal. Now this one here you're going to want to watch, ladies and gentlemen. None other than the Brock's out front. Brock O'Neill holds up nice manuals. Double manual, double trouble. It's Barney Rubble as he's rolling through there. Beautiful over that quad second. Get chased down by the Tobias Dickinson in the number two place. This is definitely a race you're going to want to be seeing. These boys are lean and they're mean and they're riding it up like a machine as they go through that roller section. I mean, it's green for the money and gold for the honey as he goes through there. That's Brock O'Neill out number one with Tobias Dickinson in the number two. Robbie Zilward and Vincent Scarley looking good from Hawks Bay. Here we go, another game of 11 boys. It's race number 305. It's Nico Meyer into the work early. You're injured. One for a reason out of New Plymouth. The 142 plate, though, hanging on with the metallic gold bike. That is uh, 142 of Josh Braithwaite out of the Mountain Raiders. We got Nielsen Urata in the mix there, too. The whole wheel of riders sitting in the fall. That must be Finn Lawrence. But here they come, it's your NZ, one of Nico Meyer in the number one spot. One, two, and three is side by side. It's the 300 plate with the nose out front. That's Nielsen Urata managed to get it out there. The hardware rider coming up the outside now. Throwing the pedals down towards the middle. 
Here we go. Race number 305. 306 here. We've got Jai doing a nice manual over top of that one. And he's coming into that triple step up with a nice line as he's getting chased down by the 247. That's Jackson Carroll from the Sunset Coast. There's a real pack inside that race. There's a race within the race for that third and fourth position as they come rolling in through there. And he's pinning him with a nice little bit of an undercut as he comes through there. But that's none other than the Jai Martini from the Mountain Raiders showing it how it's done. Full of style. But it's a 912 with a little bit of a push in there. And he's able to hold on to that. That's Tyler Cogren all the way from the Tauranga looking real good. Nice racing, boys. Here we go. Race number 307. It's our 12 boys into the next time. We've got a battle royale on. It looks like it's our 157. Oh, it's a whole shot. Down. As they come flying around, we got a lot to go down. It was our 157 rider, unfortunately. That was John O'Hanson out of Cromwell, but he's back up on his bike. He's going hard. That put Rico Ryan out into the front on your ends in one. Coming back down all the time. The battle's on for two and three. It's a 264. 264 is Austin Strata out of Christchurch. He's going for a gold. Here we go into the money shot down to the finish straight. The battle's going on. Here we go as we round out race number 307. And great work, John O'Hanson. Back up on your bike. Hopefully you're okay, mate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this 12th boys is going to be stacked in racks. She's packed in there tighter than a can of sardines. You're going to need a can opener to get this one open because they're going hard. It's a Reef Hendricks out in the front of the moment. It's Reef Hendricks holding on to it. He's getting chased down by the NZ number five. And Ole Smokes and Charlie Wellington from Tower Island is giving him a run for the money. He is mighty 11s against. Oh, he's going on the outside. Charlie's going on the outside looking for a little bit of gap. Reef is closing it down. Reef is able to hold on to it at the moment. But can he sustain the pain as the lactic acid builds up? It's Reef Hendricks. It's Charlie Charlie out there. It's at number two is in the third position with Dylan Sazy holding it tight from the North Harbor. It's Reef. He's going to have to push it all the way to the end. Reef takes it. Charlie two. Dylan in three. Here we go. Race number 309. Another gate here on 12 boys and they're into their work early. It looks like it's the East City rider there on Kate Peterson into the whole shot. But he's got company in the form of the 133. That's Rocky Franks. He's come up from Southland and he wants a piece of the pie. Oh no, we've got a ride to go down, but they back up. It looks like they're going to get back on their bike. As they come back down towards us, I'm going to put my money on that. Might be Jared Rennie, unfortunately. But here we go. It's the 133 now out the front. That's Rocky Branks. Hey, Peterson on the two. The 501 hanging on by the three. By the skin of his teeth, that's Sol Proven. He's got a battle royale on as he rolls it down to round out race number 309. Here we go, big round of applause for our rider. That's back up. That's the 531, Jared Rennie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the gate, it's race 310, 12 boys. Uh, big shout out to Dion Youth from Tony Stevens. Even the, even the pit boys get the shout outs on the YouTube, mate. Yeah, you know, I love this YouTube. I mean, we're getting people from all over the country. I mean, how far away? Oh, here we go. We've got ourselves a race. It's the 12 boys. This one stacked. It's from the track. we got a nice start, though. Very aggressive out front. Holding it strong. A little bit of a pedal slip, but able to hold on to it. It's a 1-3-4. Getting chased down to 1-3-7. Holy smokes, they're going flying hard, flying hard. And it's a 1-3 cylinder from Dylan Inswell coming in there real strong. But it's a 1-3-4 at, at the moment in the front. That's a Cooper Murphy from Christchurch. We also have in the third place at the moment, it's an NZ number eight. And they're pushing hot and they're pushing heavy. That's Billy McRae from New Plymouth. But it's tight race, this one, and it's all going to come down to the finish line. He's going to have to pedal hard to hold on to it. Oh, I tell you, I can't wait uh, to watch this uh, racing tomorrow, mate. It's going to be full on, man. Talking about full on, we're into our work early here. It's race number 311. It's our 13 boys into the work early, though. The 391 plate, that's Xavier Bell. Out of time, and it looks like a 456, though. That's Max Hay Hay doing a Max Hay Hay into the mix. That boy knows how to ride, and he's sure throwing it down today. Fletcher Lawrence on the 554 out of Harwood is in the 6 2. We've got a couple of East City Roll. No, we've got a couple of riders down. There we go. The positions have changed. The 3 9 1 now at the front. That's Xavier Bell. He's hung on. It's that triple nine plate there. The East City rider there. That is Jacob Lyman in the two spot. But he's got company in the form of a North Harbour rider. That must be Tyler Grant in the three with the other lineman. That's Jacob in the two spot. 
So Jacob in the two. Sorry, Callum in the four. The 5-5-0 five, five, oh, right of there. Fletcher Lawrence back up and right on. Hopefully you're okay, buddy. And alongside our 4 five, six. Max Hay Hay after some brilliant riding here on corner one. Just couldn't stick it on corner two. Tell you what, mate, they, I, I, I take my hat off to these kids and these grown adults and, and, you know, the men and the women out there, they're absolutely just... You throw it down with absolute trust, right, that the gear's going to stick and it's all going to work, right? And sometimes it just doesn't. Well, you're exactly right. And they always say that speed never hurt anyone, but uh, becoming stationary suddenly gets you every time. Oh, get it to All right, it's race it. number 312. It's the 13 boys. And here we go. Let's see who's out in the top. It's the 77 looking strong. 77. It's No Evans, and he's coming in there, but he's getting chased down by the end zone. Number seven. Boy, these boys are pedaling hard. It's a hallucinogenic to see how fast these guys are pedaling. And it looks like it's a nice little pedal in there from No Evans from Rotorua. And it's Kemp Hancock in there from New Plymouth as well. But it's the NZ4. Liam Clifford giving him a good run. And it looks like that NZ number seven. Nice little pass from the outside, but he's able to sustain it. He's holding it. It's part of our action oh. all over the tabletop. Beautiful riding out there. Here we go. It's race number 313. Moto Ford. Another gate of 13 boys, and they're into it. Benny Anderson out of East City. He's into the whole shop, but he's got company there, and he's had it there all day. That is the 205 rider there. That is Dylan Fox out there, but great to see. Nixon Banks back into the mix. He's in the number three spot. He's running hard. The Cromwell Rider sitting in the four. That must be Liam King. Ben Anderson, though, in the one. Dylan Fox in the two. Nixon Banks in the three. Can Ben Anderson hang on to it into the last corner? Down to the final straight. The pedals are being burned. The two and four coming past us there. That's your water. Out of New Plymouth. That's Oliver Donaldson. As we round out into the afternoon, it's race number 313. Race number 314, it's the 13 boys. These ones are in Iraq. And it looks like we got ourselves a clear contender out front. Boy, he's pedaling hard into that corner. And it's 700 at the moment, and he's out front. And it's Keanu U. U. Thompson all the way from Hawks Bay. And he's leading it. And it clanging bars in that second position. That's a little bit of an undercut, and he's holding it strong. But he's definitely Tiamu Emu Thompson out front in the moment. He's holding it strong. 88, that's Jack Buckley from Mountain Raiders, and it's a 482. In that third possession, that's Jesse Lindrop from the... Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen, these boys are racing and leaving everything out out there. Here we go. It's not stopping for anybody. It's the race number 315, motor four. Another group of 13 boys into the work early. I can tell it's the Kati Akatanga. Gold, black and gold, right there, the 271. That's Blake Gummer. He's pushing hard. He's in the number one spot at the moment. But he's got his mate, Reed McDonald, in the number three by the looks. Into the work they come. I don't know if that's Lawson Gold at a cross church. It might be. As they come back down towards us, it is. It's the 298. It's South Island 1, 2, and 3 at the moment. Oh, no, there we go. It's the North Island. It's Timothy Cresswell. Tim Tam, as they call him, pushing it hard. He's got the pedal manuals happening. Is he going to get it? Oh, 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 I don't know. All right, here we go with the girls. It's a 14 girls. Nice riding with these two. that are going to part of our action as they're going into that first corner with a nice little push up. It's a one, two, three at the moment in the front. And she's riding it hot and heavy. And we got ourselves a good mix in that one. As they're rolling it through there. But it's a battle as they roll through here. And it's tire to tire and it's bumper to bumper. As they come strolling through here, it's a one, two, three in the, in the front. With a five, 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 that's Nicole Mapu all the way in the second place. With a one, six, six in the third place, Isabel Anderson from the Y Tackeries. Here we are into it again. Another group of 14 girls. It's race number 317. It's Beth Walker out the front. She's your NZ1 for a reason. It's so behind her. She's going to hang on. Here we go. The 320 plate there. That's Catalina Morris pushing hard for a spot. But as we got, we got Beth Walker and Sophie and Catalina in the three. We round it out into the rhythm straight as we look to see who's who as they come back down towards us. But Beth's out the way. There we go. Sophie's not giving her an inch. It's the 320 in the number two. But your NZ6. That is Reeve Nipir Anderson out of Gisborne in the four at the moment. What can she do on the final straight as she pushes hard to round out race number okay, three? Okay, this is seven. the one you're going to want to watch, ladies and gentlemen. This is 16 boys, and these boys are racing hard. Uh, looks like that could be none other than 5-5-9 five, five, out in the front at the moment, and he's holding hard. But it's going to be Tyler Dinsdale in the mix there as well. But it's Jack Young holding on to it, but he's getting chased down hard. Oh, it's a nice little undercut. That could be Reagan Smith in the... Oh, no, that could be Reagan Smith down. It's a 5-5-9 five, five, out front with a 185 in the second place. That's Jack Young holding on to it. And Tyler Dinsdale in the number two. 
The 303, that's Regan Smith down. And the 3514, Will Stewart. Uh, the hot right for those boys. Back on their bike. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as they come through here, putting everything on the line. Up on the gate now. Moto number four, race 319. Second gate is 16 boys. The gate has dropped it as the 16 boys as they get into it early. We got out the front at your NZ2. That's Top Common out of Capital City. He's into the mix early with the 53 plate currently sitting in the two. That's Dara for Silicon of Whangarei with Blood Harrison, the East City rider. Currently under three, we've got a Cromwell rider coming up his outside of the former Jack Stanley. Who's going high? Who's going low? But it's your NZ2 out the front. That is none other than Tom Coleman there for Silicon the three. Lynn Harrison, sorry, hanging until the three there as they come around that corner. The panels are going down. These boys are pushing hard. Here we go. That chasing. How's it going to finish today? I don't know. They're going to have to go across the line there. That is awesome. Great ride in here from our boys. And race number three, two, zero, 16 boys. Joining in. Oh, we got ourselves a little bit of a tumble as they come through here. Pushed over into the pro straight as they come through. But it looks like they're lining themselves up. He's all over him like a bad suit in behind. But it looks like he's coming down on that rhythm section. And it's a 108 in the front. Chased down by the NZ number five, NZ number seven in on that third position. But it's a 108. Jack Lawrence holding on to it with Jack James Wallace in there with Jacob Shaw looking strong. Oh, I'll tell you what, mate, these, uh, these aren't really boys. I know we got them down as 16 boys, but they're really men there with Max Richardson coming through. These Great will be rider. some of the fastest times. That's Max Richardson, like you said. These will be some of the fastest times coming through. Oh, talking about fast times. Here we go. Another age group to watch. This is our 70 to 24 male. Oh, at the front. Look at that. Almost over jumping it. It's the 98 plate there of Logan Clark. But he's got company. We got none other than Lewis Atkinson out of the East City Club on the 151. Oh, we're a rider and in six. Harry Booth, he's in the mix too. But here we go. It's your 98 plate. Logan Clark from Crosstitch. Lewis Anderson chasing him down. The NZ six and three. The 55 plate there. Oh, Mason Stills from your Plymouth. Brock Harvey from Topol there on the 78 plate. This is an age group to watch. These guys are throwing it down as they round out race number three, two, one. Boom, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And the gate drops and they're out. Beautiful manual happening out there as he comes over that triple and looking real sharp. That number 361 getting chased hard down by the 62. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves Angus in there, Thompson. Looking real good as he's getting chased down by the 82 Cameron Lang from the Dunedin. And they're pushing hard and heavy, going high in there in the background. But it's a 361 holding on to it with the 82 in there, with the 541 in there on that. 541 Zachary Arner from the Tower on are coming in on that third position, but they're holding it tight. Here we go, we're into it again with the race number 323. As they come into the corner for the whole shot, it's the 112 plate there of Corey Walden from the Sunset Coast. In number two spot though is the 273 coming over the hill there. Ben Lachlan out of Watakari. West is best as they say out in Auckland. But in behind him though, we got coming back down towards us. We look to see who it is. It's none other than your 188 plate there. That is Brian Tane. Brian, sorry, Tane. Tane, I'm uh, getting myself confused here and I'm running out of steam. As we race down to the final line there for race number three, two, three. Race number three, two, four. It's 35, 39 males. Looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a club race in here with the boys coming in there tight. It's a one, two, three, and they're making sure they're holding on to it. There's a team racing happening in there. It's Jade Peters and Daniel Johnny and Joel Hawk with Rob Robinson coming in with Jason Jolly looking real strong in the mix. But these boys are holding it up. It's Rob Johnson and Joel Hook and Daniel Johnny having it all their way. With a 6-6-6 in the mix out in the front. With the getting chased down by the 177. That's Joel Hook. But these boys are club nighting it all day long. So that one looks pretty cool there from Howard. Uh, looking good. 
Oh, and we're into it, talking about looking good, Glenn Richardson from the Hutt Valley Thunder Bolts on the 1-6-8, got to the bottom of the hill, but he couldn't hang on because you've got the Tewa Muru Rider of Scott Silver, he's now out the front, he's got company there, look at the battle line in the middle of that pack, we're looking for Brad Andrews, we're looking for Adam Green, Dwayne Moritz, Daniel Cullen, Grant Rennie, and Lee Halloway, but it's your one one seven plate of Scott Silver, it's the 1-6-8 in the number two spot, that is your rider from Hutt Valley Thunder Bolts, Glenn Richardson, and the triple two plate there on Brad Andrews from Bangarei pushing hard. The battle's on for the fourth though. I don't know how that landed. Go right, ladies. That's a 45, 49 male, 20 inch. But he's taking a nice lead at the moment for that end at number one Holden. But end at number five is close in behind. It's a JT Paul in there from the Gizzy Coast. And it's a Zane Alexander trying to chase him down. He's all over him like a rash at the moment as he's coming in. And he better not look in his rear view mirror because he's right there. He could be coming for a little bit of an undercut. We got the 5'11 in the third. That's Phil Gill from Gizzy holding it strong. But he's stretching out his lead and he's going to be able to take that one home. <laughs> for turning that on, JD, appreciate that, trying to get a drink in, uh, couldn't from her to turn my mic on, but I tell you what, turning it on is the NZ2 there, and it's none other than Derek Del Guzma from Dunedin, but I think he's got company with Nathan Cornelius giving him a battle royale as they come back round towards us, we're looking for Gareth Lockton from the Waitakere Club, our president though, here they go, it's the one for 2 Nathan Cornelius at the front, the NZ2 on the number 2, and the one two four. he's sitting on the 3, we've got Tony Thornley in the mix there too, somewhere as they come racing out towards the end, with Andrew Bradman at a costume. Alright, look at these girls here, they're shooting from the hip because they're going in there tight in that second place at the moment, but out in the front, it's a 5-5-1, five, five, getting chased down hard by the 396, it's a 5-5-1, five, five, that's Randy Coleman, Savage all the way from the Hops Bay, she's holding it down, and we got this lean in there with Kerry Wati and Abby Hurst with Jesse Hira coming in. But Casey Thompson Delaney looking real sharp. But she's out front and she's holding it strong. It's battles for that second and third place. And it looks like it's a 1-1-4 one, one, from Abby Hurst trying to put a little bit of show on the go. But Delaney's trying to give a little bit of a push right at the other end. I'll tell you what, how we're uh, earning the club shirts today. We got through them in the mix at the moment with Maya Watkins hitting the bottom of the red face. But into the whole shot though, it's the 9 5, five. That is your right out of Christchurch book now. But Ellie Paddock was hanging into the bottom, sticking it in the low, but she managed to hang on, I don't know. It looks like she's now back into third. Ellie Paddock looking for an undercut there. As they come back down towards us, we know we've got Brooke out of the front at the moment. That's the 955. Ellie Paddock making a move now up the inside. It's the 356 though, hanging on 4-3. That's Mayor Watkins at a high winner. Ellie Paddock getting out the front. Ellie's going to have to throw the pedals down if she wants to keep it. As she's been chased home. Race number 329. Race 330 Masters looking good as they're coming through here, but boy, they're bar to bar and they're touching, they're clanging bars as they go into that one. But it's Adam Cocker looking good with John Hayes and Ben Walter coming in there from Capital and Carl Hurst as they come back at me. We're going to see who's in the mix, but it's Carl Hurst in there with the five one two two looking strong in the first place, and that's Tim Ferguson looking real good all the way from the Cambridge. But the 68 Richard Stanford's coming in on that number two. It's a battle for the three, and they're going to have to go up top on that one. Here we go, it's race number 331, and this is the 25 to 34 male, 20 inch, and into the whole shot we go. It's the number 320 plate there, that's Scott Donaldson out of Cambridge. Hey, no, doesn't he make a good coffee, but he makes a good rider too. Here we go, into the mix of it, we're looking for Hayden Stockman, Lee Chapman, Softy Weed, Brandon McKay, and Alex Swell, but here we go, it looks like it's Scott Donaldson at the front. The 747 plate of Hayden Stockman in the two and the 54 there. On Softy Wee out of the one tuck red club. He's making a move up the outside, but will he get it or will he stick to the three? Here's me round out, race number 331. 332, 25, 34 men, females. This race is going to be interesting here, ladies and gentlemen. We have Amy Martin in the front with Tony James in that number two position. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a real race when you get into those finals, but it looks like it's Amy holding on to it with Tony James in the number two and the white tack. But Jordan Jorgrantius all the way from the Hamilton with Sam Vanderven from the Hutt Valley in there. But it's Amy taking it with Tony in the second with a 92 in there with Catalina Jorgantius all the way from Hamilton holding on to the number three. Oh, here we go. I tell you, they're dropping like in there all over the day. Into the mix though, we got Nancy James there on the 91 plate, but into the whole shot we go. It's the audio plate, that's Jeanette Davies out of Rotorua, but she's got company in the form of Donna Head. Donna on the 151, she's chasing her down, she wants a piece of the pie here. 
Donna's double classic. She's gone in low. What's going to happen as they hit the rhythm straight back towards us? Oh, we're going to keep it. Jeanette Davies hanging on by a thread. The one for one of Donna Head and the number two. But the 4 2 4 plate there. That's Sonia Reddy. She's got a piece of the pie, too. Lisa Anderson from Waitakere in the four by the look as they round out race number triple three. Three, three, four, 50 plus male 20 inch oh when they're coming in here looks like they're riding a fine line between history and glory as they're coming down there nice little ride from the Christchurch boys Mike Head looking real strong as he's coming in Roar leaning coming in with Trent McDonald from Haroa and Darren Sue from Mountain Raiders Carl Berryman looking good as they're coming back here it's the 88 Mike Head holding strong and he's stretching out that lead getting chased down by the 100 Carl Berryman from the Hawks Bay and it's a 998 coming in there and he's looking like he's going to hold on to that Darren Sue from the Mountain Raiders, but he's getting a little chased in. Here we go. We're back into the thick of it. Race number 335, 50 plus male, 20 inch into the whole shot. We go again. It's your NZ1 there. That is Greg who's out of Rotorua, but he's been chased by Lee Lightning Wilson from Waitakere on the triple nine plate. Aaron Hodd is in the mix there too. He's your NZ6 set currently. Warren Golden Wills Bogus on the 51. Ryan Gilliford on the 967. And Matthew Allen on the 266, but it's your NZ1. It's your NZ6 in the three. So Greg Hughes, Lee Wilson, Aaron Hodder. That's how it hit the bottom of the ramp. That's how it's going to be. With Golden Wheels in the four at the moment as we round out race number 335. 336, 12 girls. You're going to want to see this one. These girls are riding hot, riding hard as they're going into that corner. It's going to be three across on that third position at the moment. But they're giving a good run. It's a Maddie Newcomb and it's a Jasmine Conn with Charlotte Zellwood and Lily Rose Marua from Teatro 2 with Indy McCullough coming in there from Southland. But it's Grace Lardner in there from the White Tax and Quinn Lindsay and Chloe Dinsdale. And out front, it's none other than the 149 Maddie Newcomb in there with a 247 coming in there tight with Indy McCullum. Looking good, girls, as they roll through there, racing her down. Here we go, unlucky for some and lucky for others, but into the work we go with the 337 13 girls. We've got the triple one plate looking for the whole shot. That's Holly Nilsson out of Cambridge, and she's managed to get it. It's your NZ3, though, sitting on the number two. That's Asher. New Pierre Anderson at it gives me hard. She's going for it, wearing her jumper there. As we come into the mix, we've got the Watakari rider. That's Taylor McFarlane in the number three spot. Here we go, though, Holly Nilsson on the one. We got your NZ3 of Asher in the number two. We got Talia in the number three, and it's the 303 plate there. That's Courtney Smith, the Mountain Raider, with Abby Story frailing at the thick of a two on the 398, another Mountain Raider racing for a spot. All right, we're four across here. It looks like it's the pennies out in the front. And they're taking a one-two as they're going through here. It's a barter bar action. NZ number two. That's definitely going to be Luca Penny in there with Sophie Penny coming in behind. But it's Beatrice McCusser coming in on that fourth. But Taylor Mortison coming in on that third position. But it's NZ number two, Luca Penny at the moment. She's holding it strong, getting chased down. Though as they're coming in through there, they're lining themselves up. This will be interesting to see what happens on this corner as they come through on this, looking for a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a drag race as they come to that final. And it looks like it's a pennies and a one, a penny and a two. Here we go. It's, oh, my goodness, you, you blink, you missed it. It's the 600 plate there of Riley Smart. Out of North Canterbury, he's into the mix. We've got Nixon points in on the 7 out at a total wrong, and he's flying into a two. We've got in the, uh, in the mix there, Nick Armitage, Mason Del Guzma, Kyle Smith and Sebastian Williams, but it is your 600 plate of Riley Smart. This kid knows how to ride with the 79 plate there and the 129. That is now Mason Del Guzma. From Dunedin in the three, but here we go. The battle's on for the four and five. The, oh, not quite. The afterburn is going down as we round out race number 339. And it's the 14 boys, and they're throwing themselves into that corner. Who's going to come out on top? But it's the 420 looking strong as they're going in there. It's a Charlie Lester all the way from the Cromwell looking good as they're coming through. But Lucas Mattini from the Mountain Raiders is holding his own as he's in there. And they're chasing him down as they come through this rhythm section. He's looking like he's powering it down. But it's at NZ3 from the Cromwell and the 237. It's looking like he's going to be able to do it from the Nelson boys. But it's the Nelson boys raising chase himself. He's going to have to hold on to Silver at the, in the third place at the moment as he rolls through that. Nice riding in there, boys. Lucas Martini taking it home. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you what, so close you can throw a tea towel over them, but it's a pack of seagulls chasing down a hot chip. It's your NZ4 out the front. That's Cameron Wallace. He's pushing hard. Oh, getting funky into the rhythm straight here on the number two. As they go into the second corner there, though, Cameron Wallace is trying to hang on. He's got company, though, up his outside. It is the 381 plate there. That is the three. Oh, yep, that is Brock Steadman out of Crosschurch. He's throwing it down. Here we go. You want to be trackside for this? Oh, no. Cameron Wallace, unfortunately, going down. Oh, another rider not hanging on as well. 
What a tragedy. Like All a right, box we've got chocolates. a rider down. Rider down. Here we go, though. The nine okay, girls nine are girls. back on the track. It wasn't it was too late to start the gate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the nine girls. That's Perry Rennie in there with Miller McCollum, with Alshon Lloyd and Georgia Poe Edwards coming through there. And it looks like that could be none other than the Georgia Poe Edwards coming in on that 301 plate as they come through here. Just ladies, make sure there's a rider down with a 285 in that second place. With a 908 in the third, Ashlyn Lloyd. Mila McCullen coming in that second, but it's Georgia Poe Edwards into that first position. Nicely rid, ladies. Tell you what, man, when mum and dad change uh, race tops for kids, it really throws me, man. I don't know if it throws you. I know. George has always got the polka dot one, and you can always spot that one a mile away. So I had to do a double check when I saw her coming through. But uh, hopefully our rider's okay. Dude. Yeah, Cameron Wallace uh, getting caught up there in that race beforehand. So that was race number 341. Uh, I mean, that, uh, that, this is the sport, right? We don't like to see it, but unfortunately um, it, it does happen. Uh, Dave, hopefully, uh, on the YouTube channel there, mate, hopefully we've sorted out your details on the screen. Uh, thanks for the feedback, though. He's loving the, uh, loving the coverage. Yeah, we'd love to see a few uh, hits on this uh, YouTube to see where about you're uh, watching this from. So uh, definitely mate, mate, throw I'm, that in I'm, to I'm, us. I've and just can... seen a Brazilian flag. Would that, would that suggest they're watching from Brazil? Yeah, well, like, there you go. Was... Wow, how do you say hello in Brazilian? It was in Portuguese. Say, uh, hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, awesome. We might need to research that. There we go. Better homework for us, mate, overnight. You know, people think we don't train, right? People, people think we just get up here and talk. But we train, right? We work out. We... Okay, no, we don't. Right? We just make this stuff up. Yeah, well, you know, it, it definitely... Uh, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes here and uh, to see this race event. We've got the rider back up on his feet and he's walking through. Give him a round of applause as he makes his way down well, through Cameron, that one. Good to see you walking, Mike. Good to see you back up. And just on the back of racing, we have... Race number 343 up on the gate, mate. Nine girls. Uh, just getting a few things checked out. Track locked and loaded. Now, the weather has definitely turned for us here. Oh, the game oh, is gone. Oh, We're up. Let's not mess around because Alicia Ashton, Indy Smith, Hattie Berrington, and, and Ali Campbell are not messing around. And I think that is none other than Hattie Berrington into the whole shot first. It's the 635 coming in behind her. That's Alicia Ashton out of Cambridge. Here we go. The battle's on, though, for two and three. That has got to be thrown it down because Hattie Berrington's out the front. I can tell you that much. Here she goes, coming back down towards us. We're going to see who managed to get onto the two spot. It looks like it might be a number plate that is made up with the six, the three, and a five. That is none other than Alicia Ashton in the two. And it's your NZ two. Ali Campbell from Alex in the three at the moment. As we've got Andy Smith on the one one oh coming around past us now from Sunset Coast. Rounding out race number three, four, three. Three, four, four. It's 11 girls. That's Addison Harrisfield out in the front of the moment. We're chasing down by the one, three, four. And behind that is a 945 Serena Hedges all the way from the North Harbor. But it's Bohara from Southland looking real strong as they're coming through there. Addison Harrisfield holding on to it at the moment, and she's got a clear lead at this moment. But the race is in behind on that second position, and they're streaming down there. It's a 134. That's a bow coming in there from Southland. But it's a third place at the moment that's getting stretched out. Looking for a little bit of a gap from that Christchurch rider as she's coming there. That's Kelly Meller all the way from Christchurch. Looking like she's going to be able to hold on to it, but it's going to be a push to that finish line. She takes it over. Oh, I tell you what, it's almost like we've missed the trick here. I don't know, because it's race number three, four, five up on the go already. As we come into it, I'm going to make out it's going to be Lexi Silver possibly in the front of this one. This is race number 345, 11 girls at motor number four. As they come back down towards us, I'm going to be able to confirm that. It looks like it is. It's the 919 of Lexi Silver with the NZ2 in behind her. That's Nessie Reddy. Here's the triple one plate, though. That's Aria Saika from the Hot Valley Thunderbolts loading it up with the Mountain Raider. That must be Neam Lloyd. 
In behind her on the four as they round out the two. Race number three, four, five. All right, this is 15, boys. This is a race you're going to want to watch because these boys are right with a dangerous crowd. Honestly, boys, this is Bryson Joyce in there, and it looks like he's in that second position. He's looking for a little bit of a spot on the way through. He's looking to see if there's a door open, but he can't seem to find it at the moment. It's Brock Marshall in there, and it's the end at number one. It coming in through Deacon Connor, but Nico Kogan's in the mix as well in the number three plate. Bryson Joyce is coming down through there, but it's the end at number one. Deacon Connor able to hold on. Bryson Joyce in the number two. Nico Kogan in the number three. Oh, here we go. It's another guy out of 15 boys. Race number 347. It looks like it might be the one nine five. Let's give Pickford into the whole shot. It is as he jumps into it. It's the one two seven. Might have gone too high. That's Connor Del Guzma going a little bit high there, but into the mix we go again. We can see there we've got riders from all over the place. The other her rider of Thomas Boxstrom can make up that jump at two. But it is just the 195 there. That is the pick for out the front with the 77 plate there. Connor King from Rotorua. He's in the number two spot. Is he going to hang on? Here we go. It's fast and it's furious as we round out. Race number 347. 15 boys in the mix here as they come across here. And they're coming down onto that double and into that triple step up. Nice little manual in through there. And he's riding it hard, but a little bit of an undercut by that 508. That's Tane to Theory coming out of Hamilton. Their part of our action as they come through here on that second. But they're lining themselves up nicely as they go through there. Playing their card just right. Holding them tight against their chest as they're rolling down the days of thunder. It's a 5-5, five, 5-2-2. Five, five, two, two. Holding in there with Leva. Banks looking real good out of Hamilton. He's got a clear lead. It's the number two position that's up for Banks. And it looks like they're going to have to push it all the way to the line. Riley Burley in the mix. Here we go, 15 and 16 girls, Madeline Hunter get into the bottom of the hill first, but as she managed to hang on to it, looks like it might be the 8, 7, 8 of Nadia Gabini going in the front, but oh no, here we go, the position has changed the game for the third time today, as we race into it, I'm going to put my money on there, that that was Danica Bergenson in the number one spot now, as she comes back down towards us, it looks like it is the distinctive plan of the 515. Here we go, the 878 there coming through. That's Nadia Gabavini and it's Madeline Hunter on the three. As we round out into the clicks we go. Oh, can make out our riders. Azaria Thornley from North Canterbury in there too. Jamie Davies out of Rotorua and Ahura Herbert from Tauraha on the 310. Rounding out race number 349. Okay, up in the gate we have ourselves race number 350, 15 to 16 girls. These ones are locked and loaded in here as they're riding it hard. There's no hesitation in this one, so there's no devastation as they're going through. But it's a 68 in there, and she's looking strong as she's holding on that. That's Nita Clark from the y Tax holding in there real nice. Brooke Day is chasing her down with Ali Herbo from the y Taggery holding in there with Hazel Gardner all the way from Kendred. But it's Tate Hancock in there. But it's a 68 plate with a 211 at the moment, holding it strong into that second, but she's going to have to make sure she holds on to that. Brooke Day has getting chased down hard by her contender, but she's holding it all the way to the finish. Okay, here we go. We're into it. It's race number 351. Into the work we go. It is our 8 to 10 cruiser mix. Oh, there we go. The 150 plate of Harrison Cullen. He managed to get into the mix there. The kids are going hard and they're going fast. We're looking in the thick of it too there for Tate Burden on the 200 out of Tewamuru. Jordan Davis is also on the NZ4 in there too. We've got Enzo Torrens. I can see him there. He's riding in through on the 125. But it's your NZ4 out front. That is Jordan Dawson from the North Harbour. He's pushing it. Oh, he's going hard all the way home as we round out. Race number 351. 352, 11, 24 cruisers. Dylan Sazer coming in the mix on this one all the way from the North Harbour. Looks like he's out in the front at the moment looking strong, but the white tax rider in the number three position is trying to give him a little bit of a push, and that's Angus Morgan holding it on that number two at the moment, but it's definitely Dylan Sazer looking strong as they're rolling through on this one. Nice riding from these two. It'll be a one-two at the moment as they're rolling through here, and this is 11 to 12 cruiser males. Oh, a little bit of a pass as they're going through here for a little bit of an undercut. He's able to push him hard, but Dylan's able to hold on to that position and rides him hard and rides him high up into that corner and pins him up there. And he's able to hold on to that one, pedal across the finish line. Here we go, race number 353, the jumping jack himself. It's Rico Ron into the whole shot here for the 11 to 12 cruiser mail on race number 353. But the 2 1 0, oh, oh, there we go. No, he got pushed out. Here's uh, NZ1 Rotoro, Nelson Urata. Hello, Rotoro, and it does get confusing when we got two ones in the mix, but Rico Ryan, Nielsen Urata in the front there. we got a Ryan right of North Harbour, that's Caleb McCabe in the number two spot, the three spot, but he's got company with the form of the NZ3 and the 9 one two. that's Tyler Cochran, and it is also your NZ3 there. Ryder Wheeler pushing hard, this is going to be a battle royale, that's for sure. 
All right, here we go. We got the 35-39 Cruiser Males. Nice riding with Luke Anderson and Brad DeFiery holding their own as they come pushing with a strong gate start out there over the quad. A little bit of an action happening on that third place at the moment as they're going bar to bar, but definitely out front. Luke Anderson and Brad DeFiery are able to hold on to this one and get in that south and nice little lead as they're rolling through the little roller strips here. It's the 372 with Brad DeFiery holding it strong with Luke Anderson coming in behind, and he's got it his way. Here we go, it's race number 355, Moto 4, 35 to 39, Cruiser Mail, Adam Coker heading the bottom first and into the whole shot, but he's got company, it's the 990 plate there, that is Adam Lawrence, the local lad out of the Hawks Bay, he knows this track like the back of his hand. Scott Murphy though, he's giving a bit of a run for his money as well. We've also got Ben Walder on the 120 from Capital City, and Jay Peters out of New Plymouth, but it's Adam Coker in the front and it's the Hawks Bay rider there, the 990 of Adam Lawrence in the number two spot as they round it out. We look to lock and load for race number 355 here. 35 to 39, Cruiser Mail. All right, we got the 40 to 44 Cruiser Males, race number 356 as they come rolling through here. These boys, these boys are going from lukewarm to hot as they're getting in here. Oh, a little bit of a wobble's happening as it's getting pushed out. But it's definitely a nice mix with Wayne Marquise and Brandon Tate from the Mountain Raiders with Kim Farr coming in from the White Tax. Grant Rennie in the mix there as well as they're coming back at us. And it's Daniel Donovan from the New Plymouth. And these guys are bunching up as they're coming through. And they're making their way with a 996 in there. With a 189 in the mix as they come. 198. Dwayne Martizzi in there with a 986 with Kim all the way through to the top. Here we go, though. We're into the thick. Real nice and early with none other than Lance, the Dunsdale from up north. You're in dead one. He's got company with the 95 there. Tim Martin out of Waitakere with Lindsay Barrett there in the three spot by the looks. That means we're looking for Pete Maisie and Tony Carpendale from Gisborne in the thick of the two. But here it is, the man, the myth, the legend. It's Lance Dunsdale on your NZ1. Your 95 plate there in the two of Tim Martin and Lindsay Barrett in the three. It is your 298 of Pete Maisie out of Cambridge. And coming past me now, Tony Carpendale, rounding out race number 357. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the Raiders of 45 to 49. Cruiser mail as they come in here. We're getting a nice lead at the moment. Oh, a little bit of a push and a little bit of a wobble as they come through and in there. But it's a Matt Harvey and a Wayne Shanks and a Kevin Telpo all the way from Telpo coming in there. And it's a Rob Higgins from the Hamilton looking sharp. And Steven Shemansky all the way from the New Plymouth as they come rolling through here. It's a 77 out in the front with a 177 in the two. 77, Steven out in the one with a Kevin Tampo all the way from the Telpo coming through in the number two position. Here nice we go, sick and fast mate, straight behind them, it's their mates there, this is another gate of 45 to 49, Cruiser Males on the 359 into the first corner, we're looking for who's got the whole shot, it's the 100 plate there, he took a putt, that's Zane Alexander, living life on the edge, and there's Mark Harrifield on the 152 though, he's looking for a spot to make up, we've got Nathan Cornelius on the 152 out of Christchurch with Derek Gauchuguzma on the NZ1, coming through with Adam McFarlane on the 65, here we go, it's the 142 in the number 3 spot with Mark Harrifield on the 4, but it is none other than Zane Alexander. He's out in the front. Here we go. The pedal's going down as we round out race number 359. Model okay. number four. These boys are the 13 to 16. Throwing some nice air time. This is a cruiser. So these boys will be most likely double. Nice air time as they racking them and stacking them in there. Holy, their boys are going for some show as they're coming through here. They're screaming hot. They're screaming heavy. It's Louis Sanders and Liam Clifford with Max Hay Hay in the mix. It's Mac Richardson all the way from the North Harbor with Tyler Dinsale from the Fungare. It's Ryan Hurley coming in there with Liam King from Cromwell. But out front is a two, four, seven, and he's looking lean. It's Tyler Dinsale holding his own, but it's not going to have it all his way as they're going bar to bar action all the way over to that finish line. And we're into it, chasing them down hard as race number 361. This is our 17th 34 cruiser. Into the work early. We're looking at the. Corey Weldon, <laughs> he's into the work. There we go, Zachary Arnold and Pooh Longer in behind him. We got one of our two hardware riders in the three, but it looks like we got an undercut coming in. Coming back down towards the rhythm strategy ends in one of Corey Walden, Zachary Arnold in the two. It's the 130 plate of Harwell, Hamish McDonald. He's in the thick of it too. We're looking for Casey Walker, must be in the four. That would have Hunter Hurrier on the 707 there from Harwell. That's all, behind there. All right, boys and girls, this is the one you're going to want to watch. This is going to be some good racing in this one. These boys are in it to win it. In it's the 17 to 34 Cruiser Males. Logan Clark, Rock the Bomber Nelson coming through. And it looks like that's Hamish Earl and that Brandon McRae from the White Tax with Softy Y in there from the White Tax as well. But we got ourselves a serious contender out there. And that's none other than the 54, uh, 98 in there. And he's out front. That's Logan Clark looking real good. Softy out in there. But it's a Rock the Bomber coming in on that second. Softy's trying to do a little bit of an undercut. Push him up. 
but it's out front. And it's Softy and Bomber going across the line. Bomber in two. And we're back into it. Looks like our man from uh, Gizzy there, Rocky Elmers, is possibly back into the mix, which is great to see. He's okay. The NZ7 there coming up around the outside. That's Aaron Holler. He's from New Plymouth, but he had company in the form of the NZ2 of Andrew Fuller. He's pushing hard from company. The Mountain Raider there sitting on the number three spot. I'm going to put my money on that's Clifford Wilson. Here we go. Coming back down towards us. It's the 723. It sure is. That's your NZ2 though, hanging with the three with the 305 there. That's Craig Berenson out of the Sunset Coast, currently in the full spot. And I think I can make that out of the other water there, looking to see who it is. But in come past me, the NZ3 there. Th- that is none other than Rocky Elmers. Oh, nice race in here. Nice little push in there with an aggressive line as he's pulling it through there. That's going to be Dion Newth out in the, in the one spot at the moment. And he's definitely got a nice... Line as he's throwing it in there, looking like he's pushing it over top of that double step up with a nice rolling in there. Rory leaning in the mix with Matthew Allen from the White Hackeries and Liam went, Drew in there. Dion Newth is in the number one with the Greg Hughes in the number two from the Rotorua. Darcy McCuster in the mix there as well. But it's the Neon, Dion Newth coming in. I've taken the number one with Greg Hughes, taking in the number two. Here we go, it's uh, race number 365, 13 to 44 cruiser female, Tony James, and to the word she goes, this is your NZ1, and this is why. We've got the 320 plate there in behind her, Catalina Morris from Southland, she's pushing into the game. We've got Amy Duck at the 140 rider out of Rotorua. Jade Elmer's there from Gisborne there on the 459, she's coming through, but it is your NZ1, it is Tony James, the Waitakere rider there, the 320 plate there, Catalina Morris from Southland in the 2, and Amy Duckett in the 4. Here we go as we round our race number 365. 366, it's the 13 to 44 cruiser, so there's a big edge gap in here, but it's that Amy Duckett, she's definitely Amy Martin at the moment, sorry, Amy Martin's in the front, and she's screaming it through, and it looks like that's 92... Catelyn Jorgantius in from Hamilton in the number two position as she's scrolling through. But that Amy's definitely got it and she's holding it on so strong. Sonia Rennie in the mix with Kyla Newton in there. Selena looking like she's in the third position at the moment. It's Amy holding it in number 92. That's Catelyn Jorgantius. And Selena's looking like she's holding to number three. Amy taking it home. 13 to 44, cruiser female. All right, we got the 45. 45 plus cruiser females. Nancy James with Joe Combs with Steph Hook and Nikki Bonswell in there. Out in the front, it's a 128, and that's Steph Hook in there. A little bit of an RG bargy as they're going for that second place. But then Nancy James is in the mix with Joe Combs and then Nikki Bonswell as well. That's the 45 cruiser females. They're strolling through here on that final end. But it's a part of our action as they're going for that second place. I mean, they might be friends off the track, but on the track, I'll tell you, nothing is holding them back. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. It's a one, two, three. That Nikki Bonswell is holding it tight, taking it home for the number two position. Up here on the gate, it's a race. Number three, 64, 45 to plus cruiser females. Gone ahead with Jeanette Davies, with Selena Anderson, and Lisa Anderson coming in the mix. But out in the front, it's NZ number one, and she's looking lean, mean like a fight machine. It's Harley Puddle coming in there as well. Haley looking real good. It's Lena, Lisa Anderson looking strong as she comes pedaling around there. But they're lining themselves up as they come through onto that third straight away. Nice little manual in there. Out in the front, looking real good. It's a 1-5-1 chasing her down. And that's none other than Donna Head looking good. But Jeanette Davies is in the mix there. Nice over the top of the tabletop. Well done, ladies. That's a wrapping it up. That's race number three, six, the eight, 45 cruiser females. Wrapping up moto number four, 2024 BMX New Zealand National Championships. Day number one. And there we have it. That's a wrap. Day one. BMX. New Zealand 2024 National Championships here at the Hawks Bay. I tell you what, some exciting racing. I've been pumped. I'm out of breath just talking about it. It's absolutely amazing. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. We've also got our championship riders joining us. Big thank you to all the volunteers. Massive thank you to the Hawks Bay BMX Club and a massive thank you to all of you, our viewers, and the crowd here. So see you tomorrow.